Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes, all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. morning welcome to sewing street how's everyone this morning let me hear you say yeah i'm good uh, we've got a brilliant show jam-packed show today i was literally still wolfing down my weetabix with bruce saying okay does anybody want to come on the telly now we've got about a minute to go and we we're all just there having a nice natter out in the uh, green room because stuart hillard's here um, so he's going to be here later on at 10 and 12. we've got claire from native lighting can you tell around there she is Hi Claire, how are you? Good, thank you. Gorgeous. Um, the quilt behind, by the way, did you spot it? Stuart at 10 o'clock has got the launch of an amazing Moda collection. It is La Vie Bohème. It is very exciting. We love La Vie Bohème. It's the, uh, it is the brand new. Oh, you can do that, Bruce. Bruce. Oh, okay. 
we, we're saying we're limited today on the technical screen grabs. Good morning, Hannah. Hannah said hello from the gallery. Do you know who else has said hello? My best friend. Thank you. Hi, Tom. I'll pay you both later for saying hello to me on the Facebook Live. Tom's making his way up to the Midlands today to come and see me. Uh, right, should we start the day with the early bird? Now, the early bird sting, have you got it, Bruce? Let's, let's just have a look and see if we can do the little early bird. Oh, yes, there we can. Otherwise, we'd have to have shown you Stuart and uh, John saying happy birthday to me again. Becky, who's our floor manager, she actually likened um, John and Stuart to Ant and Deck the other yeah. day. <laughs> Very similar. Very similar. Um, so, we have got an amazing early bird. Now, we're going to show you the double offer first, because this is the best way of getting them, the most affordable. Um, now, your thread storing storage boxes are fabulous i love 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 you know getting myself organized color coordinating especially if you are starting to to go back to workshops to classes it might be a good idea to take you know your threads with you so these actually hold um oh let's see how many 27 spools your normal uh you know size spools they should be six pound 49 each with the bundle, you're getting the best deal that we can offer. So, we're going to do them singularly, but... Right, I'll tell you now, it's going to be £3.99 for one. It will be £3.99, which is brilliant. Anyway, so you would expect us to be just under £8 then for this bundle, if my maths is right. Uh, no, we're going so much lower. So, if you want the early bird and the best saving, two of these boxes... <coughs> excuse me. Um, considering one of these boxes should be £6.49. Um, no, maybe. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just going to have a quick cough. <coughs> I'm going to have to, um, you're going to have to bear with me today. <coughs> £6.45, it is less than, oh, I am going to have to have a cough. I'm going to have to turn my mic off. Sorry. I'm ever so sorry about that. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I've got ever since I had COVID back in March, and I've had this lingering cough. I don't know. John Scott's had these different uh, voice troubles. Stuart was telling me that he's had this lingering cough. So I wonder if anybody else has had it. But I haven't. You know, I've been tested and tested and tested, and I haven't got it. But I've just got this awful cough. So I'm ever so sorry about that. Um, and it's worse as soon as you go on the telly. It's worse as soon as you start talking on your own. When you know you're going to be talking for five hours, instantly your throat starts going, oh, tickling you. Anyway, right. The deals are amazing today. £6.45. Remember, two is the price that you would, pay, well, less than what you'd pay for one normally. Uh, four pennies less, to be exact. Oh, Morag says, morning, Vicky and crew, pleased to spend my last day in my 40s with you. She says, I don't know if I'm ready to turn 50. Morag, honestly, you're, yeah, you're the same age as our little Paul, basically. He's, uh, yeah, he, he's just, well, he just turned 40 yesterday. And uh, yeah, he had a lovely, lovely day, our little Paul. Uh, and the great thing about these as well, stack them up. You could have your, all of your, your blues in one. You could have all of your, your neutrals in another ready to go. You could wind your bobbins. They have the little posts inside. Let's open one up so you can see. Um, because on the inside, I'm notoriously horrendous at opening packaging. I'm just going to get this pin. So, was that a satisfying noise? So they have the little posts. So it means that they're not all going to rummage around because how many people, you know, store their threads in a, in a bag or in a drawer? And one, you end up... Um, buying them again because you're not quite sure uh, what it is you've got in your stash and you end up buying again thinking, oh, I don't think I've got that right colour so I'm going to buy it again. Whereas you can actually see what you've got. You can fit 27 spools in there. They could all slide into a drawer, couldn't they? I like that they're all transparent so you can see what you've got. You could label them up maybe with your 50 weights, your different weight threads. Um, but it is handy that they're not all going to get tangled up 
They're going to stay all lint free, all ready to go. You can keep all your embroidery threads in there as well. There's nothing worse than rummaging through a bag, looking for things, especially looking for threads. Just six pounds, 45 pence. And remember the price for two is the price point that you would normally, wait, you'd normally be paying for more, more for one. You're getting both of these at six pounds, 45. <coughs> right, we are gonna do the one singularly now, just in case you don't want to. If you want four, oh my gosh, go for it. But if you want three, yes. You are getting the best deal when you're getting the two together. Right, so, um, for one of these, £6.49 is supposed to be the price. I'm sorry, Bruce, I'm going to cough again. I'm ever so sorry, 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 sorry. Um, £6.49, 27 reels for £6.49. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Morning, Claire, everybody. Um, right, price, early bird special price. The, you don't even need me to scream and shout about it. I can't physically scream and shout about it. But there you go, it's £3.99. 27 spools in your really lovely solid storage tub. Brilliant deal to be able to get one of these. But seriously now, think about getting those double, the uh, the double deal. The double deal. 27 reels you can fit in there. Three pounds 99. Yeah, potentially, yes. Uh, it's a good job Stuart is eagerly awaiting in the wings. We might ask him to do one of the hours on my own. <laughs> um, We've got a brilliant, we've got a brilliant show today as well. Absolutely brilliant. So I don't want to be coughing all the way through it. Three pounds ninety nine for your one, but remember, it is about getting the bundle deal. <coughs> your double deal, you get both of these for less than seven pounds. Twenty seven reels in each box. They're exactly the same. They're exactly the same size. I think because this was wrapped in cellophane, it looks slightly bigger. But it's just six pound forty five. Twenty-seven spools times two is fifty-four. Yeah. Fifty-four spools you could store in there for six pounds forty-five. They are normally six pounds fifty each. They're normally six pounds fifty each, which is fantastic value anyway for the quality of the storage boxes. Um, but do we have to get this deal? It is about you know getting ready to, to start going off to your workshops and your classes. Maybe even if you're, you know, just organising your workroom, organising your thread drawers. These would probably fit nicely into a drawer, wouldn't they, actually? But I like them on show. I think it always looks lovely having your threads all on show on your work desk. It's very satisfying, especially having them all in order. Maybe you don't want to take, you know, all of your threads with you to a sewing class, but you could just put your, your essential colours in there. Or if you've got a caravan or if you're going off on a, a, a holiday to a mobile home, it's ideal, isn't it? It's an ideal size, actually, to just keep in your stash, in your bag, in your work bag, ready to go. £6.45 for two of your storage boxes. Remember, that is for both of them. Bearing in mind, it should be £6.50 for one. £6.49 to be exact. Thank you. Sorry, Hannah. She was like, actually, no, it's £6.49 normally. Today, 6.45 for two. You can't go wrong. Remember, anybody who's opening their order nice and early, you're paying one PMP all day long, even if you're buying one of the amazing big native lighting products. Even if you're buying a sewing machine. No matter um, when you're buying, uh, you'll only pay one PMP as long as it's before midnight tonight on the web, on the show, however you're spending. Um, right, remember that deal is available until midnight tonight. Check out um, as many as you can. We don't have a physical slide, so I'll tell you what's coming up instead. 
It's a great day to talk a lot, isn't it? You know, no slides. It's a great day to talk. So, ATM. We've obviously got Claire here. She's eagerly waiting in the wings with native lighting. We also have... Um, well, we've got some, some of our most popular back in stock, the Lumina floor lamps here, the reverse light, the torch. Every single time I've been on air, these are completely sold out. So that's the, the first hour. At uh, nine o'clock, we have got sewing room tools, including Creative Grids, Stripology, back in stock, the Stripology Squared. Right, it's quite exclusive though. We've got less than 20 of them available and that is it. So if you do want to get ahead on the Stripology Squared, you can go on to pre-order and get those. Then we've got Stuart. Now, Claire, do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? <laughs> oh, my word, this collection. Thank you, Claire. Um, is absolutely beautiful. It's Moda, French General. It's got gorgeous, gorgeous sort of silver tones, blues and reds and creams. We've also got Stuart's quilt book, 100 quilts, 100 blocks, which is going to be fantastic. And I mean, it's perfect, isn't it, having Stuart, the author of his book, coming to present it and, and do a bit of a, a demonstration for us as well. So that's 9 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me, 10 o'clock, we've got bag making supplies. Um, we've got some bundles in there, tapestry bundles, which Hannah, ha uh, she made a point of saying, I haven't even asked to do this, I've just done it anyway. So if you do want some brilliant tapestry fabric deals, that's going to be coming up at 11 o'clock. Then 12 o'clock, we've got Stuart's Bags for Life book. Back in stock. I mean, this happens. Every single time it goes on to pre-order, it starts selling. Already selling. If you do want to go onto the website, shop ahead. If you don't already own this book, it's an absolute must. It really is a must. So definitely get yourself the book. Um, there's a beautiful fabric collection as well, which is again brand new. You've probably seen it here. Um, it's another Moda collection called Seasons Chain. There's the panel. Oh, I love the panel. I've never seen, I've never thought of, I know this sounds silly, but I've never thought of using a panel in a bag like that. That is ideal, isn't it? Uh, that's again from the, uh, fr from the Bags for Life book. Oh, I know, Sue, I feel absolutely fine. I feel absolutely fine in myself. It's just this annoying cough. But she says, um, look after yourself. Hope Maisie is well and happy. She's great. She's absolutely fine. It's just me who's got this cough. Have a great show. Take some cough mixture. Well, I've got my lozenges. I've got honey and lemon here. And I've got water. So I'll try and get by. But Stuart is here today, which is lucky, isn't it? So, you know, we'll be between the two of us. He says, I'm putting my face on now, just in case. We'll see how we get on. Because he's got a lot of prep as well to do for his show. So, yeah, I'll try and get by. <laughs> Thank you, he's also offering me all the different medicines. Thank you, Stuart. Right, show you some native lighting. Do you know, especially at this sort of time, I'm seeing a lot of people who are starting to go off on holiday. Obviously, we've had a few bank holidays, haven't we, going off on their holidays in a caravan. And there's another bank holiday this weekend, isn't there? So if you are thinking of starting to travel, if you're going to workshops and classes, we've got some really great portable options for you today as well. How are you, Claire? I've not seen you for I ages. Know, I know, haven't been on with you for a long time. It's nice to see you. Well, Claire started me this morning. She was like, Vic, you need sharp new straighteners. They were very good. <laughs> Infrared straighteners. We've done our makeup together, haven't we? We've had have. a nice... Been nice, nice, nice beauty morning. morning. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just mentioned uh, we're going to talk a bit more about portability, yeah. and being able to, uh, and to be able to, to be able to have really good quality lights as well yes. that you can take on the move with you. Yes. It's brilliant. Yeah, definitely. So we've obviously got lots of different types of lights. We've got uh, rechargeable lights. We've got lights that work off of um, power packs mm -hmm. as well, which are ideal when when you're travelling, and. Obviously, we've got our reverse light, which has always been the favourite. Yeah, we've on got to start with that. Sewing Street, and um, that is lovely to use outside now if you're going camping, or so. Here we have it here. Uh, so, oh, so you I just own this and I pop love it, it on like that. And when you've got it here, you've got the daylight <coughs> setting. And once you turn it round, it changes hmm. to a warm setting. It doesn't always show hugely on the TV, but there is a huge difference between between the colours. So you just turn it round and then the colour goes up to daylight. And then if you turn it round again, it then goes up to a warm light. If you look on the desk, it's probably a little bit more noticeable on the desk rather than actually actually on the screen there. 
Oh, but I, I love the light that it gives as well. It's a really lovely sort of ambient light. It's not, you know, stark yeah. and, and bright. It's going to be ideal for... I'm thinking camping as well. This yeah. is brilliant for that, isn't it? A lot of people use it for camping. It's got a little um, hook here as well, so you've got a little handle. Oh, yeah. So, so if you don't want to light candles. No, so you don't want candles, you can just hang it up. So some people use this, um, they hook it up on their umbrellas over their like picnic tables and things like that. Say you're camping and you need to walk to the toilet block in the night, you mm -hmm. can use this as your like lady of lantern. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> your lady around. lantern. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Um, and so also, you've got. Um, on here you've got dimmer settings so if you just go along uh, up and down on the on the buttons there then you can see it's changing to the brightest so you got that's obviously the brightest there and then you go down and then that dims oh see that's brilliant that isn't right it down and you just touch it's just touch on and off keep your finger on and then it turns it off keep your finger on then it goes back on and then turn it round to get your daylight setting. And it holds its charge really well yeah. as well, doesn't it? I mean, we say um, once it's it's charged, it will last for eight hours, but I know you say it lasts yeah. a lot longer than that. Yeah, so, well, um, I use this in Maisie's nursery because it gives off a really lovely, soft, ambient light. And I have it on quite a low setting, um, but I can go... I know on a lower setting, yeah, you said eight hours, yeah. and it can go, I go nights and nights and nights without having to charge it, so I find that it's really, I mean, you under promise over deliver, there you go, <laughs> and it is a really lovely light that is perfect to just transport around the house where you need the light, maybe if you've got a power cut, keep yeah. it charged up. Or if you've got that dark cupboard yeah. that you know you can't see what's in, then you know, just hold it in there and that completely <coughs> lights up, up yeah. the cupboard or the top of your wardrobe where you know you always put all the stuff that you're like, oh, I can't find anything, and I use it a lot for that as well. And they're all LED lights as well, aren't they? Yes. So they're not giving off any heat? No, so all of native lights are, are LED, and they don't generate any heat. They use much less electricity, which is brilliant oh. at, the, at the moment. And particularly if you're going to have a rechargeable product or a USB product, so you can have it powered into, say, a laptop or a computer, so you're using the same power source um, at the same time, so again, saving energy. All of the LEDs are high quality LEDs because a lot of different types of LEDs out there. So sometimes people might say, you know, why are they more expensive than sort of a high street shop that, light that you could buy? But as I say, there's lots of different qualities of LEDs out there and we only use the highest quality LEDs mm -hmm. as well. All of the lamps will last for 50,000 hours, which if you equate that to, to years and you use your lamp for say eight hours a day, it's well over 20 years. So I'm sure you're going wow. to want to change the style of your lamp before it actually stops working. And all of our products are guaranteed for two years as well. Uh, see, this is what I love about native lighting is that they, you, it's the quality, isn't it? It's lights that are going to last. And um, like you say, Claire, you're probably going to change the style of it before you actually want to change yeah. the lights. And let's face it, we're all thinking about the prices of everything going up ridiculously. And I've noticed it in my house. I'm like, Karen, turn that light off. What are you doing? Like, keep the <laughs> light off if you don't need it. Whereas the great thing about these, like you said, you can plug them into the side of your laptop. This one comes with a USB charger. Yeah doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so obviously you can charge this up either with a power pack, yeah. so you know you can get these quite powerful power packs now that you'll get quite a lot of charges from. So I've got only, a solar one. Yeah, so then again yeah. you're, you're saving electricity from that. So there's lots yeah. of different ways that, that Native are looking at sort of conserving energy yeah. as well. So. Uh, so it comes, this one comes with a USB plug. You can obviously put it into like your iPhone charger as well. But it's really lightweight. I think that's the first thing that you'll notice when you get this home is how sort of lightweight and portable this yeah. is. Very, very, very lightweight. So, and it's it looks nice light. in the home. It was really important to us to not just have lamps that were just used for crafting. Yeah. So we, it's really important to us to have lamps that, you know, you can use for, for crafting but they have a dual purpose as well so you can use so you, obviously they're an investment and it means that you can like we say take them when you're traveling camping use it outside so it becomes multi-purpose we've got loads and loads of reviews on this one of course when you're purchasing anything from us you'll always get an email from FIFA which is an independent uh, reviewer um, 
I'm not sure whether it comes up as us or it might it, it might say jewelry maker. But um, if you could leave any reviews, it'd be brilliant. We have got so many reviews on the reverse yeah, light. Really cool. The independent reviews, lovely lamp, um, as good as I anticipated it would be. A lifesaver during recent storms. Will be used a lot and excellent for camping. Long charge life. That's from Jerry. Oh, that's nice to hear. So, so you know that all the things that we're saying are actually true. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah. it exactly. A fun lamp to have around. Very soothing light when required very bright light when needed brilliant that's from Derek in the Scottish borders Derek's um, got a few of your lights actually he has he's got a ring light as well hasn't he he does Margaret also left a review um, to the point, good value for money. There you go. So even if it is an investment, um, don't forget the split pay option. Now we've got a really amazing deal with Claire Native Lighting because of our relationship. Normally our split pay doesn't start till 100 pounds, does it? No. So we've got it today on split pay, 21 pound 33, which makes it more accessible. It does, yeah. And another thing that people do tend to use this quite a lot for is, say like at Christmas time or any time if you're making a flower arrangement and you, you don't want to have a candle, you can put the flowers around this yeah. and have this as sort of like acting as a candle as well. So I use that for that and it, it looks lovely with all the flowers around. I did it at Easter oh, um, as well. So, so, so lots of different uses for this one. Well, you could put this inside one of those lovely lanterns, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That look really nice. It looks like a pillar candle. Or oh, it looks like, do you know, um, we've got one of those devices that you shout at and ask what the time is and we order this on online. That's, I think it fits Similar in, look. doesn't yeah. it, with yeah. all of your sort of smart home feel. Just twenty one ninety nine. Now, a third of the stock is now in baskets. Please be aware, this is one of our best selling native lighting products. And whenever we have it in, it generally sells out quite quickly. So if you are umming and ahhing about it, Take it from me. I've got one. I love it. I know lots of our guest demonstrators. Uh, John's got John's one of these in his garden one. as well, yeah. hasn't he? He has. But yeah. I've seen it in his garden. But obviously, you can port it around wherever you need it, whether it be soft light, as I say, in Macy's nursery, or whether you want to, to take it camping on holiday to your workshops. It's fantastic. £63.99 or three split payments of £21.33. So, Talking about different portable lights, and um, we were talking about holidays and camping, this is genius. We're gonna move on to the torch light in a second. Um, we've got lots of different portable lights and different lights to show you, but just remember the, the reverse light is there. This one, when I first saw this, um, I was actually amazed. It is brilliant. Now, I don't know whether this one is. Yes, it is charged up. Why do I feel like a Ghostbuster? <laughs> I love each. it. It's like a full on spotlight. It's brilliant. But also, I just. Well, you do the magic. You, you do, do the, the magic. magic. Okay. So, to turn the torch on, you, you do a double tap. So, you can see there it's going on and, and off. And then to <coughs> use the lamp. You open the top up, and that would, if you've got the torch on, that would automatically turn the torch off. And then what you've got here is you just touch it, and you've got three different colours for your crafting. How cool is this? So you've got cool light, warm light, and daylight. And then on each colour, if you keep your finger on, then it will dim it down, take it off, and then it will go back up, back up to the brightest. So this one is, is ideal, really, because it's, it's tiny to put in a bag if you're going to classes. Again, it holds a charge for eight hours. Mm -hmm. Takes three hours to charge, this one, because obviously it's got the, the uh, torch and the lamp. So this one does take a little bit longer to charge. But then you can flip through your colours to find the, the right colour for you and the right brightness for you. And then if you say maybe, I don't know, you've been to a class and you're going to walk home in the dark, then you just tap it to put your torch on and then you've got your torch. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Honestly, when I saw it, I think I saw it like this and I thought, that is quite a slick, lovely looking desk lamp anyway, full stop. But then when I saw somebody do this and then put a torch on, it's like, oh my gosh, that is genius. What an, an amazing, uh, I mean, I, I do like a bit of a gadget, I do, but I like gadgets that you're Are actually useful. gonna use. use. Yeah. And so this is so cool. It looks so streamlined and looks really um, fresh and nice on your work desk or if you're working from home on a laptop, this yeah. is a great desk lamp, isn't it? And it can be used while it's plugged in as well. Okay. So, so obviously you, you charge it up and, and then obviously you don't need any cables, but you can have it used while it's while it's being charged in and powered up as well and so. why do you find that it's useful to have different color settings in a light so um 
when you're crafting and when you're color matching you you always want the daylight setting because okay. that is obviously what matches for but not everybody likes the really bright harsh daylight setting mm -hmm. um, and particularly as people age they get eye conditions and they really do struggle with that so that's why it's good to have all the different choices of colors mm -hmm. and the choices of brightness settings because some people might find sort of daylight on the brightest too much but they might find that when they go to the warm light but on the highest setting it, it's much better for their eyes and they can actually see better what they're doing yeah. but also if you don't particularly want to use the light uh, for crafting and you want to use it as an ambient light in the home yeah. you don't want then the really bright white lights mm -hmm. you want the nice warm light to make it feel like more more sort of warm and cozy yeah they're talking in the gallery about different people who have migraines as well yeah um, and just being able to adjust the light if you have a migraine that can really help as well yeah I really mean useful. we have had some review I mean obviously we don't say that that it, it, you know we of course no say that but some people have left reviews saying that, that they um, suffered terribly from migraines but since they've had the light that they've been able to to adjust it's made quite a big difference for them <coughs> absolutely and it is incredibly versatile isn't it I, I imagine someone who's at university yeah you know or someone who's who's going off uh, you know uh, camping again this is absolutely ideal isn't it it's only 45.99 and to be able to change the colors the brightnesses the versatility of having the torch as well as your lamp um, and it's just all so sleek yeah. I always struggle to know what to get the gents in my life yeah. uh, for a present <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and this is ideal isn't it 45.99 Bruce really wants one of these our director here you go gent in my life uh, 15 pounds <laughs> 33 on split pay that's one of the lowest uh, that is definitely one of the lowest price points split pay uh, price points I've ever seen on sewing street as well if you're lucky enough to have a crafting room maybe in the garden a she shed uh, just a little lamp in there but then making your way back to the house I'm thinking of uh, Alice and Marion and I know that where she is her her workroom is right at the top of her garden so to go then back down to the house when you don't realize how long you've been crafting yeah so it, it's, it's ideal it's, yeah it's ideal and that's what I'm saying before is that we try to make that lamps that uh, um, can you can use for more than just crafting absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant 45 pounds and 99 pence now the split pound this is 15 pound 33 I've never seen yeah exactly that's what I said the lowest split pair I think I've ever seen um, I don't know what deal you've got on with the with the buyers <laughs> but this is fantastic isn't it 45.99 now you don't have to pay any privilege for splitting the payment over is it three months then yeah over three split pays so you pay your first payment today you get this home and then you'll pay your next payment next month in May and then the next one in June then it's paid off completely but it just means obviously in the world that we're in at the moment uh, if you are as we all are thinking about you know those the pennies then this is perfect to be able to split it over three months uh, and you can still get quality really quality lights uh, and it does make a difference doesn't it like you said on your eyesight having a good quality light yeah. can really help with your lights over years as well and also a lot of people have said to me that um, I've had to stop doing what I love because I can't see and I always say to them look if you've not tried a decent light then you do need to have, have a go with another light and then if they find they're still struggling a little bit sometimes then a magnifier can help but yeah. there is you know you don't need to give up what you love just just make sure that you, you you've tried a native light and even might be the case that you try with a smaller one first and realize what different it makes and then maybe invest in a large one later on absolutely uh, 45.99 this is a really good one to try i can't recommend both of the portable lights enough lots of um people have messaged in as well about this one it's 45 pounds 99 pence but do let us know if you if you've uh, well the thing is you can get it home for £15.33 it's definitely worth making the most of it whilst it's that price uh, and as you said this just does this have a USB charger as well or does this yes. plug into the main I know it's a US little USB charger USB charger as well so you can plug that into a power pack you can do it straight into your laptop or your sewing machine you can do it into of course your laptop so you can just charge it up and use it whilst you're charging as well. And then obviously if you've just got a plug that you use to charge your mobile phone, then yeah. you just would plug it into that and then it go into the mains. Yeah, well, in, in our kitchen, we've now got one of those oh, um, USBs yeah. in the plug sockets now. Yeah. Um, somebody's asked, how long does the, the light life last on this one? So it's eight hours. Eight hours as well. Yeah. 
eight hours like life on this one um, morning Caroline let us know anybody who owns any of these native lighting we want to hear from you on the Facebook live oh yeah Hannah lives in a uh, Victorian terrace house and she said I'd use this you know as a bedside table lamp to uh to, you know for my reading and then in the middle of the night if she needs the toilet which is downstairs at the back of the house then she'd take this without disturbing anybody you just use the desk lamp then as a, a light to to dip to the toilet this is brilliant great idea hannah <laughs> <laughs> 45 99 oh well you know i have to creep around get ready in the dark in the morning so i don't wake anybody Ideal, 45.99, brilliant. Um, right, which one next, Hannah? The zigzag. The zigzag, okay. So we've got this one back in stock because this has been really popular as well. So the zigzag is so compact and portable. It just folds down flat like that. So it's ideal for putting in a handbag or in your crafting bag or actually even fits into pockets because it, it's, it's that small. So with this one, you just <coughs> raise it Excuse up me. and then you can height, adjust the height. So lift the height up as well. This part adjusts up and down as well. And then you just tap, keep your finger on for a couple of seconds. And it's got three brightness levels, this one. This one's just got the one color. Um, this one is just under the daylight setting. It's 4,700 Kelvin. And Kelvin, 5,000 Kelvin is when it starts to be daylight. So if you just tap it three times, you can see you've got the three different brightnesses there. And just keep your finger on it for a couple of seconds and then that will go off. So and then that is really swish, isn't it? I think this is lovely to be able to take into, you know, a laptop bag yep. for, for going to, to classes. If you're staying over for a festival of quilts or for any of the, you know, the big quilting shows and maybe you're doing any of the workshops, um, it, I mean, sometimes the lighting in hotel is notorious. Yeah. It's poor, isn't it? Or say you're going to be on a long train journey or a plane journey and you, you want to just have your own light, not the overhead light and not That's sort of bother idea. everybody else as well. Because it's so tiny, it'll fit into your hand luggage. And um, so this one is actually um, aluminium. So this one's slightly different to the other ones, um, whereas the other ones are sort of more of a, a, a plastic feel. But these ones are, are aluminium, so it's, it, it's, a, it's a nice weighted lamp as well. Not oh. too heavy, but obviously yeah. it's got the weight to mean it doesn't and tipple over when you've actually got got it stood up limited on this one though really limited on this one um, and it is on split pay again 18 pounds and 33 pence uh, these are unbelievable split pays aren't they it just means that you get the chance to uh, of course to try it out and there's zero percent interest on these zero percent interest had I thought you just said there's no interest on these, like no interest. I'm like, um, yeah, people are buying them. I can see people are buying them, but there's no interest on the split pay. Oh, I'm with you. No interest on the split pay, 0% interest, 18 pounds, 33. Loads of people always buy these whenever we get them in. They are so compact. And especially, as you said, now we're starting to, you know, hopefully think about going on holiday later in the year or going on train journeys or on a coach journey absolutely fab to be able to have your own little light and then this charges again this again comes with a little usb just to say we're not actually going to have much stock of this for another two or three months so um, oh okay it's just gone absolutely crazy if you want them please 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 be quick now these are all in the country ready to go aren't they yep they are you've got them here at sewing street but at the moment that's the last amount we're going to have for a couple of good two to three months okay there are now oh uh, okay i'm going to tell you there are 13 left there are 13 left if you want one please do check out it's 18 pound 33 on split pay absolutely make the most of that you don't need to wait till you've paid all of your three payments um you can get it home today after you've paid that first payment of 18 pounds 33 i love that absolutely love it um okay so they're the three sort of portable options. Now, in our craft room, completely different. We've got one magnifier on the show today. There's more on the website, but we just wanted to show you one of our magnifiers. Now, I've got it in black and you've got it in white got it there. In white. Mine's um, plugged in because we've got quite a lot that needed USB plugs today. I love the, uh, <laughs> the black color. I do think that, oops, sorry. I do, I'm gonna bring it close to me. I think this is really swish. It's nice to be able to put into, well, it, 
it comes with your tape clamp, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Then this is one of our small, smaller magnifiers. So yeah. um, if you don't want to have it so it takes up too much space on your desk, this one has a, quite a small footprint because when you're not using it, you can actually just pop it down like this and then so it's out the way quite mm -hmm. a bit. So you can see it's not huge. It's a four inch lens, this one. So it's a four inch glass lens and it's got the reach on it here. So you can reach backwards and forwards. And you've got a wing nut here that you just loosen and then you can angle the head wherever you want it. So you can have it up, you can have it down, you can have it round. So you just tighten it up and then position it wherever you want to have it. So you've got the controls actually on the cable. Mm -hmm. So you've got like a, a little control button here where you've got your on button, and which is, is the red one there. And then you've got um, different colors. So you've got warm light, daylight and cool light. And then you've got a plus and a minus button, which is for your brightnesses on there as well. So you can see the different colors. Oh, hang on. No, we can't. There we go. We can now. And mm -hmm. now. So you can see the, see the warm light, cool light and daylight. Oh, nice. On there. And then you've got your, your that's on the brightest. So what would you recommend as a good light there. then for um, cross stitch or embroidery? Things so you, that you want to be up close yeah, to. So day, the daylight setting definitely and particularly if you're matching colours with you've got different threads and things like that. So definitely the daylight setting if you need to colour match and also it just makes things pop mm -hmm. out more particularly and maybe need some help with reading as well. The magnifier is, is ideal for, for things like that. So the magnification on this is 1.75 times. Yeah. And I've just got a little pot here of some gems. I think we can just use the overhead <coughs> head <coughs> camera <coughs> and then we can see the the gems there. So if I if I leave them here, you can sort of see Oh, if you do the other side of other your light. Side, yeah. Thank you. Like that. Yeah. And then when they come in, you can see how oh! much they actually get magnified there. Oh, that's amazing. They come out there. And then come in with them there. You can just see. Gosh, the I want this just to paint my nails. This is ideal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Or I think of artists, or I mean, it, it goes across so many different uh, crafts, doesn't it? As yeah. well. Obviously, next door we've got hobby maker, paper crafts, model making, jewelry making. Uh, we've just been a nip, uh, and uh, stolen all of their beads from next door. Sorry, jewelry maker. <laughs> just to show you the demo. Uh, but with these sort of split pay options, it makes it accessible to sort of think about different crafts and different hobbies that you have. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And it does make a difference having that light and a magnifier. Yeah, definitely. So, but the nice thing is as well, you not, might not always want to use the magnifier, but you can just use the light. So say you don't need the magnifier, you can angle the light. So if you're working on something, then just angle angle the light on what you're working on. So just so we can show again that, that change the colours. You can see it probably more on the table yeah. where it changes the colours colours on there. And the clamp that it comes with is um, a depth of six centimetres. Yeah. And they've got little uh, pads on the clamps so that they don't damage any furniture as well. If Fantastic. you're going to sort of put them onto the onto some like a dining room table or anything like that. Oh well, that. we've we've put it on previously onto a really thin glass yeah. table, haven't we? It goes as, as so as big as six centimetres and as small as one centimetre. Fab. Depth. Amazing. Um, now there are only four of the white available. There's a couple more of the black, which is actually unusual, actually, because normally the black is one um, that, that is actually probably the most popular colour. Um, but I think that craft lamps are generally white, yes, they aren't are. they? They're more sort of clinical looking. I mean, it depends on your decor, doesn't yeah. it, and which one you prefer. But I like this. I think it looks very sort of trendy, doesn't it? Yeah, and, that, and that's another reason why we, we bought a lot of black lamps out because as you said it's always been white and yeah. very clinical looking and we wanted them to be very ergonomic and that would look and feel nice in the home as yeah. well and more sort of like fit in with the settings in the home as well. Am I paying extra for the delivery? Sorry Claire, were you about to say something? Am I paying extra for delivery on these large no. lights? It's all included all in the 395. All included in the 395, yeah. Now I was just going to say that um, how I've got this angled now, I know a lot of um, people have said to me that they find they put this in front of the sewing machine because they've been struggling to see the needle and, and the stitching. So just by having this in front of them, because it's quite small, yeah. so they can angle it sort of like where they are, so in front of the sewing machine. So then it works really well to help with the sewing on the sewing machines. Oh. 
Oh, then you've got the uh, the magnifying glass to help thread your needle and things yeah. like that, haven't you? And to see all the different stitches. When you've got hundreds of stitches, sometimes it's hard to see what number they all are. Um, but yeah, that is brilliant. Then I would probably have it white if it's going next to my sewing machine. Yeah, so depending on what people want to use it for as well. I mean, I know lots of um, a, a chaps like them in their garage yeah. as well. So um, because obviously with the black, goes sort of like with the masculine look as well. It does. <laughs> and in the garage it's not going to get as dirty. Yeah, that's true. So. Well, choices, you've got both. You can choose whether you want the black colourway or if you want it in white. The main graphic is white at the moment and it's underneath us in, in black. They are both available at the moment, £95.99 and pence or 31 99 split pay. Now, we did come in this morning and all of the lamps were out. And yeah. we said, right, we are gonna have to filter this down a bit because we've only got one hour and we don't want to bombard you with a million lights no. either. They are all on the website. So if you've seen Claire's shows before and there's a specific one that you think, ah, oh, it's not on today's show, it might still be listed underneath us on the web or you can still find them on our website. So don't panic. Floor lamps next to you. Floor lamps, right, okay. <coughs> right, sorry, I've got the black one here next to me. Now, I love the Lumina floor lamp. I think this is, without a doubt, one of the most popular lamps that we've ever had. It's got a really lovely um, slim base, yeah. hasn't it? It's our most popular selling is lamp it? as well. So oh, it's, it's so it's in brilliant. streets and it's, it's natives generally. And why do you think that is? I think it's the, there's a few things. I think it's the flexibility of the gooseneck mm -hmm. so that you can really get that light exactly where you need it and it doesn't affect anybody else in the room. I think, two, the fact it's got 25 different colour settings. <gasps> oh, wow. So you've got five different colours and five brightnesses on each colour and the fact it comes with a remote control. Is so this I your favourite? Um, one of them. One of them. I suppose you can't ask the you can't ask Claire, which is her favourite <laughs> baby, can you? Um, but I love what I find so amazing with this is the gooseneck. It is the best flexible lamp I've ever seen. And did you realise how lightweight it is? It's so portable and so streamlined. So if you don't have a big space, then you could sort of shimmy this behind a sofa or you could shimmy this behind your work desk it's not going to take up much room at all but it's still sturdy the gooseneck stays exactly where you want it it's not going to then droop it's not going to yeah. then move you can have it as long and reach it across or you could even sort of fold it completely out of the way um to wherever wherever you need it and it's not going to click or feel like you're going to break it no. you know what I mean it's got it's got a reinforced neck whereas i know in the past a lot there has been issues with a lot of them dropping and drooping mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the things that we made sure that the, the anything that had a gooseneck had this reinforced steel gooseneck and i mean you know you're you, you've worked with lighting for a long long time now haven't yeah you? yeah over 10 years so, so having that, you know, feedback from people from yeah, from exhibitions and talking to, to users and and sort of so. and the biggest thing for us was the gooseneck because people are like we can't get the light where we need it yeah and so that's where the gooseneck came from. It also comes with the remote control, doesn't it? It does, and there's lots more features on the remote control than there is actually on on the lamp itself. So it's got a timer, sixty second timer, ten minute timer. So mm -hmm. if you sort of think, okay, not much more crafting to be done. Um, I just hit the 10 minute timer and then uh, it'll go off after 10 minutes. It's got a night light um, on there, the little moon, mm -hmm. different buttons for all the colours, 20%, 50%, 100% brightness button. So lots to choose from. Amazing. So there's your remote that comes with it. Um, depending on obviously which colourway you get, can some black or white. Main graphic at the moment is for black. It's 39.99 and split pay. Absolutely amazing this time. Three split payments. Excellent light, range of brightness and colour options, remote control option is brilliant. The turn off delay is an excellent idea. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose like you say, if, you, uh, if you're thinking, right, I just want 10 minutes or if, you, if you're reading and then you fall asleep and it yeah. will just and automatically it will just turn, turn off. off. Especially with not wanting to keep things on these days. So. Oh, well, the amount of times <laughs> I wake up in the middle of the night, Kieran's falling asleep on the sofa with everything running yeah. still. <laughs> so this, this is brilliant, isn't it? Having that turn off feature. Um, 119.99 and it is without a doubt our most popular selling lamp, um, especially in black. black. Yeah. Is this one John Scott has in it black? Is, yeah. One of the many ones that John has. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Um, if you are looking for the white one, you've got the white so one there. The white Let's have a look one. at yours. Yes, so you can see the colours um, on mine as well. So I'll just... Uh, so 
on, so you've got the control as well on, on the actual panel as well as your remote control and you can see you've got your warm light your cool light and your daylight there and then um, the different brightnesses as well on that so you can see it's going up to the most brightest five different options of each yeah so five colors and five brightnesses so there's 25 settings on there so you're always going to find a light that works for you so that's why I think it's so popular that people... And the other thing is, once you've found the light that you like, it's got a smart memory, and then when you switch it on and off, it'll come back on to what you had it on the last time as well. Oh, see, that's genius, because I would be thinking, right, I can't, I've can't. got can't the most remember. perfect light. I yeah. can't remember which one it was, because there's so many settings, but it has got that smart memory as well. Yeah. Is this mains operated? It is. This one's mains operated. Plug it into, obviously, your mains and it will um, give you that beautiful LED light, which you don't need to replace any bulbs either, don't do you? don't need to replace any bulbs, no. So LEDs are a sealed unit. So if there ever was an issue with any of the LEDs, then we just need to replace the whole product because everything's guaranteed for two years. Brilliant. Comes with that guarantee. And it is also on split pay as well. Um, it will bop up in a second. There you go, 39.99 on split pay. Um, or 199.99, but definitely make the most of that 0% interest. Also, no extra P&P. It's all included in that one poster and packaging. Once you've paid that one P&P, then it's 3.95 all day long. Amazing. Uh, what would you, did you say, sorry, Hannah? Ring light. Ah, we've got the ring light, yes. Ring light. Let me just put my microphone onto my belt. I haven't come um, dressed appropriately today. Now, I might need to pass this over to you. Um, I own this ring light. It is amazing. I've told so many of my friends. One of my friends is a makeup artist. It was actually when I, when I went on that makeup course oh, day. I said, right, I need a ring light. I need a ring light. My lighting, isn't, uh, my lighting at home isn't sufficient for me to try and put on my makeup. But there are so many people that use this for different things. Every single time we have a party, I'll always say, let me get my light out so we can get a selfie. <laughs> I did, didn't I, at most party. I did at Christmas party as well. So... It okay. comes with different, well, go on, Claire, you go for it. So it comes with three different phone holders. So this, the reason for this is some people do Facebook Lives and Instagram Lives. And normally what you have to do is you have to then do it twice. But if you've got two phones, you can do it at the same time and put them in, into the holders. So you just switch it on here. And this has also got five different colours on there as well. So if you just go through all the colours, you've got your daylight, warm light cool light and then a couple in between as well and then you've got a plus button and a minus button so again to change your brightness on these as well and you don't need to change the filters that's no. what amazed me because i did have a look online and ones around this sort of price um they come you know we carry cases like this that then include filters that you have to physically yes. dismantle to put in another filter if you like the different colors whereas this is all literally like touch button so what they actually are is they're the different colored led sections so there'd have been a warm one a cool one yeah, and a daylight it. so you have to pull it apart yeah. for each color so how faffy is that yeah whereas this is obviously just the one touch um, and then you get obviously get your, diff your different colors because there is lots of different prices out there what I tend to find is people will always buy a cheaper one and then decide it hasn't been what they wanted and then buy the more expensive one after um, so you know you but it's not so good then because you've spent more than you needed yeah, to that's so it. and I well. love the fact that it, uh, it can it comes down yeah um, go sort of flat so so like you know this. when you watch our show and we do overhead camera yeah. shots, you can actually do that if you're running Facebook Lives or classes. Yeah, so for people that are teaching or doing tutorials that want to be able to then put on YouTube and things like that, so you just put the head down and you also get a remote control with it that operates your phone. So you download an app that goes to your phone and then the little remote control will stop and start for videos or photography as well so there's no more sort of like po <coughs> pointing and then having to cut that out when, when you sort of like first start start your lives as well oh I mean don't get me wrong I must say when I first saw that Claire had bought these I thought uh, this is so you know young it's I don't do Facebook lives it's not for me but actually it's the way the world is going isn't yeah. it there are so many if you've got any grandchildren or children or friends or anybody that it's it is 
a, a, a diff it's a different world now, isn't it? There's a lot of people out there who use ring lights for yeah. so many different professions. Even just for um, if you're if you're doing zooms and you know with lots of colleagues and things, just having that nice white light in yeah. front of you just makes you look so much more awake, alive. Oh, we've had to younger, learn it. fresher. This is it. Um, I use it in my office because my office is quite dimly lit and it's mm. north facing, so I just have it in the corner of the room. It doesn't take up much room, no, does it? No, and it just makes the whole room feel much nicer. Like there's just nice light in, yeah. in the room so I use it quite a lot for that it height adjustable as well so you can, you can go up and down you know and go a lot lower so you've got like three different um, screws on here which yeah. you can you can lower it in each section as well yeah. so a lot, a lot of different heights as well so you can even get it down as low where you could have it on a desk brilliant as well. and it is really nice and lightweight it comes in a, a really lovely carry case as well and you do get that little remote control in there Hannah I do care what were you saying about your Facebook live Oh, oh, Hannah's dad doesn't do Facebook lives, but he does sell things online. So like on eBay or people who use Etsy for small businesses, for photography, you yep. know, if you're photographing things, it makes such a difference for it to be lit yeah and it stops lit. it stops shadows from being created as well so right. where a lot of people are trying to take photos of, of a product maybe for their shop or whatever and then it's sort of like you always got that shadow so if you position it right either from above or at the side then you stops the shadow as well I think because we've gone through such a, a hard time over the last few years I'm obsessed now with taking photos of my family and all together whenever there's groups people are like right, I'm getting a big photo because we haven't been able to do it for no. so long and it's so important to have nice photographs and actually how many of us have tried to do this with a phone and it just doesn't work? Whereas having this to be able to take really lovely photos. I, I mean, I, me and Maisie have had many a photo shoot with our ring it. light. And as a family, it's so lovely to have almost like professional looking photos. But it's just having the right lighting, isn't it? We've all got these mobile phones now yeah. probably that have, have got really lovely cameras on. And to utilise them with the right lighting do made you use, such a difference. Do you use your remote control? I do. do. It's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And really <laughs> easy actually to download the the the, uh, the app as well um, don't sort of get bogged down with the fact of oh I'm not very good at downloading apps it's so simple to do and talk you through exactly how to set it up um, and you don't actually have to put all of the the little arms in do no, you no a lot they of people just put one in but yeah. they're, they're there if you need them which is fab isn't it absolutely love the ring light I can't recommend it enough for for lots of different things but even like you said just to have in your room if you need another light that's nice and slim and lightweight and to give off a really lovely ambient light yeah. just for that um, now it's thirty one ninety nine on split pay as well. I could talk about this for another hour or so. It's really amazing. <laughs> we have got to recap the reverse lamp because there are a lot of people who've got this in your basket. Um, now a third of the stock has completely gone. It's just come back into stock today. Now there's another third in baskets. Just be aware, this is again along with the Lumina floor lamp, always one of our fastest selling lights. It's just come back into stock today. Um, can you just give us a quick overview quick again one. for yeah. anybody who, who missed the start of the show? Okay, so obviously you've got, got this, which is a rechargeable lamp, so it can be used without any cable. You've got your little handle, <coughs> so if you want to sort of like use it to, to walk around or to hang it um, from, a, from an umbrella and like your patio set. So the handle just goes down, and then when you turn it around, it changes to daylight. You go back again and it goes back down to a cool ambient light. Mm -hmm. You've also got on, so you've got your on and off button on here and then you've got your dimmer settings along here. So you just run your finger up and down and then you can see as you're doing that, it's dimming down. And then you turn it around and you've got exactly, got exactly the same again. Uh, honestly, it is. Uh, oh. Change it around. Revolutionary, I love it. And then you've got your handle there. Once everybody checked out, just so you know, there are less than 20, and that's all of our stock that we have uh, for some time, I think. So absolutely, that was the brand new stock in today. It's £63.99, and I understand it's investment, but it is one of those that, like you said, you're not going to have to worry about changing any batteries, or sorry, any, yeah, batteries or any uh, bulbs. No. LED light 
choose what setting you like. It's so, so versatile. And it's one that you could take out and about as well. I love yeah. the idea of taking this camping. Great yeah, idea. Yeah, and, that, and that's what's lovely about this lamp is, you know, you if you put it onto the daylight setting and you put it next to you when you're crafting or sewing, stitching, it, it gives you the light that you need, but then you can take it around and use it for other things yeah. as well. Brilliant. Um, do ask any questions, any questions that you have. Claire, you're on social media, aren't you? We can find yep. you on Native Lighting. Yeah, and then any questions that anybody's got, they can either send it through the website as well, um, or they can send it into Sewing Street. They'll pass it on to me. Um, but I'm quite regularly on Facebook and Instagram as well, uh, talking about hints and tips with lighting as well. Oh, brilliant. Um, now, we have also got the light we that's have. next to you here. Yes, this is the Slim Lamp Flex. Oh, I've got it in black and white. Let's move the... I'll away. keep this one over by me. Yeah, which so your one in? is plugged in. Perfect. So it's got really easy clamp. It's one of those sort of um, clippy clamps that can go onto your desk. It's again got that lovely goose neck, that amazing goose neck. No, it's not. Hannah loves the fact that it doesn't. It doesn't feel like you're snapping it or bending it the wrong way. It will exa stay exactly where you want it. Now, it also has the button on the end here. This is the one that we use in um, in the gallery. So I'm holding it in, and this is where you get your So then it dims it down. Yeah. So you just keep your finger on it, take it off, and then put it on again, and then it'll go back up to the brightest. Nice. Can you see that? Oh, no. It's quite difficult to show on camera, but um, it's got a really lovely brightness. Does this have one colour setting? Just daylight on this one. And this is a different type of clamp we have on this one. Mm -hmm. This is what they call a spring clamp. So if you can see how that opens there. <coughs> Again, you can see the pads that are on on this one. So for your furniture, it doesn't doesn't obviously take up too. too is this the one damage. that people put onto the back of their headboard as yes. well? Yes. I mean, this one, again, also wraps up so tiny. So if you wanted to travel with it, you, you know, you can, you can get it down that's that small. It, it's tiny and it's USB powered, this one. So again, you either have it into your, your plug that you put into the mains, you can have it into a, a power pack. So again, really portable, can take it everywhere with you, into your laptop, into your PC, back of your sewing machine if you've got a USB. So um, is it a rechargeable one? This one isn't rechargeable. Right, this is what they call USB powered. Okay. So so it has to be plugged into a power pack or an, an, another application or um, the plug. Uh, Mary's also asked, is it suitable for an easel? Yes, it's, it's really nice for an easel actually because the clamp is so good. So you'd either clamp it on the top or one of the sides and then obviously you just angle wherever you need the light to, to, the, to be over, over the painting. I don't know whether I should actually say this with the technicians that are about to come in to us to help fix everything, but I'll say it now. Hannah cl clips hers on the back of the computer. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but she literally clips onto the, the back of the computer and then will sort of pull the gooseneck round and it will be really lovely and like all over the desk and the keyboard. Um, it's, it is brilliant. I love that slim, really lovely slim um, top as well. It's not going to take up much space at all. So yeah, this is why I've seen pictures on social media actually of it clipped onto the headboard at the back and brought overhead for, for, for reading. For reading, yeah as well so yes so many different uses for it love that it's in black and it's available in white we would uh, talk about it um, a bit more but we are running out of time uh, 49.99 is for the black then we also have one recap of the torch yep yeah, no problem torch. torch not just a torch it is so much more than just a torch it is ready for the magic so double tap for your torch and then you've got a really lovely bright light then you open it up, use this as a base, and you have got da, 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 your desk lamp. Different colours. Oh, it's brilliant, Claire. I love this one. <laughs> I can see you're going to be having one of these. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool, isn't it? Anybody who works from home, anybody who wants a desk lamp for even just reading, uh, anybody who, again, is going off to, to workshops or classes, struggles reading, you know, instructions, or just needs that extra light. For anybody who works shifts like us and has to get up extra early in the morning without disturbing people, this is Yeah, that's ideal. a really good good, good point that Hannah made, that, you know, if you, you have it as a bedside lamp and then you want to get up 
in the night and just just use that light then it's only going to be where you shine it so yeah. it's not going to be the whole the whole of the household being woken up that's it exactly it's perfect for that 45 pounds 99 or 15.33 on split pay that is without a doubt one of the lowest prices i have ever seen on sewing streets split pay ever 15 pounds 33 our split pay normally only kicks in on products over 100 pounds so definitely make the most of all of these native lighting uh, this is one of those that i said i really struggle to know what to get the gents in my life Father's Day coming up. This would be ideal, wouldn't it? Um, it is ideal to be able to have a really good torch. What about for keeping the car as well? Yeah, my mum's got one that she keeps in the car. So, and because it keeps its charge if it's not being right. used, so it doesn't run down. So yeah, it's ideal. Like you say, if you break down or you know you need to sort of change that tyre, and you, yeah. you can <laughs> use oh, the yeah. light for that. You should probably always have a torch in your car, shouldn't you? So to be able to have a torch like this, and then also, I don't like to put. I don't know why, but. I don't think you're supposed to put the lights on in your car, are you? You know, on the inside. I never, I never do it. I don't know why. I think someone told me, so I never do it. And then, uh, but if you need to look for something in the back of the car and you're going along and it's night, this is perfect to be able to keep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, just don't mind. <laughs> Fifty-five, ninety-nine. I'm just saving. I'm not driving at this point, by the way. Hannah, I'm not driving. Kira's <laughs> driving. Hannah's like, I'm not getting in the car with you. Fifteen thirty-three on split pay. Um, this is absolutely flying up, by the way. Those of you that have got them in your basket, just be aware. Uh, this one, the reverse lamp was back in today. Uh, there are so many that are, are now limited, just be aware. Thank you. Uh, thank you ever so much, Claire. What a lovely uh, pit stop again. I feel I like it's gone so quick. <laughs> yes, yes. When are you back on with us? Um, I don't know. I'll have to... Um have to wait until uh, I get told I'm coming back. Oh, well, you, you're, you're busy here, there, and everywhere. And I hobby am. Maker yeah, now. Been on hobby maker. Jewelry maker. I'm jewelry maker. Yeah. So. Um I know. I, uh, I did hear about Mark Smith's show and I went in to the, uh, the jewelry maker studio. I was like, do you know how good these lights are? And he was like, they've already sold out, Vic. They've already sold out. <laughs> um, the reverse light, by the way, is your main graphic. We'll leave them on through the, uh, through the break. We'll see you, Sue. Thank you okay, very much. Thanks very much. Lovely Stuart is going to come on. You are a dream. Oh, I'm going to rest my voice for half an hour and then I'm going to come back later with Stuart. So... Yeah, we're going to have a sing then. We've got Le Bibo M. We've got our uh, Moda collection launching, which is the the amazing quilt behind Claire. Lots of people have been messaging in about it. Stuart's made it. Isn't it amazing? Those fabrics are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Right. Do not go anywhere. Stuart's going to be coming up. He's got lots of great tips for quilting. So get all of your questions in for him and I'll see him then uh, with his show coming up later. Uh, stay where you are. Get all your messages in for him and I'll see you. Well, Stuart, we'll see you right after this. Thank you, Stuart. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about Yarn Lane? TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one p and all day. up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us.
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello lovelies. Well, I wasn't expecting this and neither were you, but hey, it's an opportunity to have an extra hour together. I've got my Harry Potters on, so I obviously mean business. Let's get cracking. No one, no one had noticed here. No one had noticed here. Charlie always calls him my Harry Potters. Oh, you got your Harry's on then. He's... <laughs> anyway, that's just me. It makes me giggle and him. Anyway, we're giving Vix uh, a little break, her voice a little break, um, <laughs> as I'm about to cough as well. It's a good start, isn't it? Honestly, welcome to Cough TV. <laughs> I'm Stuart Hillard. Now listen, before we get started, I just want to mention, well we are getting started, I want to st launch straight in. We're talking this hour about essential quilting tools and notions and um, you know that old saying, it's not a quilt till it's quilted and it's got to be three layers and all that? Well I'm going to start with 80-20 batting because we are down to our last bit of stock of this. We've got 24 units, so that's 12 metres. Now, when you consider that a bedside quilt's going to need two and a half to three metres, that means we've only got enough for a few customers. So I want to highlight this now. It's our cotton mix wadding. It's 80% cotton, 20% batting. It's constantly on reorder, so I'm not saying it's going to be out for ages, but if you think you might need a batting in the near future, are you just getting to put the borders on? Is it that wonderful time the borders are going on? Um, grab your batting now. Now remember it's sold by the half metre. Width-wise this is 244 centimetres wide. Now in terms of inches, I want to say that's 96, but can we just check that please? Um, it's wide, I'm going to open it out. 96 inches, hello, I've been here before, haven't I? There you go. So absolutely fine for a queen size quilt because the queen size is 90 by 108. Um, vast majority of us make quilts around about that size or smaller. And of course, don't forget as well that when you're cutting out your batting, um, you wanna leave a good, well, if you're machine quilting or hand quilting, a good two inches around each side. If you're going to have it long armed, you need to allow about six inches on each side for it to um, go onto the frame. But our price is terrific, $6.99 per half metre. 80-20 wadding is my wadding of choice and it has been for more than 20 years. Now, you can get 100% cotton battings, but my personal choice has always been to have that 20% polyester for a few reasons. You have a little bit of increased loft, so just a slightly bit of extra sort of puff to the batting. It's not quite so thin and felt-like. And what that does for your quilting is it kind of makes it pop. Um, and when you're gonna spend all that time doing your quilting, you want it to pop. Um, there's 80 20 wadding in the quilt that's hanging behind me. Also, it improves its sort of washability, its bounce back. Well done if you managed to get your 80 20 wadding. It has now sold out. Well done if you got yours. We've got it on reorder as well, but you know, I know some of us have got a quilt that's just waiting to be quilted. It's always good to have it in stock. Now, another thing that we've managed to get back in stock just last week, but already is heading towards sellout, is the Stripology Ruler. Now I'm just gonna grab, 
it's the stripology squared that we're going to be using just going to grab up my rotating cutting mat now this is also one of my new best friends i've do you know what i've always avoided rotary um rotating cutting mats for one reason i always thought in my head well they're going to be unstable aren't they it's a mat on a little round base like a lazy susan it's going to tip and rock while i'm cutting i'd never even tried one i'd never even tried one what a dolly eh so this is locked and of course you can use it locked it is so stable i'm putting all my weight now admittedly it's about 20 pounds lighter I'm just going to throw that in. It's about £20 less than there was about eight weeks ago. Bum, bum. But, I mean, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> Our producer's more concerned that I'm going to send the desk flying, putting my considerable weight. Okay, if you click those locks in, it's locked. If you click them inwards, it's unlocked now. So when I flip this over now, I can rotate that cutting mat. Now, this is an 18-inch square. Why is rotating useful? Gosh, if you've ever rotary cut anything, you'll, you'll be shouting at the television why that's important. But you know what? When we're cutting our fabrics, we tend to always start with a clean-up cut, don't we? We start with a clean-up cut. Now, I'm just going to grab a regular ruler. I am going to be working with stripology, but I'm going to start with a regular ruler just to illustrate the point. So I've got my fabric down on the rotating cutting mat like that. And um, let's just grab the fold. I'm going to lay the fold against one of the lines on my board to make sure that's nice and straight. And then I'm going to fold the top down as well. Now you might, if you're using a massive board, you might only have to fold it once, just kind of salvage to salvage. But if you're working on a smaller mat this is 18 inches square or if you're cutting something like a, a border and you're working with the length of the fabric sort of not the crosswise then you might have to do this if you line up your fabric sorry i was in shot then shiny head um, if you line up the fold at the top and the fold at the bottom when you unfold your fabric you won't have that builder's elbow apologies to builders but you know what i mean <laughs> all right so I'm going to take my ruler and I'm lining up a ruler, a line on my ruler here and here. Okay. And I'm going to cut. Whoops, sorry. What is wrong with this rotary cutter? I think maybe the... Oh. Ah, it's been set up for left-handers. So right, I can use it. I can use it. Oh, I might be able to use it the wrong way around. I might not. I'll tell you in a sec if I can use that or not. Okay, so I've done my clean-up cut. Now, I always say, turn your mat, not your board. Uh, turn your mat, not your fabric. But normally, that involves lifting the board up. Not today. Not today. Um, I can just twist my board around, and then I'm able to cut. Now, of course, if I'm working on something like straight strips, that's the only time I'm going to turn it. But if, for example, I was using the hexagon trim it tool, okay, then I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six cuts. And, and if I want wrist strain or to potentially miscut my fabric or miscut myself, then, then that is the way to do it, isn't it? And that's really not the way to do it. You don't want to be constantly turning your board. This is where having the rotating cutting mat is so genius because we can make a cut, make a turn, make a cut. What about if you're trimming half square triangles? What about if you're making log cabin and you want to trim, trim? Don't do that. Just move your board and then trim away always away from yourself. So absolute boon these rotating cutting mats. Love them. Now, I did mention that we've got the Stripology squared ruler um, in stock. So I'm going to grab this and let's do a bit of cutting. Okay, so with your Stripology squared, you still do a cleanup cut. So I'm going to do another cleanup cut just to show you what you would do. But once you've got your fabric laid out like this, you're going to line up um, a line on the ruler at the top and at the bottom and i'm just nudging the fabric down so we get it really nice and whoops really nice and straight and i've just popped a tiny little bit of the fabric off at this first cut line at zero 
Okay. I think I am going to have to have a different rotary cutter. Different rotary cutter, please. This is this is not suitable. Sorry. Oh, I've got one. I've got one. I think. Yeah, I've got one. Not for me. Okay, so when you're doing your first cleanup cut, you don't have to start twisting the board, but you're just going to use a few fingers just to hold that in place, and then we're going to make our first cut. Now, when you put your um, cutter into your into the first slot, remember your stripology has got all these little slots. Don't start by going in here. What you want to do is lay your rotary cutter on the side and sort of rock it into the slot, and that will stop you from damaging your stripology ruler because you can chip it with the with the blade if you're not careful about how you put it in. Okay, so I've made that cut, but I don't have to start removing that bit of fabric. I'm just going to leave it there. Now, if I want one and a half inch strips, I follow, can you see if I move this forward very slightly, can you see along the bottom there are stars printed? Those stars that are printed right here are at every one and a half inch mark, okay? So if I want one and a half inch strips, don't keep counting numbers, just go for the stars. If you want two and a half inch strips, you don't have to keep counting two and a half, five, seven, you just go for the squares, all right? So that's really set up nicely. If you wanted one and a quarter inch strips, then all you've got to do is um, move your ruler or a, a one and a quarter inch strip. If you just move your ruler over and you can make that first cut, um, you can have one and a quarter inch strips. So you can vary the size of the strips if you want to. Now let me just get that lined back up again. And then what's wonderful about this is that we can then just start cutting. So again, just pop your fingers uh, along the side you're not having to hold this uh, to any extent. The mat will hold itself in place. So I'm just going for all of the stars. No shifting the ruler along. Just being a little bit careful each time just to kind of rock the blade into the groove rather than sort of pushing it down. Um, and there's one more star. And if I move that away, there's my cleanup cut. And look, it's like a magic trick, isn't it? I've got all my one and a half inch strips cut and they're all perfect. They're all exactly one and a half inches. They're all nice and straight as well. And then if I wanted to sew different coloured strips together and then recut them, I can do exactly the same again. I can strip piece all my strips together. I can lay my stripology ruler back over the top of my strip piece unit, do my clean up cut. And then what you want to make sure is that you kind of locate as many lines on your stripology ruler with seams on your strip piece unit as you can to ensure that everything's straight as you cut and then cut, 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 cut. I mean, imagine how quickly you can make nine patch blocks, 16 patch blocks, log cabins, you name it. Anything that uses strips, it's so fast to cut. But what you've also got on your stripology ruler is you've got the ability to square up blocks up to 12 inches or 12 and a half inches square You've got all of these lines working across three, four, five inches, all the way up to 12 and a half. If you want exact, you know, a 12 inch square, a 10 inch square, you follow the black lines. If you want the half inch added on, you follow the white lines. If you're squaring up a half square triangle or you've got a gazillion of them to square up, again, you can do that. But again, this is where having that rotating cutting mat is so useful because you can square up, you can turn your board and then you can square up the remaining sides. Both of these products are really limited. The rotating cutting mat, the 18 inch square, we've got five. We've got five left. Well done if you managed to get yours. We'll get them again of course but 
We don't know when, we don't know how quickly we'll be able to replenish. Um, the stripology squared, there are only nine left, okay? There are no XLs, they sold out the day we got them back in stock, I'm afraid. If you want this one, the stripology squared, be quick, we've less than 10. We did stagger the release, we saved these ones back officially, um, but yeah. We haven't got very many left at all. So be quick on those, keep going through on your Stripology Squared and also on that fabulous rotary cutting mat. It's my new best friend, that. Let me pop that out of the way. Now we do have a smaller rotating cutting mat. I don't have one here, but I will show it you in a second. Um, particularly good if you like to do things like trimming down blocks or working on smaller blocks, scrap quilting. The small mats are so, so useful. Now talking about so, so useful and something small, neat and pretty perfect, um, the, excuse me, the multi-mat is one of my absolute kind of best friends. Absolute best friends, I love it whatever its format. On the outside of your board, you've got this gorgeous pressing surface, okay? Um, and if you want to keep that sort of nice and still, I always use this little cover here, just on my table, just to protect the surface so I can have a little, cut, a little um, pressing surface here. Or if I want a little bit larger, um, pressing surface then I can have it open and use that as my pressing surface. Now also within here we've got the emery board. Now that's not for taking off any rough edges on your fingernails. What that is for is if you want to mark a square. So for example we're often kind of marking the diagonal aren't we when we're cutting out half square triangles. We'll put the fabric down on the on the table um, and we will mark a diagonal line. Now that's all well and good but what tends to happen if we do that on the table, let me show you, if we're doing that on the table as we're trying to do that diagonal line what tends to happen, what tends to happen is that as we're taking, as we're taking that, that or drawing that pencil the, the fabric distorts, the fabric starts to move, particularly up at the top corner. But even as we're going along, particularly if we're a bit heavy handed, we can end up dragging or stretching the fabric. It's so easy to do, especially if you're putting quite a lot of pressure on that ruler. Now instead, if you use your emery side or emery board on your multi-mat, that will hold your fabric perfectly in place and then you can just draw that line, no distortion. Isn't that cool? If you wanted to work with templates, say you're drawing around a clamshell template, again, pop your template on, draw around and it's not, that did slip and slide then, um, it's not going to slip and slide because that emery holds the fabric. Can you see? It really minimises, I'm really pushing on this, but it really grips the fabric well and it just makes the whole job so much easier, particularly if you've got tons. So long, you know, if you've got tons of shapes to draw around or tons of half square triangles, it's fab. Okay, this is a little flock side now. This is great for arranging your fabrics on. So if you're creating an applique, if you're arranging patches to sew together for a unit, and, and you'll hear me say this often, you know, if you, if you want to avoid the sort of twisted block, you know what I mean? Where the half square triangle's around the wrong way, lay it out next to you and then work so, put it back down and keep going back and forth and, it, and you tend to get everything right that way. These are ideal. And then last of all, you've got your self-healing cutting mat. Now, if you're doing something like foundation paper piecing, you're going to be trimming your block you're going to be sewing, then you're going to be pressing, and then you're going to be trimming again. So you've got everything there right next to you. Now it's less than 20 pounds, and I think that's fantastic because it's your portable workstation. It's your ironing board, it's your marking 
surface, it's your design wall, and it's your cutting and trimming mat. Fabulous. It doesn't rotate. If it rotated, I, you know, we'd all, we'd all have a drink and go home. <laughs> that would be ace, but it doesn't rotate. But you know what? For all its functionality, I can forgive that one thing. All right, that's our multi-map. Now, we talked about waddings at the start of the show. Um, now, you know I do a lot of long arm quilting, but I still really enjoy machine quilting on my sewing machine and certainly when I'm working on things like cushions, wall hangings, table runners, bags um, and I want to get those layers together I go straight to my basting spray to hold my layers together. I do not like pinning um, I used to use curve safety pins. Charlie um, got very adept at helping me. He was fabulous at pinning. But the reason why it was a two-person job was because okay my tip if you're going to pin a quilt or if you're going to hand baste okay is that you should not be able to put your clenched fist anywhere on your quilt without touching a line of basting stitches or a safety pin now you imagine that surface area how many pins are you going to need even for quite a small wall hanging 200 300 have you got that many pins if you're working on a big quilt have you found when you're quilting it that even with a walking foot even if you're free motion quilting, you're getting tucks, you're getting pleats. And you know, I sometimes see when people have basted quilts together and there's maybe a 10 or a 12 inch block and there's a pin there and there's a pin there or even one in the middle and that's it. And the next one's over here. If there's nothing holding your quilt together between those pins, it will move. And that's why you need a pin for every fist bump on your quilt or or baste your quilt together with spray much easier much faster and it's more successful because your quilt's not going to move while you're quilting this is the June Taylor quilt basting spray now I've used 505 I've also used the June Taylor they are interchangeable what I really like about the June Taylor so if you've never used a basting spray what you're going to do you're going to put your batting down on a surface, you're going to lay your quilt top on top of that, and then you're going to peel the quilt back out of the way, okay? And then you're going to spray your June Taylor basting spray onto the batting. Now you want to do it from 10 to 12 inches. So imagine hairspray. You wouldn't spray hairspray here. You'd expect to get a very wet head, okay? Um, this is the sort of diff distance for hairspray. This is the sort of distance for basting spray. Now, when I see a lot of people using basting spray, I see this. You might recognize yourself here. Okay, and little spots. And then we get wet patches. And then when it goes through the machine, you can gum your needle. If you've ever had that problem, you're spraying too close. 10 to 12 inches, okay? Light mist, again, like you're using hairspray. And onto the batting. Once you've sprayed the surface, a light, even coat, smooth your quilt top back over the top, smooth it down. When you're smoothing it down though, be careful that you don't start stretching and distorting your quilt top. If you've pieced lovely straight sashings, keep them straight when you're basting. But Here's the benefit of June Taylor's basting spray over 505. If you've put it down and then you get to it and you think, do you know what, that's a bit crooked, I'd like to redo that. Light steam iron over the top reactivates the adhesive. You can lift, you can reposition, and then it will stick again. I think that's magic. I think that's genius. A can like that is going to do conservatively, you know, a king size quilt, front and back. If you're doing wall hangings, table runners, lots, okay? But if you're doing a large quilt, I like to have a large, you know, a large can. I'm not necessarily saying you, you are gonna use every last scrap of it, you probably won't, but just to give you a rough idea, how far does it go? 12.99 for the can. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm just, 
I'm just being asked if I'd like a Starbucks. There's no discreet way of saying this. Yes, please, a cappuccino. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't really say no, can I? Can't really say no. Yeah, really keen on um, basting sprays. You know, I was talking about 300, 400 pins in a quilt. Don't forget, when you've put them in, the minute you start quilting, you have to start taking them out again. I mean, it really is a faff, isn't it, um, doing that. And also, I'm all for, you like, relaxing when you're quilting. This might sound alien, because you might get really tense when you're quilting your quilts. I hear that a lot. Um, one of the things that's making you feel tense is all of those obstacles in the way, all of those pins. Where's the clear space? If you want to just do that, how can you do that when there are pins in the way? So that's going to kind of wind you up. That's going to make you feel tense. If your surface is completely clear, your quilt's held together perfectly, there's no shifting, no movement because you've basted your quilt together, you can just relax and quilt it. Now, in terms of how long it's going to last um, when you have laid it all up, um, there isn't anything actually on the can. What I would say is, from my experience, is once you've basted a quilt together, it stays basted together until you wash it. Okay, when you wash your quilt, either by hand or machine, it's going to wash that adhesive away. Okay, but until you do that, it should stay basted together. So if you're working on a quilt over a period of time, it's going to stay basted. It, the only time I found where you get any kind of lifting is if you haven't basted it thoroughly in the first place and then you can get a little bit of lifting then. But easy enough, go over with your steam on that unquilted area, lift, repress. If it's at the edges, I mean we tend to start quilting in the centre, don't we, and work outwards. I'm going to challenge that in a sec, but we start in the centre and work outwards. If you're working at the edges and you get a bit of lifting, you can always peel those back and respray if you feel like you need to. I'm just going to challenge the old uh, start quilting in the centre and work outwards. Why do we start quilting in the centre and work outwards? I'll answer my own question. It's because we are expecting, we are expecting the quilt top to shift, aren't we? We're expecting it to shift because if we start from the outside and work inwards and the quilt shifts, we end up with a mountain in the centre of our quilt. If our quilt doesn't shift at all, then does it matter where we start? No. If you've basted it properly, it doesn't shift, so we can quilt wherever we like. So for example, if we've done a quilt that has nine patch blocks and it has open plain blocks and we want to do cross hatching through the nine patch and then a wreath in the square maybe we want to start by doing all of the nine patches let's do that let's let's quilt all of the nine patches first and then go in and fill in the spaces in between traditional wisdom says you can't do that you've got to start in the center and you've got to work outwards and chop and change between the two I say if you've basted your quilt properly and it's not shifting, you can quilt wherever you like, in whatever order. That quilt basting spray is about to sell out. Well done if you got yours. Essential tools, they make the job easier. I was gonna say, can we talk about extra wide baddies? Now I don't need to tell Hannah this. <laughs> I don't like piecing back in like piecing backings. I'll only do it if I have to. I'll only do it if I have to. This is, this is um, extra wide backing fabric. Okay, and it's really beautiful. This is Moda. This is Moda. And this is, um, the range is called Gradients Parfait. I love Look at that. Look at that. I want to use that for the border of my quilt. Can I use quilt backing for the border? Of course I can. Could I use it for the binding? Yes. Could I piece with it? Absolutely. Isn't that gorgeous? Can I dress make with it? Yep. Skirts, 
jumpsuits, whatever you like. Yeah, chunky gold jewelry. What a shirt in that. Will somebody please make me a shirt in that? <laughs> ah, wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, his and hers outfits. Me in a shirt, you in a jumpsuit. Let's do it. Absolutely amazing. Now, width-wise, this is 274 centimetres wide. I want to say that's 109 or 108 inches. It's 108. Thank you. It's 108. So, that's going to be fantastic for up to about 100 inch wide quilt. Because we do 100, 102. Because we do want a few inches on either side. And if you're wondering why, well, if you're going to quilt the border of your quilt right out to the edge, you've got to be able to put your hands on something outside of that edge. And that's that extra couple of inches. So you can quilt right to the edge of your, your quilt. All right, and then you trim it back when it's done. Absolutely stunning fabric that, isn't it? It's 13.99 a meter. Now for a queen size quilt, you're going to need around two and a half to three units, uh, sorry, meters, beg your pardon. So you're gonna want like five and a half to six units. It is always, always worth putting a quality backing on your quilts. The back of your quilt's gonna take just as much wear as the front. Nice message from Sharon. Morning, Stuart, lovely to be watching you. Thank you for all the really useful tips this morning. Love, Sharon, you're welcome. Kisses to you too. Um, Nick uh, is also messaging in saying, morning, Stuart, you're not alone. Um, uh, Oh, disliking piecing backing. I really dislike the seam in the middle. Yeah, oh. If you want to avoid the seam running down the middle, use a full width down the middle and then half widths or whatever you need either side. Um, this is if you're using normal um, width fabric um, or maybe sometimes, sometimes you can find 60 inch wide fabric. Um, but yeah, this avoids the seams completely completely. Now of course you could make matching cushions to go with your scheme or, or just because you want cushions. Use it on the front, use it on the back. What about using this to make um, a ruffle that goes around the bottom of a bed? Yeah like a dust ruffle. You need meters and meters and meters of regular fabric to do that. I've made them, it's eye-watering. If you use extra wide backing um, you don't need anything like as much. What about bags? Gift bags? Tote bags? All made out of that. All matching. Beautiful. This would be a gorgeous scheme, I think, for a baby shower or a party. What about tablecloths? You know when you want to use, you know, like we all do it at Christmas, don't we? We grab out the um, decorating, the pasting table, and the kids go on that, or the picnic table or something like that. You have extra relatives, yeah, emergency chair. You're in a deck chair, Grandma. You're on the sun lounger, Mum, you're not. <laughs> but we've all done it, haven't we? And you want a quick cover up. Um, really useful to do that. Actually, last year when I did um, Festival of Quilts, I had this really quite sort of rough and ready table. Um, but what I did was I made a cover for it, you know, rectangle at the top and then rectangular panels front and side and just seams going straight down to create this fitted cover over the top of the table. It looked really smart. No one would ever have known what was going on underneath it um, you could use it for those too that would be fantastic to have a sort of like emergency table and table cover so that's our pink option 13.99 for the half meter can we do the blue green mm, this is AU89 it's gonna sell out this one's gonna sell out but look at that oh, well done well done if you got that that is yummy that is yummy what about overprinting or stamping on that? Beautiful. You could also use it as an applique background. That has now sold out. Good for you if you managed to get it. What about my favorite color, rainbow? All the colors, then you don't have to pick. And remember, you can do whole cloth quilts too, where, you know, it's one single fabric on the top of the quilt and you quilt it. 
That's sold out as well. I wish you could hear producer Hannah in my, sold out. <laughs> she doesn't dress it up. She doesn't say it softly. Now, <laughs> the yellow or the green? Yellow. Oop, throw it across the room. Do you know, I've been working out. I don't know my own strength. <laughs> Kat, would you be a darling and just hold that in for me? Thank you. I just want to show you the length. And just imagine how many widths of fabric you'd need. Now, yeah. To me. To you. To me. To you. Uh, it's a big old bit of fabric, even half a metre. Thank you. It's a big piece of fabric. I love this design. I mean, who cares if there's any yellow on the front of the quilt? If you're making children's quilts, bright and breezy quilts, what about a picnic quilt with that on the back or on the front? How delicious. What about if you wanted to make something like, you know, a really gorgeous... Um, big cushion for lounging on in the garden, you know? Or, um, and you could maybe use ripstop on the back, this on the front, that would be so economical, so much more economical than maybe buying new ones or having to buy regular width fabric and really joyful and bright. I just love it. It's kind of like sleepy eyes, <laughs> single figures single figures of that. They are like little eyes looking at you, but gorgeous rainbow eyes. Now this last, uh, not the last one actually, second to last, penultimate, um, is the minty green version. Same design, isn't that joyful? That's Tula, isn't it? I mean they are Tula, but it's really Tula. It's everything she is, those gorgeous, bright saturated pastels really low in stock that one too um that was actually the last one because the other one has sold out well done if you got that william morris backing gorgeous now then we've got half square triangles seam markers okay we've got two different sizes we've got a 15 inch and we've also got a smaller i think is that an eight inch Nine, nine inch, yep. Yeah. So this is the 15 inch. This is for marking half square triangles. So, or quarter square triangles, all right? So I'm gonna lay a bit of fabric down. It'll just make it a little bit easier, perhaps for you to see at home. So what you're going to do is, if you're marking your half square triangle, okay? So <clears throat> this is, my diagonal line okay so this is running corner to corner through my square and I want to mark a quarter of an inch on either side so I'm just going to line the center grooves up with sort of point to point and then I can mark a line on this side and then mark a line on this side and then they are my sewing lines now if you're sewing on lines you've marked it's almost like foundation paper piecing isn't it and think of the accuracy you get with that if you're a beginner or you're not getting the results from, from uh, your regular method when you're sort of marking the center line and then sewing a quarter of an inch either side and using your foot as a guide, try the creative grids um, tool because then you're actually marking the line you're going to sew on and that's much more reliable really. I would recommend, although I've got um, a Quilter's Choice pencil in my hand, I would actually recommend a propeller pencil for marking these, which you can get from any stationer, uh, simply because it's a really fine and completely consistent thickness. So you're always going to get it sort of exactly on the line. Whereas if you use a regular pencil, the more you use it, the pencil's getting kind of thicker, isn't it? The line's getting thicker. And then depending where you sew, it could, you know, just push you out of whack a little bit. The large one's super useful because of course you can mark, you know, 10, 11, 12 inch squares for half square triangles. Can you get a pen? I, I tried this and you can't get a pencil. Ah, you can get a propeller pencil through that middle mark. Yeah, 
So you could mark that middle mark, but again, you would need to use a propeller pencil rather than a regular one, otherwise it won't get through, and your friction pen wouldn't get through that. But um, don't use them with a rotary cutter. They're not used for cut, uh, designed for cutting. They're not thick enough. Um, the other thing, if you're going to do quarter square triangles there's various different ways of making quarter square triangles but my favorite way to do quarter square triangles is to use this tool and then what you're going to do is um, you can mark your diagonal on your half square triangle make them and then put two of them together with the diagonal seam running in different directions so one going this way one going that way okay and then mark your seam no both going the same way oh i've confused myself now i have to be physically doing this that's not actually my favorite way let me tell you my favorite way which is on your square what you do is you actually mark both diagonals so you mark an x right so you do an x that way an X that way and then you sew a quarter of an inch on the same side on all four crosses yeah so on the right hand side the right hand side of the line the right hand side of the line the right hand side of the line start at the outer edge and just work into the center and then stop at the center and then cut on those center lines and you'll have four quarter square triangles magic I didn't describe that very well today sorry messed across the bottom I got the longer <laughs> one of these as I like to use 10 inch charm packs absolutely my triangles have improved no end would recommend it thank you for that collector in Merseyside it's that is it you know it's not always about like oh I'm not very good at sewing half square triangles don't accept that you know if there, there might be a different method or a tool that can help you or just a little tweak it's usually nothing much um, and then you can get the accuracy you want. It's always worth trying a different method or tool. Now we have also got the smaller version. This is the nine inch version. Now this is going to work for up to, up to about a six inch, I think. Yeah, it's gonna work for up to about a six inch square. Yeah, so five inch charm packs six inch squares something like that that's going to work for that's your diagonal okay um so so that's the smaller one really good i mean most of the half square triangles that i make are two three four inches roughly around that so that would be super useful for me too it's 14.99 really useful bit of kit don't forget the propeller pencil all right now then I'm lazy and loving it. <laughs> I just love the title of the book. I'm going to pop that to one side because what's really important is the ruler that goes with it. It's the Creative Grids Lazy and Loving It or Lazy Angle Ruler. I know lots of you have been waiting for this to come in because you bought the book and you've been waiting for the ruler. If you know someone who's been waiting for the ruler, send them a text, give them a ring. <laughs> Loads of them have gone on pre-order, so grab yours now if you can. Now, um, you can see a few little pictures on the ruler itself of the kind of blocks you might make. I'm just going to turn it around as well because there's some more on the back. But really, the best thing is if I show you... If I just hold that up a little bit, there are all these blocks underneath, kind of things you can make. All right, super. We talk about bringing your piecing to a whole new level but they're really easy to use the book is fantastic but of course there are videos that you can watch you don't need the book in order to use this there are loads of blocks online there is a tutorial if you go to creative grids or when you get the ruler there's a qr code you can scan that'll take you straight through to the video if you've got a smartphone just download a qr code um, reader they're, if they're free and that'll just you scan that with your camera take you straight through now if you want even more options more inspiration of what to do with your ruler grab the book grab the book it's called lazy and loving it it's been so busy today um 250 lazy angle blocks that's a lot of inspiration isn't it and uh 
Not a flying, not a flying geese or a half square triangle to be seen. Well, they have been integrated actually into some of the blocks, but hello, look at this one, spindle, the spindle block. Isn't that cool? It's like ice crystals or a Christmas cactus, all made using that ruler. What about the macaroon? I always think of Mrs. Overall then. Slice them finely. I wouldn't want anybody to choke on a macaroon. Oh, my new tray, so lovely and light. <laughs> that book sold out. Well done if you got it. Now, double wedding ring. <laughs> we need to do something with this. All the bits of sled. <laughs> shake it down, Judy, shake it down. There we go. <laughs> it's from the BBC did a version of, of Bleak House and there's a character in it. I can't remember his name, but he's always saying, shake me up, Judy, shake me up. Oh, Hannah, our producer's parents say it to each other all the time. Charlie and I say it to each other all the time. Shake me up, Judy. <laughs> Makes us laugh anyway. <laughs> Anyway, that's a bit better. You can see what you're getting now, more or less, in there. So you're getting that, I mean, double wedding ring, okay, is, I think, on most quilters' bucket list. The thing that stops us making double wedding ring is that we don't want to have to cut out the pieces. If you have a look sort of down here, this is the kind of thing we can't do photographs and graphics today, unfortunately. We've had a bit of a gremlin <coughs> on our mixing desk. I don't even know if that's the right thing, but we've, there's a reason why we can't. We've got a black screen, um, but this is double wedding ring. If you Google double wedding ring quilts, there's some gorgeous, really amazing. Um, it's on every quilter's bucket list, I think, or most of us want to make one. But, you know, the thought of cutting out those curved sections, the, um, the arcs, the melon uh, seed sections, the centre of it, it's all curves. But using this template set, um, they're essentially rotary rulers in the shapes that you want. So you absolutely use these with your rotary cutter. Now, um, Creative Grid say you can use your standard 45 mil rotary cutter with these templates. So you're gonna layer that onto your fabric. You've got these lines here, so that actually, if you want to, you can do it plain fabric. If you want to, you can sew a four patch, then cut it out and have a pieced background. You can also have pieced melon seeds in fours or split or plain i mean the choices are there it's absolutely fab and of course on your template you've got that line you will line that up with the seam line you're just sewing two strips of fabric together lay this on top and then cut so you're getting the whole kind of quilt pattern for this you're getting all of your elements you can have a solid solid arc um, you've got your corners there or you can have pieced you can piece those as well. So many different options. Again, there's, I'm saying again, there's a QR, there it is. There's a QR code. If you zap that with a QR code reader on your phone, it'll take you straight through to a demo. It's been um, designed by Judy Niemeyer, who is such a famous quilter. If you wanna Google her and see some of her quilts, that will really inspire you. 38.99 for that. Now I would really recommend that you get yourself a, you know those little kind of um, pouches with a little popper on them. You could even make one, couldn't you? Let's be honest, we do make a lot of bags here um, to keep your templates in, to keep them safe. Maybe with some vinyl and some fabric, have a little pocket on the front that you can slip a little card or something in, really nice. That is lovely, uh, thirty-eight ninety-nine, and that investment in those sets of that set of templates will really pay dividends when you come to cut, but also when you come to piece, because you'll have accurately cut patches and blocks. They'll go together much easier. Also, another thing that I want to point out is at every match point, every match point that you'll need. Okay, on all of the templates, you've got holes. 
drill cut through your template so what you can do there then is to use again a, a mechanical pencil to mark dots and then your patches will line up you'll have what if you're a dressmaker it's like having a notch isn't it or a match dot uh, you match those points up pin between and sew it makes the job so so much easier really recommend that give it a try okay now um, just going to quickly recap the stripology squared ruler I was demoing this earlier on we don't have the XL in stock this does exactly the same job $52.99 we've only got six of them left all right so if you want to get your stripology squared now the last time we had stripology squared in stock I believe was March mm. and the last time we had stripology XL was February and it's taken us until now to get these back in stock we do only have six left so if you want to make sure that you've got yours order it today we always have it on reorder ready but um, they're really popular because they're really good but we've got six in stock right now so if you want to get your stripology squared pop it in your basket and check out and uh, your stripology will be coming to you no more moving that ruler for every strip a message from julie uh, who says, ah, oh, Stuart, one of my favourite bits of the Bleak House series. Shake me up, Judy. Love it. Thanks for reminding me. You'll be saying it all day, Julie. I promise you'll be saying it all day. Shake me up, Judy. Now, oh, oh, morning, Stuart. It's Mr. Smallweed. Mr. Smallweed at your service. Shake me up, Judy. I can't help it. I just, I'm a character actor at heart. Shake me up. Shake me up, Alison. Thank you. Good. We're going to go for a little break. I'm going to ask Vix to shake me up. And uh, when we get back on, we'll have a wonderful guest by the name of Stuart Hillard. See you in a few minutes. Thanks. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. 
And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. sewing street or yarn lane customer no matter how many times you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out you will only pay one pmp even if you check out multiple times in one day have you heard about yarn lane a tv show dedicated to knitting crochet and all things yarn bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Hello, welcome back and thank you to the amazing Stuart Hillard who is now just, you know, changed his hat ready for guest time. Um, we have got the most beautiful collection of fabric, which is already selling on pre-order by the way. Uh, this mega bundle is incredible. We've used the book, we've got the most beautiful quilt, we've got Stuart here who could ask for more. So, let's start with the book because Stuart's books are always incredibly popular we're really really lucky i just said to him in the break one i'm very grateful that he's here today when i've got a, a cough to be able to help me out with the presenting side but he is such a pro like he's 
of course, he's such a wealth of knowledge. He uses all the products, all those creative grids. I say, I have to sit and I'll research and I'll learn. And, and, um, and the great thing is, is that you've got Stuart here who knows everything. He <laughs> had written this book. He's Let's developed a hundred <laughs> blocks, not one or two, a hundred blocks in this, in this book. And I suppose this is a great book to be able to build up your skills, tried and tested tips and tricks, whether you're using your scraps from your collection, whether you're using, you know, really bright colours, whether you're using the beautiful new mode that we're looking at, you have got a hundred blocks in here to stitch. So the quilt that's hanging behind Stuart is from the, uh, from the book. <coughs> it's absolutely amazing. It's this one here. It is Blackford's Beauty and it uses all of these gorgeous fabrics from the Mega Bundle to make the, the size that Stuart's made, which is a great size actually. But yeah. what I love about these blocks is I suppose you could mix and match some of these as well. Yeah, you, you really can. You really can. All you're looking for is blocks of a similar size or the same size. Yeah. And the other thing as well, Vix, this, this quilt that's hanging behind me, I just used the half metre mega bundle. Would you believe even the borders? Wow. I got those out of the half metres. So the blue, I mean, I used all of them. Yeah. But I used the blues for the star points yeah. as well within the Blackford Beauty block. And then I used the blues for the borders. But can you see what I've done? I've used an old uh, scrap quilters trick when you've got restricted fabric, and I've actually used two different blues. Oh, you wouldn't for the know. Borders. You wouldn't know, would no. you? Well, I mean, when Unless you look you at it, it you think, oh, actually, well, it becomes a design feature. Yeah, I like that. So I've done two sort of. Uh, as you know that join and then two more a different blue mm. they're a similar tone similar blues you see it in a lot of vintage and really old quilts where you'll have three borders different of one fabrics. fabric and one borders and often it's a completely different fabric really and often it's the one that was up against the wall okay it didn't show anyway well, it's just different tones, isn't it? I yeah. really like it, like you say, it's a design feature. Yeah, yeah. But then it almost creates a secondary block as well. It, you've got that centre point, how they all, all of your squares sort of go through that centre. It's very clever indeed, Thank very you. clever. Um, all of your instructions of how to create the quilt on the wall are in the book. You can get the book. We're going to go through some, some sort of uh, t techniques. We're going to uh, ask Stuart to pick out some of his favourite fabrics as well to mm. talk about and, and have a look through the book and see some of your favourite quilts as well. For sure, for sure. I mean, sure. this is very, it must be very difficult, you know, to, to, to think of a hundred different quilts, a hundred different blocks, a hundred different ideas. I don't know, Vix, because once I'd finished that book, I wrote another one, which was a hundred more. Oh, my word. <laughs> Do you just see everything in quilt blocks? Like, are you looking at the wallpaper over there Kinds thinking, right, that's a quilt block? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's true actually. And and but but to be honest with you all quilters do this mm -hmm. I don't we wherever we go like especially if we go somewhere that's got a tiled floor, floor or iron railings along a park or you know something like that or even just walking through a garden I'm looking thinking ooh that particular shade of orange that particular green mm. oh I need that you know so I'm constantly taking pictures I'm constantly writing things in a notebook mm -hmm. you know and drawing things you know one of my favorite quilts I ever made um, which is in uh, Make Hundred Quilts well actually it was a joint venture between me and Deputy Joan mm -hmm. was a quilt called um, Covent Garden oh, nice. and I was on the train well on the tube in London just going about my business going to a meeting and I happened to go through Covent Garden Station. I wasn't getting off there. And um, and I thought, I saw the tiles along the platform and I thought, oh, perfect quilt. So I jumped off the tube, I wasn't supposed to. Well, I mean, obviously it had stopped, but got off, took some pictures <laughs> and then I got on the next tube yeah. and went on to my meeting. And then when I got home, started drawing up the block and it's one of my absolute favorite quilts ever oh i mean do you want to have a flick through and show us yeah. some? i've just spotted jewel i love that there yeah, are some really be, lovely ones should be good to make for jewelry maker yeah, wouldn't it next door they'd love that actually there are loads of jewel quilts <laughs> at the moment mm. doing the rounds um and i'm I, I i made that years ago um let me just find let me just find oh it might Covent be best Garden. actually to show you on the overhead 
Thank you, Bruce. Um, and then I'll show you some of my favourite quilts. I could use the index at the front, but of course I'm a man and I won't admit <laughs> <laughs> when there's an easier way of doing anything. Oh, look at that. That is, that is amazing. Yes, I love that. Hmm. That's Covent Garden. I really enjoyed setting up that shot and creating that shot as well. So do you have an involvement in the, the photography completely, and everything? Completely, completely. Oh. I mean, I work with a fantastic photographer who's called Rachel Whiting, and she's done all the photography for my last three books. And um, I always ask to work with her because she gets quilting, she mm. gets quilts, she yeah. gets interiors really well. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm there. I thought, you know, I'd just hand the book over and then they'd give me a book back. But actually I'm there for every shot I have to um, say yes to every shot apart yeah. from Vicky the shots of me I have zero control over any photograph with me in it I do love the one of you at the front are it's we, lovely are we ever a bit about happy you. with so pictures did of you, ourselves did you start with quilting before dressmaking before Great British Sewing Bee did oh, you well, quilt yeah. that's a lovely photo can I just point out <laughs> that is this, such a thank lovely you. picture thank you this picture right here <laughs> Okay. Oh. But let me just say, I mean, this comes as no, no surprise to the Instagram generation, but I was literally like this, okay? So I was standing at the desk and then I took a step back, okay? Look, instantly lose 20 pound no from this to this, okay? Oh, well, you have to get your I'm, angle, I'm don't thinner, you? I'm thinner, I'm thinner. And then it was, oh, take the picture, take the picture. I need to breathe. Oh, you look great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you've just basically got your corset on, haven't you? Your lady in yeah. waiting, pulling your... Uh... Tighter! <laughs> Brilliant. Tighter. But yeah, um, yeah so no, I, I wouldn't ever really class myself as much of a dressmaker. I'm a quilter at heart, knitter and uh, quilter in home deck. Yeah. So uh, really. Um, but yeah, quilting's been my love for decades. And, um, you know, when I came to write, this was my second book that I wrote. And when I came to write this, my publisher said to me, we'd love to do a quilting book, design 12 to 15 quilts mm -hmm. for the for the book that mm -hmm. was it 12 mm -hmm. to 15 quilts and then come to us with some ideas mm -hmm. so I had the meeting arranged and I went down and I showed them 12 to 15 of my designs now as you pointed out when you were going through the book some of them are really bright some of them are traditional some are applique yeah, some a are mixture but, well my publishers didn't like that at all they said these quilts don't go together there's 12 or 15 they don't go together we need quilts and they said to me you know look at a K facet book all those quilts go together and I was like yeah okay I get that but I'm quite eclectic in my go yeah. away and work it out anyway so I went away and I tried to work it out how was I going to condense what I love doing yeah. into 12 quilts couldn't. I couldn't do it and so I was there on the train going back down to London for the meeting to tell them how I'd worked it out and I hadn't worked it out. Oh no. So sitting there on the train like a naughty boy on the bus going to school oh, who hasn't no, done their maths homework. homework, right? Thinking, okay, think Kath, think. So, um... Who's Kath? <laughs> Oh, it's Kath and Kim. She's okay. always saying, think, Kath, think. Oh, okay. So I do like that. my shake me up, Judy moment. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I thought, you know what? I'm looking at this all wrong. I'm eclectic in my style. I love doing all sorts of different quilts. I think you like doing lots of different yeah, quilts. we all like We all love different tastes. styles. It depends who we're giving it to, the time of year, the fabric range that That's we've it. seen. I love that. I love La Vie Bohème. Yeah. It's really traditional. It's based on yeah, 19th is. century French textiles. It's gorgeous. But a lot of my other quilts are really loud and leery. That's yeah. not loud and leery. Yeah. I love making that. I'll use that. It's beautiful. So anyway, I thought, I'm seeing this as a problem. It's not a problem. It's a good thing. I'm not doing 15. I'm going to do 100. Wow. So I just wrote in my notebook, make 100 quilts. And when I got to the meeting, I said, that's how I've worked it out. What do you think? And they said, we love it. Oh, Write the book. brilliant. Write the book. And then you've got full instructions on all of these. And if you need any yep. templates or anything like that, they're at the back, they're aren't they? They're all in there. If it's foundation paper piece, you've got the foundations. If it needs a template, you've got the template. Um, what I've done each quilt rather than it being a quilt pattern yeah okay what you've got is you've got all the instructions for making the block mm -hmm. and then I tell you how many blocks make the quilt how wide the sashing is how wide the borders are if there are borders um, but I don't give fabric amounts 
um, for a whole quilt yeah. because the point of the book is, as the name says, use scraps okay so the point is go to either your scraps or your fat quarters or your half meters or whatever fabric yeah. you've got because like in this quilt <coughs> excuse me i worked it out yeah there wasn't enough fabric all of one color to do the mm -hmm. border so i worked it out i used two different fabrics i love that yeah and it still works so well if you want the borders to be all the same You've got the benefit here, you can buy the bundle, you can buy an extra half metre of this fabric, then you can do the whole border in one. Or if you want to make nine blocks, okay, um, you'd need some extra cream, but you could make nine blocks out of the mega bundle, yeah. okay, make a bigger quilt, but then you would definitely need more fabric for the border. Yeah. So add an extra half metre or a metre, and maybe as well if you think about the binding that you want to do, yeah. you might want an extra half metre of that if you're going to do nine blocks. But I did all of this using <coughs> one mega bundle. The only thing I added, okay, mm -hmm. I just want to point it out, I added in some silver mink. I love that though. I'm using it with it everything. Um, Vix, it's like it's my, my favourite colour. Yeah, love it. It's a bit of silver mink. Okay, half a meter is more than enough. And the other thing was, I just wanted a little high spot here, just a little bit of extra brightness. So I did dig into my stash, and I just got a little bit of a brighter cream. This is from La Vie Bohème. This I just picked out of my stash. Right. Okay. All right. Mm. But you have got some other lights there that you could pull out. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And the Thank book you. is available. It's incredible. It's seventeen ninety nine, And you have got quilts, as Stuart said, for all occasions, for any anybody who you're gifting to, you're going to find a, a quilt there suitable. So if you've got any questions about the book, get them in. We will be working from it during the show. But this fabric collection oh it's got us all talking i love it now the mega bundle is already going it's 119 uh, pounds and 84 pence it is available on pre-order by the half meter so if there's a particular print that you love or Stuart said you want more of go for it we're going to be picking some out as we go but i'll show you i'll just quickly th flick through everything you're getting bearing in mind these are all half meter pre-cuts this is an awfully big collection this is a lot. You are also getting seven forty nine off, so you're getting half a metre for free. Maybe you collect, you know, your mode of fabrics. I know so many people, quilters, that only buy mode of fabrics to quilt yeah. in. Or a particular designer and French general are an incredibly popular <coughs> designer for yeah. um, mode. What they do, Vix, if you've never heard of French general before, they're a design team and they use archives of fabrics and also printed archives of French fabrics. Nice. So 19th century, 18th, 19th century mm -hmm. French fabrics. So these ones are based on 19th century fabric, the sort of 19th century fabrics you'd find in the Latin Quarter wow. of Paris. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, that instantly makes you just, can you, can you envision where you're sitting in Paris? Mm -hmm. Oh, incredible. Looking at these beautiful sort of antique quilts or beautiful for They'd artwork. They'd be new then, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. They'd be brand Can you imagine yeah. going back? It'd all True. be brand new. Yeah. You know, there'd be nothing vintage no. about the Edwardians. No. They'd be bang up to date. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. And the colour palettes are stunning. Um, how does it actually surprises her, these seeing these colours in a, more of a vintage uh, feel? Vintage, you know, might put some people off whereas they are still so vibrant obviously they're modern quilting fabrics yeah, aren't they absolutely so they're really beautiful quality and the colors are so vivid the, the printing is amazing but uh, but you're right it, I, I did have a bit of a read about it and it says the mode la vie the la vie bohème fabric range is a collection of french prints that would have been found in parisian latin quarter in the late 19th century filled with the soft blues classic reds shades of pearl these early florals and small prints will make up beautiful French inspired quilts and home textiles. Perfect for home textiles, actually. Mm. This would be lovely in home decor, wouldn't it? And as well, you know, not to put anybody off. But, oh, go on, hang on. But, Where are you going with this, Stuart? I've actually made this quilt for Christmas. Oh, 
Wow, yeah. Because for me, that's kind of ice crystals, snowflakes. Yeah. It's that I don't want, you know, I don't want Santa and reindeers on my Novelty. Christmas quilt no. okay, in this instance. I want something that I can put out in my <coughs> sitting room in the winter. <coughs> um, yeah. This is going to fit perfectly. That's it. It's more wintry as opposed yeah. to Christmassy. Yeah. It's going to carry you through but from November to that, February. Did you think it was... I would never think Christmas with go. that. But you're right, actually. That does look beautiful hannah's going more spring yeah more spring times it's really fresh colors isn't it yeah. fresh florals very country kitchen i've been watching a lot of escape to the chateau oh very nice very uh, nice this does look like a beautiful country estate or escape to the chateau oh it's gorgeous does anyone Fire have a nice the arger. yeah does anybody have a nice arger or a, a wood burner do you have a lovely fireplace all i want is a, a room somewhere yeah. oh you went a little bit cockney there well i, I, I'm a little, I like to do a little <laughs> I, was, I was admiring your accents earlier you're very good at doing characterization oh, i'm aren't such you? a mimic i'm so, i'm a little parrot i always have been i always <laughs> have and it's awful actually because if i'm talking to somebody with a strong accent i start i know i i'll oh, start no. i start reflecting it back and i don't even know i'm doing oh, it no. oh no i'm very miranda like that <laughs> oh, dear. don't sing uh, just so you know <laughs> So this is on split pay it's 59.92 on split pay as well so if you do want the whole bundle well, the great thing about our split pay is that you can get this fabric home today so you can pay the first payment of 59.92 and you can start making with it straight away you don't need to wait until you've paid it all off it's absolutely gorgeous and it's gorgeous quality fabric oh, to sew with as beautiful. well isn't it yeah actually something I want to point out this particular range of um, Moda French General fabrics has actually been printed on a slightly lighter weight cotton. Okay, okay. has it? S nothing like lawn. No. Okay, but just very slightly lighter than your regular quilt weight cotton. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even notice it no, I wouldn't until have noticed. it was pointed out to yeah. me. But what it does mean is that this is even better for dressmaking than I, I, I often recommend court weight cotton for dressmaking, but this is even better because it is a bit more that bit, weight. It's got a nice drape to it. Yeah, but it's completely stable. It's okay. like I say, it's not like a lord. Isn't that a fabulous print? Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't Imagine it? Imagine some piped cushions. And that red is really nice. I find red is sometimes a really difficult colour. To, to pick out and to choose. It can be quite, you know, like a tacky sort of red, whereas this is mm -hmm. just classy. Like you said, beautiful big opulent cushions with a gorgeous piping. They well, would look so expensive. French General, actually, I would say, made us all fall in love with red. Right. Actually, for our quilting. When French General came along, I think it was about eight, nine years ago, mm -hmm. they brought the because in 19th century France, it would have been madder red. And that's what these reds are there, it's madder red. Now madder is a natural dye stuff. Obviously this is modern dyeing process, but it's reproducing right. the color of madder, which oh. was used to dye things red. Right. Uh, well, a particular shade of red. You'll be familiar with things like cochineal, yeah. that creates a different yeah. red. But madder red is a particular, and it is that classy, oh, well, yeah. soft red, not pillar box, no. not London bus, not down the old Kent Road red. There he goes again. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm only doing it for you that. now, Vicky. I had a conversation with Claire earlier about changing the colour, because Claire's changed the colour hair now, to blonde. And I always had um, a colour that was called madder red, my hair. There you go. It was classy red. Yeah. Classy red. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. You well, made I it look classy. I, I couldn't keep it because it just, it, 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 it yeah, it was I too classy for me. It was too classy for me. Right, just so you know, we are oversubscribed on the mega bundle. And just to remind us, how many of these bundles do we need to be able to make up this quilt? Oh, only one. Amazing. And frankly, you'll still have lots left. Wow. Of some of them. Yeah. Um, I'd used almost all the cream. So if you wanted to make nine blocks, yeah. I reckon you could, especially if you mix and match your fabrics, mm -hmm. but you would definitely need more cream. Now okay. you could substitute other cream from your stash I'm all for that and I did a little bit of that in this in this quilt my border is two different blues if you want the same border fabric I tell you what there's another one may I just reach 
go for and please, grab from please there. Please do. There's another fabric in here which I think would be gorgeous for a border. If you wanted to emphasise more of the reds, that I think is just a gorgeous bit of yes. cloth. Isn't yes. it? Yes, that would work Just really well as a border. Right. Um, so you know, if there was a particular fabric in there that you wanted for a border, then you might want to get an extra half meter or so. Okay. But um, otherwise, no, one bundle. See, this is what I love actually, is you've got half a meter of each to do what you want. This isn't necessarily a quilt kit. Mm. This no. is just giving you some inspiration on yeah. what you can do with eight and a half meters of fabric. Eight and a half meters of fabric goes such a long way. Oh yeah, way. much further than this quilt top. Absolutely. You could do a lot of this. We've got a message on the screen. Oops, Stuart, um, band the mode but bundle somehow accidentally fell in my basket. Stuart's instructions are so helpful and easy to understand. That's from Sue. Ah, oh. well done, Sue. You won't regret it. It's gorgeous fabric. I had so much fun making this quilt, you know. I, I um, you know, you can imagine for, for all of us guest designers, our workload, our making workload is quite high. Um, I reveled in making that quilt. I enjoyed every second of it. Now I don't want you to tell me how to make the whole quilt because I want to get the book obviously. Yeah, sure. We've got to all get the book. But how is this sort of constructed? I'll show, you, I'll show you all the skills you need. Not a problem. Not a problem. Just so you know, these half meters <clears throat> are all individually available. So if like Stuart said, you just want to add a bit more, supplement some, if you're thinking of using it for bag making, if you're thinking of dress making, like you said now, Stuart said, oh, well, that one would be a lovely dress or shirt. Yeah, or shirt it? or a dress. Um, what Can have I you just got show there? you here? I just wanted to show you. I'm gonna show you how to make something similar. Oh, Sorry, hang on. Cut, just, cut, cut, cut me your leg, leg up. up. Cut me leg up. Okay, can you see? It's a little. Um, I made myself a little, a little belt bag. So it's just clipped on to my oh, waistband. Is this to go? You know, on the, for a dog walk or yeah, just, yeah, yeah. So I put. I've got things like my lip salve. Um, lip salve. Oh, cock, cock on, my leg. You just I need to grow a couple of inches. I can't cock anymore. I can't cock anymore. Just jump, jump. <laughs> there. Did you get it? Good. <laughs> Oh, it's really hot in here, isn't it? I've been it hot for you. But I'm going to show that how to make that, that at 12 o'clock. Brilliant, 12 o'clock. Okay. But that, I just, that was a bit of leftover fabric. And the blue, um, I used almost everything, but I still had enough to make the bag. Nice. You know, so. Oh, that's yeah. really handy. I'd love one of those. Oh, keys, phone, all those bits and bobs. Yeah, ideal. Awesome. Because the bundle is nearly sold out, we're going to try and mix, match in with what Stuart's doing. So some of his prints that he's going to talk about through the demo will bring in by the half metre. But yeah. if you do want that big bundle, we are oversubscribed. Just be aware. Check out on the big mega bundle if you can. I, I like a scrappy approach, Bix. Yeah. But if you wanted to, you could do <coughs> um, all these the same blue. Okay. Okay. Get a metre. Okay. The cream, you could do like half or me. If you wanted all of these to say, get a meter of a cream. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't have to take the same mix and match approach as me. All of these red squares are mm -hmm. different fabrics, but they could all be the same one. Now you say you've used, which was it? Silver mink? I use silver mink here. Okay, we've got that on um, on pre-order. In fact, we'll bring that in because you say you use that a lot at the moment. Oh, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. And actually the fabric range that we've got at 12 o'clock, which is called Change of Season. Oh, it will go with that. It will go absolutely perfect. And I'm going to use it with Change of Seasons Fantastic. as well. Fantastic. My favourite neutral. Love it. It's my favourite. Um, yeah, so you could do a more restricted palette, and mm -hmm. then I'd just go for you know, you want some red, you want some cream, you mm -hmm. want some blue. Okay, so that's three. Yeah. And then you want something for your, your um, sashing. And, and kind of that's it really, so you could make your own bundle. Absolutely, and I'm also thinking, I mean, this is just one of a hundred quilts in that book. <laughs> there are only 20 books remaining in stock. This bundle is gonna sue, it's eight and a half meters of fabric. It's gonna get you well on the way with a lot of the quilts oh, in the book. Oh, loads of different quilts in here that you could do. Let me show you some of my favorites, may I? Oh, please, please do. Um, oh, a log cabin would be lovely because it's very traditional. It would be beautiful for a log cabin, absolutely. And what you could do then is you could have the reds and the blues together if you wanted and then delve into your scraps for all of the creams, the tans, the whites, yeah. use up some scraps. 
So this was the log cabin with applique. You could leave the applique off if you wanted to, but I realised, Vix, when I started writing this book that I'd never made a log cabin Are quilt. Oh and I thought, if I don't make one, they're going to send me to quilting jail. I like that you've done one with a bit of a twist, though, that, it, you know, the placement yeah, yeah. of it looks completely different to any yeah. other thing. Well, this is what, you know, this is what I love to do. This is a split star. You might recognise the Ohio star. I've just split it through the middle so oh. it's half light and half dark. Oh, cool. And then you can get those kind of almost log cabin effects wow. using that. See, that but would look so cool. Totally modern. Yeah. You know, we've gone from super traditional log cabins and applique to super modern. If you want it, you know. What about something fun like Dresden Ooh, sunflowers? That would look lovely with this, actually. Beautiful. That would look really lovely for spring. Tell you what would look lovely. Burgoyne surrounded. Burgoyne. Burgoyne. Now I almost had both Burgoyne. <laughs> What's that. Burgoyne? Burgoyne is a place. Okay, where's Burgoyne? In America. Right. And Burgoyne surrounded. It's a traditional American pattern, and it commemorates a. Um, a, a, a battle. Okay. Yeah. Burgoyne was surrounded. I always I take this long to quilts and I always say, actually, my name for this quilt is Birmingham Surrounded. <laughs> I've always called it I Birmingham like Surrounded. So where do you keep all of your quilts? Do you have storage? Do oh, you keep them in the out? back of my car, in my studio, oh. at home. Yeah. I use all my quilts as well. Oh, good. Um, you know, they're not, they're not rarefied tucked away in tubes. I know some kit quilts are very special and they mm -hmm. need that treatment. But mine go in the washing machine, you know, yeah. uh, Mrs. Mills brings up the odd fur ball. They go in the machine, they come back out again and orange peel. Loads of different, modern, traditional, all sorts. Monochrome, Brilliant. there's Covent Garden. Japanese lanterns. It's not paper pieced, it's easy peasy piecing. Is there Cotton anything you reels. wanted to, to show as well, by the way? Sorry, because uh, sorry, I don't mean to be rude to you, Stuart. I've been ready with my demos and my hour. machine, my irons on. Come on, let's do it. Right, <laughs> so let me show you the units. So you're going to make chain blocks, kind of uh, almost like a quarter of an Irish chain block. Oh, so this makes up that sort of um, the, the corner of the block, doesn't it? Yes, you yeah. like your diagonal. Oh, I love brilliant. anything with a chain in it. Yeah. Okay, in quilts, anything that creates a diagonal. Now you could strip piece units, okay? Cut long pieces of fabric. Mm -hmm sew them together and then cross cut. That's fine if you're making a load of these and they're all the same. But if you, my approach is a scrappy approach, which, and this is also good because it means like you're not gonna <coughs> oh. waste little bits of fabric. Okay. You can cut them up and you can piece them together. Now I'm just gonna pop the quarter inch foot on my machine. Okay. Because you wanna use a uh, quarter inch seam allowance throughout for this. And I'm just gonna start sewing squares and rectangles together. So this is easy peasy sewing, but just because it's easy peasy sewing, we don't want to compromise our accuracy. Okay. And it's easy to lose accuracy when you're doing a simple sewing. Because we can get a little bit chilled, mm -hmm. a little bit relaxed and start wobbling. So pay as much attention when you're doing simple sewing as you would to complicated sewing all right so I'm just feeding these through okay and all your dimensions are in the book okay so they're all sewn together and then I'm just gonna snip them apart I'm gonna put them back on the board Vix I'm gonna put them back on the board in their place in their place I'm gonna put them in their place yeah you put them in there in there you in their place <laughs> I feel like I just got put in my place come on guys it's time to demo <laughs> All right, miss. It's only because we haven't got a clock in the studio today, so we can kind of digress, can't we? Do you yeah. normally have the clock when you're presenting? No. Well, no. we haven't had one for a while. Oh, it's and I've missing. And I've, I've, I've come to go like this. Oh, right. <laughs> Is that the universal side to That's what's the, the time? Sign. 
So what I'm doing now is just finger pressing all of my seam allowances towards the red mm -hmm. and then I've just got a couple more seams to sew. So a couple of these units have got sort of two seams. Now whenever you're making a block which has got the majority of the seams going in one direction mm -hmm. Okay, um, it's absolutely essential that you check your quarter inch seam allowance because otherwise you'll end up with a block which is not square. Right. If you think about something like sewing nine squares together, mm -hmm. you've got as many seams going up and down as you have from side to mm -hmm. side. So even if your seam allowance is a bit out, your block will still be square. But when all the seams go in one direction, you can end up with a rectangular block and we don't want that. Okay, so I've pressed all my seams, so now all I've got to do is sew those together. Like I say, if you wanted to, you could strip piece these units, that would speed the process up, but it stops you using all of your scraps. Do you have any points to match with this? Yep, so where the squares kind of join, um, and there are seam intersections there, because you've always pressed towards the red, your, seam are, your seams are going to lock together. So that's going to help us get a good match. Fingers crossed, eh? It's the, always the, the grand reveal, isn't it? Of you know it what? Back. It's good enough for me. There you go. It's oh, good that's bang on, Stuart. That'll be fine. That'll be absolutely fine. All right, so I'm going to join this together. Are you going together. pairs? I go into pairs, and I do the same when I'm putting a quilt together. If there are, uh, you know, four rows of blocks, I'm going to sew two rows together and another two rows. I won't sew one to two and then one and two to three mm -hmm. and then to four because otherwise I'm passing a, a steadily increasing mass of mm -hmm. fabric through my machine. Um, so I'm just going to finger press my seams again and then I just pop it back on your mat because otherwise, trust me, That's you do happened. that. <laughs> you yeah. speak from experience. Yeah, of course. The person who never made a mistake, never made anything. All right. Do you know, I feel like Yoda. He's ever so wise, isn't he? <laughs> a wise old owl, not so old, but all right, just all right. a wise owl. I would like to remind you that you've just had a birthday. I have, yeah, I know. Did you see me putting on my, slapping on tons of anti-aging this morning? Bless you. Bless you. Thank you for your amazing birthday message. <laughs> You're welcome. Did you have, was that one take? <laughs> it was one take. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. TV Gold. Oh, we watched it know. at least eight or nine times, Did didn't you? we, on my birthday? <laughs> oh, so I'm just going to give that a quick press. Okay, and that block is done. Amazing. All right. So there's my chain block, and this is the one that you're going to see. Now, let me just show you, because what I want you to see is, um, <clears throat> Hang on a sec. So I've done my seams the other way. But so some of the seams will run side to side. Okay. And then I've turned them so some of them go up and down. Mm -hmm. That's so that I can make identical blocks, but I can position them so that the fabrics appear in different positions oh. without having to start changing the direction of my seams. That's a really good idea. So which were the reds that you used? I, I can see this one. That one. I love this one. This is NKW103. And this has got that lovely sort of um, cross hatch with a flower, floral That's print. That's gorgeous. That is really nice, That would be isn't it? so lovely for bags toiletry bags, makeup bags, quilt the cross hatching. Oh yeah, I know a lot of people who do red and white quilting. This would be really lovely to put Beautiful. with your creams as well. Yeah, if you love red work, mm -hmm, that's we've it. got our lovely um, Mandy Shaw. Mandy Shaw, thank you. This would go absolutely beautifully with some red work embroidery. Absolutely. £7.49. Okay, um, the next fabric You point out down. I've got yeah, our, our um, AOW141. These are all individual uh, by the half metre, so you can purchase as much as you want. The oh, Mega Bundle is really oversubscribed, so if you have got it in your basket, I can't guarantee you're going to get it. Vix, I also use that one for the binding <laughs> on this quilt. Oh, lovely. Now, quite often, I'll do a really high contrast binding on a quilt, but for this, the quilt's soft and gentle. I did think about using a soft blue, mm -hmm. okay, for the border, but then that would have just disappeared. So I've used that fabric that you're holding there for the binding. It adds a little contrast, but not too much. It's soft and gentle. Do I need to add more of this to my basket? No, no that was part no. of the Mega Bundle as That's well. Half a metre was enough to bind it. Wow. So, 
if you love it, definitely um, stock up on this. I, honestly, I don't know how long we're going to have this collection for. Diane just said stunning fabrics, very French. They are Le lovely. Francaise. Uh, da -da, da -da -da -da. Uh, right then, so uh, this square in the centre. No, no you're, you, the, the block yeah. you've just made okay. there, what other fabrics so have you included the, in there? The one that's like a big toile that you held up, that one. This one, lovely. Uh, this no, is in the, with the red background. Um, a bit further down. Keep going, um, keep going, keep going. That one. Oh, lovely. This yeah. one's OWW157, please, Hannah. Now again, that is stunning fabric, isn't it? Yes, I love, love, love yeah. this. Now that would be beautiful as an alternate border, especially if you want to just do more of a red and cream, red and white, red and mm -hmm. tan quilt. Mm -hmm. I'd use that in the border. Because I think it is the blue actually that makes it look a bit Christmassy. Yeah, a bit icy. Icy. Cools the whole thing down. Whereas this, oh my word, again, as big, I just keep thinking of big cushions, yeah. big floor cushions, they would look absolutely stunning. And what you've got to do, Vix, if you're going to use that for home deck, yeah. do not be subtle with the trimmings, okay? You know those fabulous kind of almost like tassel yes. trim that you can That's get with that, all, all the way around the outside edge? Sumptuous, think 19th century France. Mm -hmm. It would not have been subtle. minimalist. Yeah. It would have been lots of trim, lots of frill. That's it. Go for it. Oh, even like a nice bolster cushion on a bed. Oh, yummy. Oh, I love that. I can see bolster cushions with those. With a big chunky tassel at either yes, end. Yes, yes. It reminds me of actually, I'm sure my mum used to have like a per, uh, a pelmet. Yes. But like big, this would be lovely for Roman blind actually as well, wouldn't Beautiful, it? Beautiful, really nice. Um, and you didn't, and you used one other, didn't you, I think, yeah, in there? Let's I have a look at that. I used that one there, that's almost I've like little it. berries. Yeah. Second one down. That's this it. is FKW178. So these are the four reds that Stuart's just used. They are available, of course, in that mega bundle, but also available by the half meter, £7.49 a half meter. Your dot vine. Um, and this is what you've just made. We can yeah. show you. Uh, we can show you what Stuart's just made as well. All of those fabrics work so well together, just mm. with your solid cream. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If you just want red and white, yes, beautiful. absolutely. A um, couple of other really significant fabrics that I want to point out, actually, if I may. Yeah. I've used now. This is one difference from the pattern in <coughs> new scrap sew blocks make a hundred quilts that yeah. I made. In the book. The centre square is actually a square on point, okay? So it's a square on point and mm -hmm. then there are four triangles oh, sewn to okay. it. What I did was I simplified it, so I've simply cut a square, simpler, quicker, and it shows off the fabric. This fabric right here, absolutely gorgeous. I used two different fabrics for the centre square. I used this one. And then I also used this one right here. See, I wouldn't know this unless you pointed them out. They were two different fabrics. No, I wouldn't have known. But it's a it's a scrap quilters sort of mentality. Yeah. Don't use one fabric. Use as many as you've got. Yeah. And mix and match. Looky like is. And it's also really good news because how many of us have run out of fabric before we've cut all our blocks yeah. and need a little bit more? Mm -hmm. If you take the look alike um, trick. Mm -hmm. You can you can put something in similar. You're not going to be on the internet at 3 a.m. trying to order fabric from Argentina True. because it's the only place that's still got it. True. Well, this is it. <laughs> if you if you do want it, I don't know how easy it is for us to get that mega bundle back. So if you do want all of these prints, go for it. Now this one's A O W one one nine, which is the one that Stuart used. Um, on some of the central blocks and that is beautiful with that fresh br blue as well yeah. and almost like a silvery I think they call it like a pearl pearl yeah beautiful seven pounds 49 a half meter it's 112 wide like Stuart said earlier it's not noticeable unless somebody tells you it's not fine or it's not like a lawn weight but it's slightly lighter weight yeah very slightly. And of course it mixed completely, you know, effortlessly. I didn't even realise that I was mm -hmm. making the quilt. But yeah, afterwards I just thought, gosh, yes, I can so imagine a dress in this or a shirt in this. Yeah. And it not having quite the same Stiff. thickness or mm -hmm. stiffness that quilt mm -hmm. weight cotton can have. If you use, I mean, it's lovely to use quilt weight cotton yeah. for, for dressmaking. Absolutely. But this is even better. 
That's mm. lovely print. I love one of that. the larger scale prints, actually, of of the, the collection. And then there was another one this that one you right used here. as well in the centre. Let me show you that one. Similar print again. I'll show you them next to each other because when you've cut them into smaller squares, I wouldn't have known the difference. But there was this one which I've just shown you. And then there's this one, which you will also use. See what I mean? Just slightly different scale of print. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And imagine you could use those two prints for the outer border if you wanted to. If you wanted to emphasise more of the red. Well, isn't this the one that you picked out earlier on? This yeah. same print. Yeah, isn't it's it? lovely. That we yeah. said about having it as a border. Yeah. It's lovely. I think a weekend bag would look absolutely oh, stunning yeah. oh don't forget we have got Stuart's bags for life book coming up at 12 o'clock it is already selling on pre-order yeah. if you do want to shop ahead it's the only ba a bag book you will ever need honestly yeah. make it's the weekend warrior from bags for life in yeah. that fabric that'd be gorge um you think that's a bold statement it's true wait do you see the bags for life book you've got bags for all occasions in there seven pounds 49 and a half meter and that's lovely the only right. other one that i wanted you to show quickly if you don't mind that's was the fine. one i've used for the sashing which is this one it's just over the far side found it there it is i used it for the sashing why did you pick this one out for sashing i just thought it brought everything together yeah. it, in an even mix it's got an even amount of the tan that i've used the mm -hmm. red and the blue and I just thought what a perfect fabric to sort of bridge the gap between yeah. everything else yeah that makes sense doesn't it to be able to have one that incorporates all the reds the blues the the sort of uh, creams as well that's and again, lovely just a quilted crossbody bag in yeah. that Absolutely. no other fabric just that cream lining how gorgeous but quilted it's got to be quilted cross hat mm -hmm. lovely mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Shake me up, Judy. Okay, hang on. Who's Judy? What programme is this? I came in at the wrong time to the gallery. Bleak House. William, okay. Shake uh, William Shakespeare. Charles Dickens, thank you. Uh, I don't, I don't remember up, Shakespeare. I, I, I Charles thought... Dickens. Charles Dickens. <laughs> and it's got Johnny Vegas in it. You've got to watch it. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Right, little demo for thank you. Thank you. Now then, the star points, okay, look like this. Okay, this is the unit that you're going to make, okay? And it looks, I know, like you've had to cut this weird shaped template. Yeah, Don't let that put you off because actually what you're gonna do is cut out rectangles of mm -hmm. the blue. You're gonna cut out some squares in the cream and some squares in the silver mink, that's all. Okay, so squares and rectangles, Brilliant. super easy. So what we're gonna do, I've marked the diagonal on the fabrics okay i always when i'm doing <coughs> it i will line them up and you're doing opposite pairs okay so opposites so that's why i always put two next to each other i'm going to sew directly on the line now if you've got your quarter inch foot and it happens to have a guide on it whip that off you want an open toed regular foot on okay, and you're going to have a centre needle because the guide's designed to work along the raw edge of fabric and we're actually sewing across the middle of fabric oh, so it and might drag. That, that guide could drag exactly that exactly that and not in a good way drag and not in a good way <laughs> apparently drag the term drag comes from shakespeare Okay, did you okay, know this? So this is a Shakespeare fact Right, this now, is right? a Shakespeare fact now. And it appeared, you know, because women weren't allowed to be on stage right, yeah. um, at the time. Yeah. So any female parts had to be played by, by men, men or boys yeah. dressed as women. Yeah. Dressed as girl. Dressed oh. as girl. Drag. Oh. Apparently it's one of the one of the explanations where it comes from. And it would appear in the the notes at the side of the script. You know, oh, there you um, go. John enters dressed as, dressed as, as girl, girl drag. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why did I say John? <laughs> John Scott comes uh, dressed as girl. That's, um, I, I, I make that yeah, association with John. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? Every time I think of John, I think of him dressed up as Jerry Halliwell. Oh, gosh. I always think of him. He used it as his profile picture for a yeah, long time, didn't yeah, he? Of him dressed as um, yeah. Who was he dressed as? Like, Jerry just Halliwell. Very glamorous. With the red hair and the Union Jack dress. Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't glamorous. There was a really glamorous one, wasn't there? Not glamorous I like Jerry there. Halliwell glamorous. Yeah. Oh, I just love John Scott. Um, what I'm doing this time, now can I just point out quickly, you'll have seen this method before for flying geese. 
and it's a great method for flying geese. So when we're doing that, we do this kind of unit, oh, don't yeah, we, yeah, yeah. to create the sort of the, the flying geese. But this time, and we always <laughs> say, be really careful, you don't want to do this, but mm -hmm. this time you do want to do this. You want both diagonals going in the same direction, but they're a mirror image of each other, they're not the same. So you've got to sew kind of pairs, one going one way, and one going the other. Now once you've sewn those, don't start trimming anything off. Okay. Well, what have you got your scissors for all them? Just what are you trimming pressing? off any threads, just okay. where they were joined together. Okay. All right, okay. don't start trimming anything off. Okay, because uh, I want to make sure, first of all, wait a minute, there we go. Right, there and there. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to flip that back. See, a lot of people will say, cut that off now and then yep. press it back. Yep. But if we do that, I don't know whether it's matching up to the <coughs> edge or whether it's a little bit out or, you know, what's what. So I'm going to press that back with my finger and I'm checking to see whether that square, square. fits ah. beautifully. Okay. Do you know what I think Rebecca Ray told me this trick before? This is a really good tip. Yeah. To see that it's square. Exactly, exactly. Sorry, you just saw my concentration face then, didn't you? I did. Like, oh. Watching Stuart. Shake you up. Now, what I'm going to say is, I am going to, I'm, well, I'm not going to trim this one back. Um, what I'm going to say is, actually, this one done a great job. This one, not so good. Can you see there's a little bit of a lip? This is what it should be. This should be meeting here. I've obviously, when I've sewn, I've, I've wiggled a bit. So what I can do, Vix, is I can unpick that and I can re-sew it. If I trim that off and pressed it back, I'd just be thinking, oh, I did a great job there, look at that. And when I come to piece it together, it's not gonna go ah, together so accurately. Okay. So this method is self-checking. Now, once you've done that and you've checked them and everything's good, you can either use a rotary cutter to trim or I actually think that scissors are quicker really because by the time you've got your ruler and your cutting mat and your everything else out ready you could have you could have trimmed these off it's the same with dog ears um i'm going to trim these off now of course don't throw those away all right well when you're at the sewing machine you could do an extra stitch line couldn't you and then yes, you've got lots of little squares exactly put them in a tub then you can just make yourself a little um i don't know like your little bags that you've got here exactly right exactly right you know you paid exactly the same money for that as that you're keeping that why wouldn't you keep that you know <coughs> excuse me so um and then when you've done that you'll sew these together in pairs so for example here's my outer Okay, and then I'm going to have my uh, little star point. This is going to go in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm going to have another of these blocks at the end. Yeah. And then running through the center, I'm going to have more of these. I'm going to have my center block there and another block there. And then the same row as that, but flipped along mm -hmm. the bottom. Sew them in rows, sew your rows together. And that's your block. And this is all from the all Use from the Sew Blocks Make 100 Quilts, which is about to sell out, by the way. Those of you that haven't yet checked out on the book, why not? I mean, you've got so many quilts in here. 100, 100 of them. And they're all different. What I love is they're all different styles, all different occasions. Asians. Um, I mean, look at this as well, the Union Jack one. I love. Mm. Imagine doing this in the Union Jack quilt. Um, these fabrics would look lovely in that for the Jubilee. Well, they're a lovely soft red, white and blue palette, yeah. aren't they? So perfect. Yeah. I hadn't even thought of that. That would be ideal for the yeah. Union Jack. You've got lattice work in there. You've well, got to make a cushion. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you, you well, know, this is it. You don't need could to be do a table a full runner. Well, exactly. I oh, mean, well. in there, pattern 71, Blackford's Beauty, mm -hmm. is 16 blocks. It's yeah. four by four. So it's actually, that's just a quarter of the quilt. Well, that's lovely if you've got a big bed that you want to put it on. But if you just want to make a wall hanging, for example. <coughs> yeah. Um, and this is still... I can't remember exactly, but about 50 inches square. Gosh, so it's 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 not an, a sample, it's not a small, well the block no. itself is a big block, it's isn't it? It's quite a big block, it shows off the fabric really well, but there's plenty of piecing to keep mm -hmm. you interested and enjoying it. Shows off the fabrics really well 
too though um just great really enjoyed making this really enjoyed making it you could do that one as a quote as you go method as well yes you? you could because you've got that sashing in the middle you've been here for a while you know all the Thank terms you. now I eh? do. well i did my quote as you go <laughs> show with wendy orlando the other day oh. now i keep looking thinking everything you no know, like you said you see everything in quote blocks now i'm seeing it as like right could i quote as you go that could have quote Absolutely. as you go so, yeah if you've got those instructions before definitely yeah. now what i'm doing vix just to prove the point just to hammer at home i've got my sewing machine set up i've got my quarter inch foot so i'm actually going to sew these little half square triangles this waist i'm going to use i'm going to sew all right and then what i'm going to do is press them and trim them down because obviously these are at the moment they are off cuts um and they're not going to be perfect half square triangles but i can make them so I can make them so. Now, I wonder if we've got a little little square ruler. Um, let me see. What have I got? Thank you, love. What have we got? Just going to use my multi mat. Multi mat. We got a small square ruler, cat. And I'm just going to press all these seam allowances towards the blue fabric. Okay. So, because of how I've done my block, I'm going to have two that have got the silver mink and two that have got the cream. And I think actually they're probably sewed together quite nicely. It's not square, but it's a small rectangle. Do you I can work with that. Can you work no, with it? No, I can absolutely work with that. Yep. So I'm just going to see. It would be a crime, wouldn't it, to have thrown these away? Oh, absolutely. But at the moment, they are definitely, definitely not square. All right. So at the moment, for for me, they're unusable. So I need to do a little bit of something with them. Okay, so I've done that. Let's just, and then I'm going to square them up. So if you ever do need to square up your units, mm -hmm. what you want to do first of all is put your ruler over the top and say, well, what can I reasonably get out of that? Okay, um, now I'm erring on the side. I'm thinking I could probably get a two and a half inch square out of that. It might be a little bit tight in some parts. I'm going to give it a go. Go for it. I'm going to give it a go. So what I've done here is I've lined up the diagonal on my ruler, the 45 degree line, with that 45 degree piecing line. This is when a rotating cutting mat would come in handy, but... It sold out, didn't it? We did sell out. So I've done those two sides, then I'm just going to rotate the block or the unit. Again, line up your 45 degree line. Christine said, lovely um, show with Vicky and Stuart. She says, I have this book, book from Festival of Quilts last year. Wonderful. Stuart signed it for me. Oh, thank you. Do you know, I'm still absolutely bowled over and um, very grateful for the support that I get from our wonderful quilting Aww. and sewing community um, because there's lots of choice out there. There's lots of great books. There's lots of designers, you know, and I do feel very grateful uh, for Aww. all the support I get. It's lovely. Well, the book has sold out, Stuart. Again, another book sold Thank you. out. Thank and, you. and don't forget, we have got another one of Stuart's books, the Bags for Life book, which um, I don't want to say this, but every single time I've had it on air, it's sold out. So just be aware, if you have got it in your basket or if you're waiting for the show, Oh, trust me in advance, it's a brilliant book. Make the most of it before it sells out. Sandra's asked a question. Okay. The blue fabric with the... Let me have a look for you. Whilst you, it's just demoing, I'll find it and then we can show you the fabric, no problem. So I'm just on my last bit of trimming and you can see there, I mean, I definitely have, you know, got the best out of those scraps because I've barely trimmed anything. You can see the tiny little bit of waste I'm trimming off. But what I've ended up with are from what might have been thrown away, okay, I've ended up with four lovely half square triangles. Um, and what I'm going to do with those now is I'm going to re-piece them together and create, oops, do you know what, I can never do this without making a mistake. Okay, so oh, I'm going to sew them together and create a little pinwheel, okay, so easy peasy. I like that on the front of a little um, makeup bag or something. Well, there you go, maybe I'll use this later. Maybe I'll do exactly that. Um, maybe, no who was promises. Our who asked for, to see this fabric, sorry? Sandra! I know you saw a pre-order. It is beautiful. 
I'm gonna call it my favourite fabric of the collection. I love this. It's the same print that Stuart was picking out as his go-to for a border. How oh, yeah. beautiful is this? I would love a dress. Have I got it upside down? Is there a direction? I would wear it that way, yeah. That is stunning. Isn't it lovely? Gosh, it's so classy. No. Do you know, I've never used French general fabrics before this collection. I'm totally sold it? on them. I'd love to add, I'm thinking lace with this. I think this oh, would look so pretty with lace. Gorgeous. Almost like little shell buttons. You could do really pretty. I'm thinking smaller cushions oh, with this mother one. Oh, mother of pearl oh, buttons. Yes, that's it. That would Absolutely. be amazing, yeah. Little like bags. That. It's quite bridal, isn't it? Do you know what I mean, actually? This would be really beautiful for... <laughs> I, I think your friends who are getting married, there'd be lovely little drawstring bags for, for bridesmaids or mother of the bride. I love that. Hannah wants the whole print on her sofa. She's like, I just want it all on my sofa. I love that. Well, you know, in, in those circumstances, I say make a throw quilt. Because, excuse me, because then you can have it on your sofa, but mm -hmm. then you can also take it off and, you know, you know, if it is, particularly if anybody comes over, it might spill something. No, Keep I was it thinking, your... uh, oh, you took that the wrong way. I oh, thought it as Hannah said, when we come over, you know, that's when she'd put the, the beautiful French general quilt yeah, over. Yeah, no, actually, I don't think so. she was thinking that we were the spillers. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think that, it wasn't complimentary, Vix. <laughs> Christine's also got the Bags for Life book. Oh, honestly, it's going to be brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Coming up at oh, 12 o'clock. Thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate that. I know that we're slightly overrunning, but it's because um, we started late into this hour. And it's only me on my own in the next hour anyway. And I am. I I'm going I'm to get through it. Stuart needs to have a little bit of a break. <laughs> Oh, never. I, it's lovely being here. It's lovely being here. And I love guesting here. You probably notice I always wear my glasses when I'm guesting. And that's because I can't see to thread the sewing machine if I wear my contacts. <laughs> they really suit you. They do really suit Thank you. you. They're, they're lovely. They're, Charlie calls them my Harry Potters. Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> And just, uh, oh, I'm going to press it. Right <coughs> so I've just finished making my little bonus uh, little pinwheel little pinwheel block yeah yeah little pinwheel block I'm gonna try and just open that seam up in the center could do with some pointier scissors oh I think you've shown me this oh, trick I've done it, yeah. well I'm just opening up where there was a little bit of thread yeah. holding those seams together and I'm just gonna press that center seam open you can fan them round but I think it's enough just to open it and I love Eleanor Burns, the great American quilter, always says, smush that center, smush it good. Honestly, you need to do some sort of <laughs> book of all of these different anecdotes. Well, it needs to be an audio book, doesn't it? So we can hear them all. You're full of them today. <laughs> and there's your little bonus block that would have been thrown away maybe, but you've made a little bonus block instead. So Brilliant. you could set that on point. You could put that into a little bag. Oh, well, keep it for the little bag for, the for little. later. Um, oh, we can't see it, Stuart. We can't see it. You need to do a jump again. Jump! Ah, oh, just got a flash of there it. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you so, so much. Pleasure. Uh, are there any fabrics that we haven't gone through yet, by the way? There are a couple. They're on the website underneath us. Do you want me to show them now? Let's just flash them up. Um, there's a really large, beautiful red floral. This is lovely, and it's got that cream background. What colour would you say the background is, Stuart? Well, I would describe it as a tea dye. Mm -hmm. So sometimes fabric, and they are literally dyed with tea okay. um, at home. So yeah. You, yeah, you can use it, strong tea. These aren't, these are sort of, you know, commercially dyed. But it's known as tea dye. Um, or, yeah, just a kind of light tan, mm. eggshell. I really like the colour. salvage and everything. That's so pretty. I'd keep that little. Now, if you ever see that salvage, exactly that salvage, you know it's French General. Oh. It's on every one of their fabrics. Oh, I see. Every collection they've ever done have that salvage. It's really lovely, isn't it? With the little yeah. scalloped edging in the dot. Yeah. £7.49 and a half metre. This, again, beautiful for your quilting, as you've seen. Uh, Mega Bundle is now completely sold out. The only way of getting these fabrics is um, individually by the half metre. Make your own bundles up, as Stuart said. 
Also, Vix, you know, think about your backing fabric for your quilt. Yeah. If you're going to make a beautiful quilt front, especially if it's going to be a quilt that you're going to use a lap quilt, a throw quilt, mm -hmm. have a beautiful fabric on the back. So pick your favourite print. Mm -hmm. One of the perhaps the medium or the larger scale would look great. You could yeah. go small scale too, and then use that for the back. You will need to piece it mm -hmm. for this quilt. Okay, mm -hmm. it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay with that you know if it's a really lovely fabric the end justifies the means and you could piece that you could either do a centre seam you could do a width and add strips mm -hmm. to the sides um, that would also work and you'd probably want about I want to say about two and a half meters two and a half meters I think okay yeah, we'll Something put you on the like spot that. there. Yeah, um, sorry if I got that wrong. We've got a couple of other of the cross hatch ones. Earlier on, we saw the one that had um, the red background with the cream or the, you know, the light sort of tea dye um, cross running through it. This is, is really nice for, you know, like you said, your Mandy Shaw-esque um, embroidery projects, mm. red work, kitchen projects. This mm. would be lovely. This is lovely. It would fit in my kitchen really well. I've got red, which I think is called, oh, in fact, it might just be called red. Yeah. Um, Le Creuset. It's not, it, oh, Le Creuset, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got the red Le Creuset. Oh. oh, do you know, that was, Hannah was saying earlier on, all she wants is a log burner. When I was about sort of 21, 22, all I wanted was Le Creuset and Coya matting. Okay. And um, <laughs> and the Le Creuset, I mean, I hadn't got two apenies to rub together, but I used to, about every two months, I would manage to have saved enough money mm -hmm. and I would go to Rackham's mm -hmm. in Birmingham. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Rackham's. Rackham's. To the My third mum still floor. calls it Rackham's. Yes, <laughs> and I would buy, and I bought the small saucepan first of all, and then two or three months later, I bought the middle size saucepan. And the saucepan. red as well. But oh. I'm still using them. They are nearly 30 years old. Okay, right. We're not now, selling Le Creuset, but you know, I just I've tell got, a story. I say I've got a different opinion of Le Creuset. I've got them on Facebook Marketplace at the moment because they're too heavy for me. As oh, soon yeah. as you put water in them, I'm getting like Well, my mum always used to say, oh, I don't know that. how you use these pans because they're so heavy. And now I'm starting to know what she meant. They are really heavy. And I think they take too long to heat up the water because they're very, you know, thick. All right, all I'm, right. So we, I, I obviously Hate don't. Hate gonna hate. For Le <laughs> they're the opinions of the individuals, not the opinions of Sewing Street. Um, oh, we haven't done the crosshatch in blue. This is M. M Z W one five eight. My mom gifted them to me because they were too heavy for her in the end. And then I said, "Mom, I'll just put them on Facebook for you or sell them." <laughs> They're black. M Z W one five eight. Sorry, Hannah's trying to buy my pants off me now. I do a good deal. <laughs> Seven pounds, 49 a half metre. And it's a lovely shade of blue, isn't it? Mm, this is like, gorgeous. right, go on then with your different shades. What shade of blue are we calling this? It's almost like a light denim. Yeah. It would look nice with denim. Robin's egg. Robin's egg blue, yes. Or very light slate. It's got greyish blue, isn't it? That sort of silvery blue that is so soft and gentle, easy to live with, restful, really lovely in a bedroom. That'd be lovely as well for, I'm thinking again, dressmaking, but I'd like a little um, dungaree set for Maisie in that, Cute. in the in the summer that is yeah. so beautiful oh she came in on my birthday came in on the telly oh, it was really nice was that her tv debut um oh no no, no don't be daft she's been on the telly um uh, is she with an agency times. is she on books oh no well i did oh, yeah. actually sign her up because a few people had said to me she should be you know get her into all the different modeling yeah. agencies and no, none of them replied to me. Didn't they? No, not yet. I think they all just got lost in the Could post. Could we get some jewellery on her? <laughs> Let's get some jewellery on her. Exactly, yeah. We'll, we'll just get, get her on jewellery maker. maker. <laughs> this is uh, QYV114. This is also absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, Diana said it's French blue. French blue, very good, yes. yes. And the background colour isn't a solid colour. Do you know what I mean? It's got no. a sort of texture to it, hasn't it? It has, it has. It, it, it's almost got that look of um, the sort of vintage fabric itself. Mm -hmm. Like it's got that sort of, you know, sort of um, vintage feel and look to it. Mm -hmm. And again, that slightly, very slightly lighter weight, again, just helps it give that vintage feel to it as well. Beautiful, really beautiful. Sorry, we're whizzing through these. Um, yeah. 
I've got this, the, uh, what, what is this called? I think it's called Vine Dots, I think it says on our website. It's with that lovely cream background this time. So this could be, yeah, this well, could I, be, you use this as your background. I you? did. I used that in the piecing. I didn't yeah. quite have <laughs> enough to do all of it. And I wanted a little <coughs> bit of lightness mm. as well. So I did substitute. If you wanted it all the same colour, all that same cream for the whole quilt, I would get an extra half metre of this. Right. Also, it's a gorgeous yeah piecing fabric for backgrounds yeah i don't yeah. like to use the word mixer or blender neutral. because it is a, a, a designer mode of fabric yeah. but it is more of a neutral yeah. this is kind of the fabric that do you know you don't you're not necessarily picking out as your favorite fabric of the collection especially when you first start i am always picking out the loudest prints but you need the, the you absolutely tones do as well. you absolutely, can you imagine what this quilt would look like if <laughs> I hadn't used that fabric. Say, for example, if I just used a cream solid. Now, yeah. I, I know I did in my demo, but I'll be honest with you, it wouldn't have suited the style as well. No, it wouldn't. It would have been too stark. Mm -hmm. The point of this range and, and quilt is that the fabrics are almost blended. Yeah. Because they're a similar tone, they're a similar value. Um, the colours make them distinct. <coughs> But it's really quite soft and blended, and you want that in the background as well. It works so well, doesn't it? It's, it's balanced, and, and this is a great thing about when you're working with a collection from French General, is they thought about those different scales of print for very you. Very much, very um, much. We have got that one again in blue. This is BFW151, available by the half metre now. The only way of getting it is by the half metre. The mega bundle is now completely sold out. Uh, this was actually, I believe, in your demo, wasn't yeah, it, Stuart? Yeah, and it's in this star right here. Oh, yeah. What I did in this quilt was I used four different blues for the stars. So each of these stars is a different blue mm -hmm. points. And this one right here uses that little sort of seed head on vine print. Nice. I also used it in my demo. Yeah. Love it. Beautiful, really beautiful French blue. Um, there's a couple, again, that we haven't seen. I've got 72 here. So this one looks very, very similar. Yeah, more of a tan background. Okay, dark Whereas background. the other one's quite an ivory toned background. Right. This is warmer. So there's a very similar print earlier on that was a light background to right it. There. Yeah, right very there. nice. And if I put the if put you it over, next to me, you'll see oh, yes, it's you very can. subtle. You can just see the different tone in the background yeah. though, can't you? So that was one that we had earlier on. This one is same print, just different tone. Um, it's on Oyster, this colour's called. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre again. Uh, Sue just said, I absolutely love the French General palette. Mm. Uh, got back and I missed the Mega Bundle. Will you replay the Mega Bundle again? It's completely sold. I don't think we're going to be able to put it together. We may, oh, I don't know, Sue, if we'll be able to put it together. What I would suggest is having a look back through the website, picking out your favourite prints and making your own bundle because mm. um, there's some really lovely prints in here. Mm. Um, we have got that one again in blue, which is 64. It's all right. Um, you're right, though. The French General has got a, a style to it so I bet you yes. can mix and match with previous collections as oh, well. Oh you completely could yeah you absolutely could um, I think earlier in the year was La Vie du Jour or something like that mm -hmm. maybe the last collection and it would fit really well with that also you know um, uh, just mixing it with other fabrics in your stash yeah. um, that works as well you know what I love about French General is it's got that lovely vintage softness to it yeah but also it's red yeah you yeah. know which i very much associate with kind of bright happy sunny warm yeah but it's still soft muted it's so true it's yeah. so true it works they've got the tone perfect just haven't right. they just right um okay we've got one final print i believe have we done this one yet 73 new 173 we've done that brilliant that's it all of them you've seen by the half meter they're all underneath us on the web Stuart we're going to see you in 20 uh, no in about 40 minutes au revoir thank you ever so much au revoir um, we're going to be talking bag making so don't go anywhere because we have got Stuart's Bags for Life book coming up at 12 o'clock in only 40 minutes away but we're going to get you all stocked up with all of your lovely tapestry bundles we've got some hardware we've got some interfacing all coming up so don't go anywhere we are back with bag making tools right after this Thank you. 
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet, and all things yarn? bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. 
We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, welcome back. What a lovely day we're having as well today. Thank you all so much for your company. Stuart's going to be joining me not too long away, but we thought, right, as we're doing our bag making show with Stuart, we have got a brand new Moda collection, which is gorgeous, really gorgeous. The gorgeous cotton with panels. Um, but you know, uh, there are a lot of bag makers out there who are making lots of different kinds of bags. We were thinking, especially as, you know, the world is opening up and everyone's going on holiday, or going away for bank holiday weekends, these fabrics are perfect for bag making. Now, Hannah has just done this off her own accord. She says, I haven't asked anyone, you know. I'm just gonna do it anyway. She has put together discounted bag bundles. So, should we start with some of our favorite tapestry fabrics? Um, this is something we don't need to discount, Hannah. Whenever I do a tapestry show like this, everything sells out anyway. You've put together a meter of each of these fabrics. I want to open these up just so you can see how wide they are because you have got so much fabric here. Now, look at the price. Bearing in mind you're not even paying 20 pounds. 17 pounds and 97 pence. And I'm just gonna start with this one. It's such beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, I love the fact that it looks like it's been all patchworked. I mean, this instantly, Stuart will be thinking of a quilt in itself. But then, the reverse of it, I know Kat, she always likes the reverse of it. Do you have a, a favorite tone? This is almost more like a muted tone. But, right, this is one meter. You're gonna get two meters. I'm literally, putting it over the desk there, right? So that's covering that whole desk. If I open this one as well, oh, they are amazing. Um, look at this, should be over 20 pounds for the two. Uh, that's not even 20 pounds and you're getting all of this fabric and all of this both of these cotton tapestries 17 pounds 97 how amazing is that and i love the fact that they're double-sided these would make amazing jackets wouldn't they how lovely would these be for, for dressmaking we're talking bag making in this instance but actually oh there's so much that you could do um you are getting over half a meter for free sorry you're getting a half meter for free you're getting two meters it's a big half metre, but it is a half metre for free. £17.97. But there is so much there. I love this print. Look at all the different colours. And the good thing that it's, it's obviously double-sided. It's not streaky on the back like a, a, an old-fashioned fa tapestry fabric. It's, it's really lovely on the back. It's not going to get caught. You can still use both sides. You can pick your favourite colour and use both sides. Right, four left. Oh, sorry, four bundles that we can offer you with the same offer. So we've got four bundles. We've bundled them both into two, all into two meter bundles and we're offering half a meter for free. So we can do that on four different bundles. Half the stock of this one is now gone. Half the stock of this one's gone. So this one's called Big Glasgow. I don't know why. Why is it called Big Glasgow? It reminds me of like a cat. If I spin it round, um, 
too, I, there's too much fabric to spin around. But if I hold it this way, can you see a cat? Look, it's pointy ears. And then this one's his tail. See what I mean? Um, and some people see like buildings, like a landscape. John Scott sees Batman. Okay. I love it. So you get a metre of your cotton tapestry. Uh, that one's called Big Glasgow. What's this one called? Little Eclipse. This one's called Little Eclipse. I am thinking like a Mary Poppins style carpet bag. The reverse of this one's really nice as well. Do you have a, a preference on which colours, which side you'd use as your main side? Because they're both lovely. I really like the reverse, the reverse side. £17, 97 pence. It's under £20. When you just think about spending £20 on the amount of fabric you're getting here today, that is amazing. Especially, you know, if you've already opened your order, if you've paid your postage and packaging for the day, Oh, that is a no-brainer, isn't it? I even love the salvage. It's so beautiful. Okay, do you want to see other choices? If you do, don't wait on these deals because um, they are too good, aren't they? Thank you, Hannah. She wanted to let you know. I didn't ask. I just did it. I didn't ask. Just gone for it. You're a wild woman, aren't you? You are wild. She's very bohemian, actually. Yes, yeah, she is. La vie bohème. So this one has got like your, it's like the, the, the um, apple core shape that you see in EPP, isn't it? So you have got here, Little Carnival, which is this one. And from a distance, it looks amazing as well. And then this one, it's like the mosaic print, isn't it? It's like Audi, it's so cool. I've got to open these out a little bit for you because they are, Again, extra wide, um, half a meter for free, huge cuts of fabric, and it's quality cotton tapestry fabric. Even if you're just taking snippets of this for little, I've, I've done with Barbara McClay, little um, purses, you know, the purse frames. Works really, really well. This is stash, isn't it? You know, we always talk about building up your stash. Um, for bag making, this is the ultimate, isn't it, for building up your uh, stash for bag makers. And it's really lovely quality as well. £17.97. Oh, Sue says she can hear you talking to me. I don't know if there's an interface on my TV, but I can hear Hannah talking to you. Hannah is quite loud, to be fair. Did you just hear them singing da 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 bag stash? So Bruce and Hannah, we've been singing quite a lot today, and Stuart's been singing, hasn't he? But um, they do. They it's like um, what's the show? Is it Police Academy? We do all the sound effects all the time. It's like that, isn't it? Okay, Hannah says, "Oh, I better be careful what I'm saying now. Then if you can hear me, Sue." <laughs> £17.97. They are both one metre cuts. I'm holding this out again. Look, I'm not tall enough to show you how much fabric you're getting here. If I just waft this oh, over the desk, that is amazing. You could do, oh my word, right, just saying, you could do such an amazing skirt with this, couldn't you? Uh, did you watch The Great British Sewing Bee? Oh, I'm just thinking jackets would be brilliant as well. Did you watch it, Bruce? Bruce is such a sewer now. He was very excited. Oh, £17.97, half a metre for free. Remember you're getting half uh, a metre cut off the bolt. It's already cut into a, a metre piece, so if you're multi-buying, it's already cut. We are now at single figures. Thank you for these bundles, Hannah. This is brilliant value for money. You're getting the ultimate bag stash builder. Under £20 for each of these bundles. Now we've got two more. This one's dog's tooth print. And it's also um, like your diamonds as well, or squares. These are, it's called Little Holland, this one. 
17 pounds, 97 pence. Oh, right, we're already on single figures. Lots of people are now going straight to pre-order. Shop ahead. Shop ahead. This one is your classic, isn't it? I want to see the reverse of this. Oh. Oh, I do like that. <coughs> so I really want to go on to Catherine, Catherine Wright's upholstery. She does an upholstery course. Um, I also did speak to team because we've got this new big space. I know that right now, this second, we're in a smaller space. But to the right of me, there's the lifestyle studio. There is um, a new studio being built just over here. So our potential, you know, in the next um, year or so, we are going to be able to do so many different shows. Um, and I did say we should do an upholstery show. It'd be brilliant because this would make an, ama an amazing new footstool. Talking about selling my uh, my pans on Facebook, my mum had this um, chair that she had. And she says, "Oh, Vic, I won't, I won't use this chair now. It's been sitting in the garage for so long." I said, "You should reupholster it. It looked amazing with some lovely new fabric. It was just the fabric was wasn't, you know, it was it was old and, and and dated and 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 tatty. Whereas if you could give something a new lease of life, we're all in a, 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 a new mindset now of upcycling, reusing. These would be absolutely ideal for upcycling." I would like to learn how to do upholstery. I did watch, when I worked in a, I used to work in a show home shop and there was a lady who used to, she used to just come with like a staple gun. I was like, I could do that, doing upholstering new headboards. I thought, I could do that. I think it's the only way to pull it, isn't it? And how to, actually to get it tied, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I could probably do it just to hold it in place for, for a photograph, but then that's it, the next day it would, all come apart but that is so cool isn't it really really limited on these bundles now there's more people who have got that one in your in the basket than we have availability now a lot of these prints i have actually seen individually before this one i've never seen either of these i don't think i've seen either aztec i love the aztec that is so cool isn't it Aztec, do you know, I would really love to just, you could, if you've got the blind hemmer or if you've got, a, you know, an, a, an overlocker, you could overlock the edge of this and you could just make a really amazing big, um, like, rug for outside. You don't even need to put a backing or a wadding. You could just use it as a big rug, couldn't you? Bruce said, do you know what, actually, you saying that, it's just, yeah, just remind me, I used to have a rug just like that. That'd be a really lovely big rug. In fact, actually, let me open it out. Which colour do you like? Which colour side would you go for? I think the main Aztec side. So if I open this out, do a big circular floor cushion. You could add... Oh, look at that. You could just have this as a large rug, couldn't you? Really into the rug idea, could you? <laughs> you could just overlock it for me, couldn't you? We'll just get the overlock out and overlock it. Mm, can I take this home today? 17 bells, 97. That's a whole metre cut for you. And I haven't even shown you the, uh, did you call it chess? That's Aztec. So we got a chess board. We just started to learn to play chess, but I love games. I love games. Um, it, it's good, but I've got a one-year-old now. I've had to put it away. The marble games is not, it's not sensible having a one-year-old and a marble game out. But yeah, the solitaire is solitaire, not marbles. And there were gemstones, not marbles. A gemstone version of solitaire from next door from Jewelry Maker. Look, this is the other meter that you get as well for $17.97. Well, you're saying it like it's an issue, Hannah. She's just said, oh, you love board games, like way too much. I'm definitely that family that I've got my friends coming this evening uh, for my birthday. And obviously with my cough, I said, just so you know, don't bring Prosecco around. I'm just going to be on the orange squash today and the honey and lemon, and we are playing board games. And that sounds like the best birthday party to me. £17.97. pence. More of you have got this in your baskets. Then we have availability. <laughs> um, right, there's less than five bundles, in fact. Oh, 
Right, every single one of these bundles now really, really limited. So have a look back through and say thank you to Hannah for those deals. She says you really don't have to, but it would be nice. So, should we pick out some of these? Because there are some really lovely ones by the half metre. This one, again, would make a great rug. <laughs> this is GVC. Oh, there wasn't enough of this to be able to make into bundles. Oh! Tell you what, they're a really good price anyway by the half metre because considering how wide they are, that's so cool, isn't it? Can I open this out so you can see how wide it is? I like the reverse of it as well. That's lovely, isn't it? It would make a really lovely jacket. 5.99 and a half metre, and it is wide. It's called New World Tapestry Lines. And it is just so clever when you look closely, all of the different colours running through. But it does have that beautiful ombre. Oh dear, not enough to go around, I don't think. There's certainly not enough to make bundles, so yes, if you have got them in your basket, be quick. What other one do you want to do by the half metre? I've got the paisley print. I've also got the um, like basket weave, which I really like. Basket weave's about to sell out. It's this one, I'll show you. I'll flash it up. That's your basket weave. Um, everything in the company is there. Oh, we've got stars as well on the show. Five pounds, 99 half metre for your basket weave. That one, again, is um, very, very limited now, so we're just going to quickly touch on that. Literally two units left. Metre left, if you want it. The stars. Oh, right, now I've got different ideas. Not just rugs this time. I'm thinking, like, big um, laundry baskets. Uh, because... Uh, you know, if you want a big laundry basket or a big storage tub for a, a children's room to keep all, all of their, uh, you know, things. They, they come with a lot of things, don't they, children? <laughs> I found that there's a lot of things in Macy's room that I'm like, right, I need more storage boxes or laundry baskets because this is really durable and it's double-sided. This is perfect for a laundry bag. I think with a nice big rope handle. With a big rope handle, this would be ideal. Right, stay there one second. I'm just going to grab Stuart Hillard's Bags for Life book, which is on pre-order. It is coming up. There are some really great ideas in here. And in fact, imagine doing... Oh, this would be nice. Imagine doing... The instructions are very thorough. The Weekend Warrior. The Weekend Warrior in this. I mean, it looks amazing in this really lovely, bright fabric. But it will look completely different if you put it with a um, tapestry fabric. I'm imagining with a big, as I said, like rope, rope sort of style handle as well. This would be really lovely as storage tubs. Um, great afternoon in. Let's have a look in the great afternoon in section if there's any sort of storage tubs. Yeah, like this look. Your craft caddy would be great for this, wouldn't it? And the little storage cubes. Sorry. There it is. Excuse me. These will all be really, really lovely to do. Storage tubs with this. Crochet project bag. Any of these tapestry fabrics. Ideal for bag making. The book is coming up in the next hour. Are there any of the other by the half metre that you just want to show? Let's have a look at stock levels. See what we've got available. We've also got some corks, which we're going to do in this hour. Paisley. Keep an eye out on the website, have a look on pre-order uh, and shop ahead. These are all £5.99 and a half metre, they're all the same width, they're all amazing quality cotton tapestry fabrics and they all have a really lovely reverse as well. Um, as I said, they're not all sort of stringy and going to get caught like traditional, uh, you know, old school tapestry fabrics. These are all really lovely uh, and finished all on the back. £5.99. Even if you wanted to do some smaller... I'm thinking of cushions as well for a sofa. If you've got a cream sofa or a light colour sofa, or even dark, actually, if you've got, like, a brown sofa, this is going to work, isn't it? There are some others. There's some checks. There's some of them that we saw in the bundles as well, individually. There's the Batman one. It's quite low in stock, though. Quite low in stock, I'm being told. Right, so... 
cork. I've got cork bundles, I've got cork individually. So, there are some really amazing corks in today's show. We've got one with gold running through it, literally like gold. Not solid gold running through, unfortunately, but it is a gold metallic, literally this sort of gold metallic that is just running through. Oh, can you see? It just catches the light beautifully. The fabric back on this is going to make it really easy to work with. Obviously, when you're sewing, the majority of your sewing you're doing is going to be right sides together. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're never actually going to be using this underneath your sewing machine. If you're doing top stitching, you can still sew through this absolutely fine. It's a lot more malleable than you first think of. When you think of cork, I always think of, you know those cork boards that you put your post-it notes or you, you put a little um, pin in? that you might put a little love letter or something in, Hannah's saying. Um, that's what I always imagine, whereas no, it's different. Can you see how malleable this is? It's still really lovely and, and, and durable and solid for things like your, your, your bag bases, your straps, your handles, but it is so soft, it's soft to touch, it's not grainy and going to leave you with splinters, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what I sort of imagined when I first heard that we had cork fabric, but it wasn't as soft and beautiful as this. But can you see that metallic gold just runs through, it's completely sort of flat, it's not going to, um, you know, come off on your hands, it's not glittery that's going to, to, to peel off, it's all embedded within the court. cork. If you've got any of Debbie Shaw's patterns. In fact, I have got a couple here. There is a backpack and there's a zip tote. Um, the, the cork tassel bag. Um, this one. This is absolutely ideal. Now we have got bundles for it coming up, but not for the gold colourway. So if you do want to make it in this lovely cork gold, then definitely get your Debbie Shaw instructions. They're exclusive to us at Sewing Street and then £9.99 and it does give you full instructions um, it also gives you lots of photographs and there you go crashing the price you will need let me see how much cork you will need um, 19 inches by 54 inches so half a meter half a meter will be fine seven pounds 99 never ever ever have we reduced these before Never have we uh, reuse, uh, used these. And the great thing about cork is that it is waterproof, it's wipe proof as well. There's a lot of benefits uh, of using cork fabric in your bag making. And also, I just think that when I was reading Debbie Shaw's um, So Eco book, it's perfect for that. This is ideal for, for bag making, but also think about other home furnishing projects. Um, as I say, Debbie used this a lot in her So Eco Friendly book. Um, she, she, I think as well, the speed that cork grows, is that, the, is that the reason that it's a bit, you know, more beneficial to the environment? I think, watch back the show. It was back on the 6th of the 3rd. She makes this bag, and all that you need to add to it is obviously for your binding and your strap. Here we go, cork fabric, you need some for your lining, some fabric for your lining, a magnetic snap, strong wet glue, fabric glue, um, a three inch circle template, and that's it. That's all that you need. Uh, normally, it's 9 99 for these instructions, for the first time we've actually discounted them today, just so that you're able to get the beautiful gold cork fabric. It is available at the moment by the half metre and can I remind you, look at what half a metre looks like. Oh! Oh, it's a lot of cork, isn't it? Look at that! Oh, it looks amazing in the light. <laughs> and it is good that it's got the fabric backing as well. It's going to help you. I think it's quite scary, isn't it? For anybody who's just started sewing and have just started sewing with, you know, quite um, stable cotton, quilting fabrics it's a bit daunting to move on to fabrics like this but trust me have a go um, maybe a couple of key points just to use clips instead of pinning into it i wouldn't go over it with your iron other than that just use it like you normally would did do you know what needle you'd suggest hannah with cork worth watching back a show because i know debbie will go through all of those different things um, when she was here on the 6th of march 
<coughs> excuse me. Right, we also have it with a silver fleck running through. This is the same again. It's got that lovely silver metallic. It's fabric backed again. It's got really lovely, soft, malleable quality cork. It's £8.99. £8.99 with your silver. It's cool though, isn't it? Do you like it, Bruce? What do you mean? Look. Bruce is saying, right, I'm not quite sure how it works. What do you mean? How is it so what? Oh, it's so lovely. He doesn't understand how it's so malleable. Oh, it is. It's brilliant. It is. It's um, a cork sort of top. You need to come and feel it and you'd understand. When you get it home, you'll see. And then <laughs> the back is fabric. I understand. Right, sometimes obviously it's difficult to, for you to reach in and touch in the studio when you're at home. <laughs> Imagine one day, press your red button for feel a vision. <laughs> Imagine all these hands. Ooh! Oh, uh, I haven't really thought this through, have I? It is hard to explain. No, get it home and, and, and feel it for yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I really hope the touch of vision isn't a thing, actually, in the future. <laughs> Although, well, I, I really hope it is a thing for when I'm not on the telly, you know. I'll just be poking John. Uh, <laughs> Hannah's got lots of different people he'd be what should be watching if it was feel of vision. Right, shall we do some... I love these. Uh, we have got a bit of a hardware bundle. Is it these ones? Okay. I've got D-rings, rectangular rings, snap fasteners. So, there's your rectangular ring. What I love about having, you know, hardware in your bag making stash is it's always there ready to go. It's um, professional products that are going to give you more of a professional finish to your bag making. So D-rings always really useful obviously for your stash. Um, you've got your rectangular rings as well which are lovely for the larger um, thicker straps. You've also got your magnetic snap which you need obviously for your Debbie Shaw cork tassel bag and then you're getting these for free. <coughs> Excuse me, little snaps for free. <clears throat> you're getting 12 sets of snaps. Well, for £6.47, that is really good value, isn't it? Thank you for that, Hannah. A nice little hardware bundle. I do like the, um, the deals, though. Hannah, it's not your job just to, uh, to give us deals. There you go. Oh, dear, Sue. So, oh, dear, Feely Telly. I can't say what I've really thought. No, I know. I, I can't tell you what was being said in my ear at the time either. Six pounds forty-seven. Two. You can probably hear actually. <laughs> what were you doing, Sue? If you'd be in Facebook jail in seconds. I think you'll probably say something similar to Hannah. To be fair. Uh, Six pounds and forty-seven pence. D rings and rectangular rings. Always really, really useful. Magnetic snap and snap fastenings. Speaking of useful, how have I not mentioned yet? H is 40. Now, Bruce, when you first started at Sewing Street, I bet you were like, what is this code that people keep calling out, H640? What is H640? H640 is actually a Visaline product. So Visaline is a really great company. They've got lots of fantastic products. They've got lots of great interfacings. And this is their sort of um, code for their fusible fleece. So basically, a fusible fleece is going to sit between, you'll never see this in your projects, it will sit between your fabrics, but it gives it such beautiful loft and sponginess. So if you've got a thinner fabric that you want to give um, 
a bit of um, substance if you want to give it a bag that's going to sit uh, stand up for more firmly if you want to put this behind cushions Delphine uses this behind all of her free motion projects her applique projects she uses this so this comes in a one meter piece now this side of it you'll be able to feel it when you get it home don't press your red button yet you'll be able to feel it when you get it home and the one side has got um, glue dots so it's more sort of scratchy uh, this will adhere to your fabric and then the reverse side is so lovely and fluffy it's so lovely and soft and that's what's going to give you that beautiful loft to your projects it's £9.99 it is I'm going to go as far as saying it I'm doing it it is the most popular interfacing that we stock. There's lots. There's lightweight, medium weight, heavyweight. We've got Decaville. This is washable up to 40 degrees. Um, it's really lovely to be able to use. I wouldn't quilt a whole quilt with it, but for wall hangings, for bag makings, for cushions, for any of your applique projects with Delphine, stock up on this because we always run out when we need it. Now, when we um, send it to you, it'll come like this. It's already cut into a one meter piece. So if you're multiplying, it won't come joined up. The picture on the web is like a roll. It won't be cut off a roll. It'll be sent exactly like this. Uh, and to be honest, I don't think you'd probably do a larger project than this with H640. Joe, what is really useful though, Wendy uses this, and I know she talks about using this and Thermalan. Um, not together. But in the same sort of way, if you're using this as in uh, using as the front of a, a cushion, quilting a cushion front, um, but you don't then need to use a piece of fabric on, on, on the back of it. Obviously, you've got your sandwich, you make your sandwich. Um, this is fine just, uh, just using it on its own. Uh, and Wendy was actually talking about that the other day. She says, for some reason, it doesn't seem to drag into her, into her feed dogs. Even though it's lofty and fluffy, you'll still be able to sew with this without having to put something on the back of it. Even small little um, projects like little purses or notebook covers, uh, then this is absolutely ideal. Lots of people checking out on H640 today. Jason Momoa, oh, he is nice, isn't he? Jason Momoa would never recover, said Sue. Oh, my word. 9,099. <laughs> yeah, when's Jason Momoa going to be on Sewing Street, Sue? Because we want to make sure we request to be on that day. <laughs> uh, just that's who Kieran thinks he looks like. He thinks he looks like Aquaman. I'm like, come on, calm down. I mean, even Cat's just gone. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Uh, but no, yeah, I'm always like, yeah, okay, whatever. Does nine pounds ninety nine for your fusible Visaline H640? Most popular interfacing. Uh, is there anything else that we need to go through? The stitch remover. I know that the time is already nearly 12 o'clock and we want to get Stuart back on, but just to remind you, now, this came back in stock for my birthday show in the week and it absolutely flew out with myself and Rebecca Reed. It is one of the most useful gadgets you will ever buy. It's not a gadget, it's not a novelty, it is such a useful tool. It looks like a, a lay shave. It is designed especially... Uh, <laughs> Just going straight in there today. I've got time to beat around the bush. <laughs> this is um, this is <laughs> designed especially for fabric. <laughs> it's designed especially for fabric too. Um, of course, help you with any uh, removing of stitches. But it doesn't need to be just necessarily because you've made a mistake. It could be because you are doing a Bargello quilt, it because, because you've got an embroidery design on something that you're just wanting to upcycle, you're wanting to remove seams from, maybe, you know, this denim dress one day, I think, do you know what, I don't want this anymore, I'm going to turn this into a bag and I'm going to remove the seams. Obviously, this has been done on an, uh, an overlock, I'm presuming. So you would be able to take out overlocking stitches, embroidery stitches, it is so useful. Now, you can recharge this, obviously, it does come with the power lead, but I cannot recommend 
recommend it enough. The 34.99 is my favourite gadget. In fact, it's it's one of the only things that I did specifically ask for on my birthday show. Um, I'm really champion it. Uh, I've seen so many videos on YouTube, and we've used it for very very intense. Um, embroidery designs that have been done on an embroidery machine that you just would never ever be able to um, you would never be able to unpick with an unpicker thirty four ninety nine. what do you mean because it looks like a, a hair removal device doesn't it <laughs> Okay, $34.99. It's, there's lots of videos on YouTube. Have a look through. But we are now limited. We got the biggest stock that we've ever been able to get for the birthday show. So many went there. If you haven't yet had a go with it, can't recommend it enough. It's £34.99. Um, I, I wonder whether I should just take this bag apart. I was thinking, what have I got that I could unpick? What about this? Should I just start unpicking this? <laughs> I think Stuart would, I don't think he'd mind. He comes back and I've just taken it to pieces for him. Um, right, have a look on the website. We're going to go to a break and get Stuart on because we've got a whole new uh, collection of fabric from Moda to launch. Plus, it's back. Bags for life is back. Stay tuned. Stuart's going to be joining us right on the other side of this. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn? bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools.
and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Oh, right, this amazes me. Every single time we bring this book, I thought, do you know what? There is no way that Stuart has sat and signed hundreds more of these for us. And he does. He has. He's such a pro. Honestly, I genuinely don't know how he has fits in time to sleep. Do you sleep many hours a night? Not really. No. How? I don't know how you have time to. Well, obviously, you've got all going on with the farm at the moment. Yeah, yeah. All of the lambs and the kids now have been turned out into the fields. Aww. So they're all romping around. And, ah, it's wonderful watching the rodeo as they all like, rack across the. It's lovely. But not only you, this is, I mean, you're, you're live at home, and then you've also got constant, obviously, designing, making. You're um, obviously very busy. Uh, here. Just here, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you have time. You've signed all these books for us. I have. I Thank have. you. I did have great help, though, as well. Charlie, our director, and also um, Becky uh, helped me as well, opening, putting away. So Brilliant. It was a team effort. I was going to say, did sign Charlie them, hasn't though. signed them, have they? Well, Becky. No, no, no. I did, so I no did ask that. them at one point if they fancied just copying. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so <laughs> this is the Bags for Life book. Every single time I have bought it to air, it has completely sold out. And do you know the reason why I think that is? Is because I'm going to go as far as saying I think that this is potentially the most um, versatile bag making book you'll ever you'll ever buy that you'll ever need the only bag making book you'll ever need because you cover all bases with this Stuart don't you you've got I do try yeah uh, it's all in sections so let me quickly flick through it and then we're going to go through it properly with Stuart mm. um, it's obviously side amazing for £15.99. Hello. Here's another lovely picture, Stuart. <laughs> Did you choose this one as well? Oh, I have no choice over the pictures of me. Um, you've got all of the basic techniques, all of the, the, the metalware, all the hardware that you might need, demystifying all the different equipment, um, all, all lots of different techniques, before you then jump into the different chapters. Now yeah. you've got 
to the market, you've got an afternoon in. We, there, there's lots of different occasions here, yeah. isn't there? Well, I knew I really wanted to write a book on bag making because I love bag making and they're a real sort of sewer's favourite as well. Yeah. They're a nice quick fix mm -hmm. when you've got a bit of fabric that you've absolutely fallen in love with and you want something useful, something you can enjoy. And it's a great way of showing off fabric too. And then I sat down and I thought, well, when do we need a bag? So mm -hmm. I started with why you might need a bag. And I thought about, you know, going shopping, going to work, crafting, of course, mm -hmm. going to the beach, um, going for a picnic. Yeah. And, and um, you know, and just thought, what do we need for each of those things? Mm -hmm. And uh, what kind of bags might I need? So there's no repeats. Um, they're all new patterns and um, so you've got everything from a trifold wallet, trolley bags, you've got different crafting bags like this super useful crafting tote bag that I bring with me every single time I Love come it. to Sewing Street with all my crafty bits and bobs in. Uh, you know, sewing machine cover, you've got a sling bag for your sports kit or your beach kit, mm -hmm. uh, you name it, you name it, it's in there. All in there, that's a good picnic bag, you've got a bottle carrier in there, then it goes into great afternoon in, so this is where you can find your project bags that you've just right. seen Stuart using, your storage cubes which are brilliant, crochet bag, machine cover, honestly it goes on and on and on, messenger bag, great for gents. Oh now that multi-wear city bag. Oh let's go back. If you just go back, keep going back, tiny bit more I think, or no there we go, that's it. Yep. Now this is the bag that we've got on today. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh so, so we're going to show some of the techniques as yeah, well aren't exactly we, right. to help with this. Um, also, patterns are all in the back in a nice little envelope. They are, don't think your, your paper patterns are missing, the mm -hmm. back's got an envelope, it is the same colour as the, the yeah, paper. Yeah, you'll so be thinking, oh like, god is it there? But yeah. actually Vix, there are only a couple of paper patterns that you need, the vast majority of projects in the book are dimensions, they're rotary cut, so they're quick and easy. And that's what I love as well, is that this is almost like a bit of a, a skeleton book of all the different bags, but you're a quilter, Yeah. I know a lot of people at home will be quilters who then want to use their patchwork, exactly. so if you've given the dimension you can then trim it up to the sizes and do your patchwork Completely, well. you've got it exactly. I didn't include any applique, any patchwork, any machine embroidery or anything else in so these. So much you could do with these. Every single one. I mean the thing is it's like the multi-wear bag. Now I've actually used um, and Joan, Deputy Joan made this bag up, but I've actually used um, part of a panel Amazing. I've, I've never seen a panel being used no. in a bag. I've never suggested. Mm. If, if, if I would have hold if I would have hold this panel up today, I promise you, I would never have suggested making a bag. No. I'd have said maybe using the cutting them up and using them as pockets on a bag, uh -huh. but to actually use the panel for yeah. a bag it's a brilliant idea thank you and also you know because this bag and lots of the bags are based on squares rectangles they're quite easy to look at and think okay now i could put you know a nine patch there i've yeah. got an orphan block or i could maybe do some strip piecing across the middle of this bag and yeah we used a panel part of a panel just a bit of it mm -hmm. for that easy peasy oh this is going to be a really lovely collection actually to do i'm thinking the um tote and towel bag because how pretty would this be all seasons to be able to take to the beach mm. um, for a walk but then to be able to roll it out look at this this is so clever <laughs> it actually turns into the picnic blanket similar as well look it actually turns into it, into your uh, your blanket as well yeah. to take to the beach there are so many amazing ideas in here oh this one yeah. so this rucksack actually opens out completely doesn't it look yeah into a circular picnic bag. It does, so it could be picnic. You could back that with ripstop and have it on the beach or on, you know, damp grass. You, excuse me, you could also use that for like a play mat yeah. for a baby yeah, good. Um, and put their toys in it. Yeah. Um, or Lego, for Fab. example. Don't step on Lego. Just oh no, ball. oh gosh, no. <laughs> You've got that to come. <laughs> uh, oh, I hope not, I hope not. I've definitely, st I've, I've tried on a Lego before, it's horrible, yeah, isn't really it? Yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. Um, this was brilliant as well, look, organiser. This would be lovely collection actually to use for your yeah, organiser. And I've but used that for makeup and brushes in this instance, <coughs> but that Excuse could me. be crochet hooks, darning needles, it could mm -hmm. be tools, it could be paint brushes and paints, mm -hmm. couldn't it? Absolutely, perfect for that. Fifteen ninety nine. the value for money, Stuart, I must say is fantastic because how many projects do we get in? 21. 
21 projects. 21, yeah. Less than so, a pound a project. Yeah, exactly. And even at full price, um, which is 19 99 well, yeah, it's a twenty pounds. Twenty pounds, yeah. Oh, Even at twenty, 20 pounds. pounds, it's still less than a pound a pattern. But at fifteen ninety nine, yeah, you really get good value. It's uh, less than less than. Um, Oh, you're trying I to do the maths, do maths. Is it about 85p a pattern? That's ridiculously Something good, like that. isn't it? That's you think so like good. Any one of those individual patterns could cost you 9.99. I want to hear from you. Let me know if you've got this book at home already. Uh, let us know if you've made anything. Send in your photos if you can. Can we show them or not? Mm. Oh, we can look at them, but we can't show them. But we can look at them. Send in mm. your photos, and we can have a look at them. Oh. Um, Oh no, Hannah's already editing slides of ones that people have sent oh, in. Oh. We'll have a look at them after the show though, Stuart, mm -hmm. won't we? So Stuart we will. will see them as well. Of course we will. Right, so this is the book, 1599. It's the book that we're going to be working from. Um, but I really, really don't want anyone to miss this this time. Uh, every single, single time. Oh, over 50 already gone. The amount of times that we, uh, we bring this back and back and back and people still end up missing out. Uh, we've had a message in saying, I got the book last month and finished a bag from it yesterday. It's awesome and I'm impressed with myself for a beginner. Chris, I am this proud of you. Well done. First bag, it won't be a last. You'll be hooked now. So this is it, Chris. I mean, this isn't just for, you know, advanced sewers. This is oh, for no somebody, way. this is for any, any, yeah, any. Yeah, uh, you might never have made yeah. a bag before. What I would say is there are a few projects in there that are brilliant if you have never done any bag making at all okay. even if they've not even sewn before go on which so ones let me like, pass it to you and you can have you. a flip thank you um, and what i've done as well vix is at the start of every single pattern i've said in this pattern you will and it might be things like um well here for example the picnic bag we will make <coughs> an adjustable shoulder strap pleated pockets add bag feet and use an open-ended zip now if there's any specific skill i mean obviously you're going to also sew seams and do other bits and bobs, but they're basics those are the sort of unusual right. things so if there's anything there that you think well i've never done that before have a look in the techniques chapter and possibly practice that skill in isolation before you go to your Good finished idea. bag. Do you know what I mean? But every single, but for example, it's a great skill builder, though, isn't it? That was that was what I wanted to achieve. You know, something that you could grow with, something like the expanding shopping bag. So yeah you know i wanted to have a little lightweight tote bag mm -hmm. but then i wanted to make it just a little bit different because i think we've all seen a little lightweight tote bag yeah so this one you can fold right up and it has an integrated um catch so you can fasten it oh that's really useful in your pocket that's yeah. really useful so that could it? be your book bag that could be you know the the bags for life yeah that you yeah. take to the supermarket yeah literally yeah. brilliant a uh, um, hundred of these have gone by the way hundred of these have gone and lots in wall in baskets so the smaller projects that you would suggest maybe starting with just like the yeah. simple ones like the shopping trolley bags now these ones here's a big trolley this is like a full-size shopping trolley for your big shop. Mm -hmm. Four bags, two large, two smaller ones, okay? That kind of half and half. Mm -hmm. But look, if you only want to do a small shop, oh, the top of the bag folds down. There's a second set of handles, <coughs> so oh, you can do a small, this is a small shopping trolley. trolley, and it still fits. Oh, that is clever, that is clever. And the photography, again, looks great. Where did you, where oh, did you take funny. that photo? I that can't tell. That was funny. All right, so other supermarkets <laughs> are available, but this was Sainsbury's. And I thought, okay. Did you ask Sainsbury's? I thought, my publishers will get in touch. Is it? We'll probably end up having cake and tea with the manager. Brilliant. And then all that, you know, probably get a voucher. Anyway, we got there and it's just like, oh, we haven't actually got permission, so we just got to skulk around <laughs> in the car park. <laughs> and it, and we don't travel light when we're taking pictures. No. There's computers, there's tables, all set up. That is hilarious. Bar, taking pictures. Did and it was like, right, what we're doing? Like, in the car, off we went. Oh, my word, hilarious. No, no fortune. But I thought, I bet the security guards are in there looking at the cameras thinking, what, what is they doing? doing? Brilliant, brilliant. It was lockdown. In my <laughs> defence, it was lockdown. It was difficult times. We did what we had to do. Oh, so all of these projects, <laughs> just 15. 
15 pounds 99 such incredible value for money and we've had loads of messages um before we get started on the sewing we've had, yep. uh, and on the fabrics we've got to introduce all these fabrics Stuart, um can quilted faux leather be used for the barrel bag oh, you're not front kidding. Of the, the weekend warrior you're not kidding i mean look there's there's the bag oh, there's the end lovely. of the bag this is a gorgeous lever. big pocket you've got those either end oh well that's it you can adapt them so you can put whatever pockets you've learned from oh, the book yeah, wherever absolutely. you want mix and match uh, them we've got to get you sewing vicky you're a natural the Thank way you, you think it's exactly Thank exactly you. what i wanted you know um yes absolutely quilted pu you could use oil cloth for the mm -hmm. some of these bags you could um you could pre-quilt you could patch piece whatever you want to do you know at the end of the day if you're not sure make a twirl yeah yeah make a twirl make a little mock-up mm -hmm. but once you know the properties like for example the lovely tapestry fabrics yes. can you imagine that bag done in tapestry oh i picked it out already and said it would be perfect for that so what you got some say, earlier though, is what it, what it might change is what you use inside the bag and i don't mean the lining but i mean the kind of the guts of the bag okay. so where i've used maybe a heavier or a medium weight interfacing inside you might use a lighter one if you're using like a really sturdy canvas yeah. you know so just maybe try your layers together small pieces and sort of have a little experiment don't yeah. be afraid to experiment yeah good idea right thank you Stuart we've got a message on screens hi everybody uh, bought this bag uh, bought this book book bag whatever it first came out just uh, to make the knitting tote and it's fab it's huge it sits at the side of my chair it says Sue then this is it you might just think oh that's exactly <laughs> what I want to make oh the value for money like you said you can pay 10 pound a pattern yeah you've got 21 patterns in you here. have you have i'm going to show the bag actually that um, susan's talking about and you can see it next to an armchair and um, we'll see how big it is i wanted to do a knitting or crochet project bag for, like for example if you were making like a big winter jumper yeah right or a massive blanket you want it and, to fit in yeah there. i wanted it all to fit in there and you these are all pockets in here for your magazines your patterns room for all of your knitting mm. needles crochet hooks you've got clear vinyl pockets here with a zip for things like your mm -hmm. stitch markers and so on you've got a popper pocket down the bottom for keeping other things Brilliant. I mean all sorts multi-use and then the top of the bag is like a drawstring is that your you fireplace see? by the way like it that. looks glorious that oh. photograph no all of the photographs are all done on location in that. different houses cottages wow. super supermarkets uh, yeah I was gonna say, you, so you didn't ask to go into the, no, <laughs> the no. supermarket Correct. did you go through the cat flap yeah. for this house so this this was <laughs> Our pitch she was excused for everything. Is it's, it's pandemic? It's hard times. I know. Honestly, it was. We, this, we were skulking around. Now you were allowed to go to the park at the time or the beach. That that, that had been lifted. But we went. We went to the local park again. You're supposed to have permission. We did. We just, you know, we just went in, did the pics. <laughs> you shouldn't be saying all this scarfed. on the telly, Rebel. Oh no. You know, it, it, it happened. It happened. But um, <laughs> what's Boris going to say, eh? <laughs> Oh no, don't go there, don't go there. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, let's move on. Should we just talk about yeah. fabrics? <laughs> <laughs> right, so this fabric collection is gorgeous. It I know really you're is. a big fan of Moda anyway, aren't you? Yeah. Um, this is the, uh, what, what's the collection called? Seasons. Called Change of Seasons. Change of Seasons. The panel that you were just talking about is this one it's uh, been used in the bag and i love that because it just it's completely sort of reinvented how i think about panels now i always think of them as well I, I, my instinct would be that you could cut these you could embroider on top of them and have mm. them as little pieces of artwork um you could cut them and you know s stitch them together and use them in the center of of different blocks piece around them but actually did how did you use this then did you cut them at all or did you just no. you didn't cut no 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 so i'm just going to unclip again and what i would just want to show you on this bag okay so i love a rucksack mm -hmm. but i'm always very conscious especially when i'm walking about you know somewhere crowded if i wear a rucksack is someone going to be going in the back have you never wore the rucksack on your front before i mean you can do that but i've already got enough on the front <laughs> without adding to it 
So, <laughs> so with this bag, if I show you, because of the way it clips together, the actual pull of the zip, the opening of the zip, is against your body. Yeah, so from the back, when you've got that on, you can't actually access the zip pull, all right? So it's really just a big rectangle. So yeah, we just cut out the panel mm -hmm. and it really worked well with the size of the panel as well. You know, it fitted perfectly. And then just a bit of something else on top. So it's actually very, very simple to construct, mm -hmm. very easy to make. You're gonna put a zip in. I'm gonna show you the key skills. Um, but yeah, really, really fun and easy to make. Uh, but you can also rearrange the configuration of these straps. That's why you've got extra bits oh, on. Great, yeah. So you can carry it like this. You can fold it in and carry it like this. You can change this to a crossbody strap. Oh, you fun. can also change it so it's just a hanging strap at the top. So you hang one Oh, of the you. straps from the top. Yeah. So you can wear it over your shoulder. Yeah. So it is a multi-wear bag. Very, very versatile. It is in the book, fifteen ninety nine. The panel is also incredibly popular. I love the colour in the background, Stuart. This yep. sort of mottled blue. Yeah, it's again, it's very similar, isn't it, to the French mm -hmm. General? It is. Sort of French blue, that <coughs> sort of soft, slaty blue. I think it's really mm -hmm. sort of easy to live with, mm -hmm. easy to work with. A majority of the, the motor panels I've seen in the past have been more around the sort of twelve ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine. A panel price $8.99 is a great <clears throat> price for your motor panel and this is what it will come like if you're multi-buying it doesn't come you know cut off a bolt it comes like this cut like that so if you're buying two they'll be cut into two separate panels they're absolutely gorgeous aren't they mm, really now nice. that's the only panel um, over half the stock's gone does it come a part of a mega bundle or no the only way of getting the panel is individually we do however have a mega bundle Eight fabrics, the whole collection, everything that we've got. Um, this is everything that we've got for this collection, and they are really, really beautiful. Mm. I, I, they've got a very, a very subtle elegance, very arty, aren't they? They are arty. I think they're quite modern, even though they have a feel of quite traditional fabrics. Mm. And I think that's the colour and the softness and the subtlety. But when you actually look at the designs, they're actually quite modern. They are actually, like this one Isn't actually. That chic? Yeah. That would work really well with some of the Japanese fabrics that it we've had. absolutely would. If you love the Japanese topes, the Okaseto fabrics, they would work really beautifully. This one, it's almost got sort of silver in it as well. Yeah. Look at that. It's and not metallic. You've, it's if you've gone with that very modern, neutral look at home, which mm -hmm. is all about the silvers, the greys, mm -hmm. the whites, mm -hmm. but you did want to introduce just a little colour, this slaty blue, and there's a little mm -hmm. bit of a sort of really deep bark brown in there as well there is, yeah. would work beautifully oh that is really nice again silver mink would work with this really beautifully i've got it on the table ready oh, have you? <laughs> i've got it right here <laughs> yeah. oh all of these love colors it. i love it yeah this is the sort of bark brown that you were saying about there mm. i mean look at that that is stunning i'd like this as um, a blind for in my kitchen that'd be lovely interestingly vix yeah. when we were doing the bag yeah. i wanted antique bronze metalware to go with mm -hmm. so this kind of thing that yeah. i've got here on this bag i wanted to use this sort of color this kind of antique bronze oh now, yes that works really yeah, well works really well with these fabrics you know kind of perfect um, but we weren't able to get all of those so i had to settle on shiny gold and i thought oh shiny gold it's not really what i but do you know what? I love it. It does work, doesn't I it? I really love it with the blue. I think this works really, really well. And I think it would work with silver I as well. I think it would work with silver too. Yeah. Or pewter. I suppose the great thing about using Mother Nature's colour palette, the mm. blues, the browns, great, they, they, they're going to go with everything, aren't they? Mm. This one, again, is beautiful. We saw it in the blue earlier on. You get half a metre of each of these. This is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous fabric? See, I've got quite a grey sofa. This would be mm -hmm. lovely for cushions on the sofa, wouldn't it, as well? Mm -hmm. Dressmakers, oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. Remember, the whole bundle comes in half metre pre-cut, so I'm indulging here. We have got them individually by the half metre as well. But 58.99 is for the whole four metre change of seasons mega bundle. It's brand new in today. 
and already lots of you choosing to secure this. As we said, it's very sort of similar in terms of colour palettes actually, but completely different to the French yeah, General. Yeah, Getting really, really different good. vibes. It's lovely. I love the fact that today my shows have been about sort of subtlety of mm -hmm. colour because quite often you it's like all loud. about leery and loud, yeah. you know, funnily enough. <laughs> but you know, actually those softer, more subtle tones are beautiful to work with, but you still get really lovely, smart things. Let me just show you this bag that the deputy made. Uh, deputy Joan made this again using elements from the panel. So these are two of the rectangles from the panel. And actually the great thing is, even though they might not look it when you look at the panel, they're actually all the same size, whichever way they twist or turn. Mm -hmm. So Joan's put two of the rectangles there and then she's used coordinates. There's that fabric you were just showing us, okay, mm. here in the middle. And then some different fabrics to coordinate with the quilting, love this little tassel that she's put in with some wooden beads and some embroidery floss, just finishes it really well. Bosel in our form inside, mm -hmm. and then look, a beautiful lining. Oh, nice. Now, if I don't have Bosel in our form, yep. could I use the um, Styleville? Or? You could use Styleville, absolutely. You'd get a very similar look. Mm -hmm. um, whether you use lightweight or the thicker. You could also use H640. Yeah. Your bag would be a little softer, yeah. but most of the time it's gonna have stuff in it. This is empty and it really holds its shape. If you want that look, go for style Villa or in our form. Um, the other thing that uh, the DJ made mm -hmm. was some spectacle cases, and these are all made using the really coordinates, lovely. aren't they beautiful? So giftable as well. Bit of in our form, bit of piecing, bit of plain. Again, this is using a bit of the panel and then coordinates. I mean, just really stylish. That's a free pattern on my YouTube channel, Stuart Hillard Makes. Oh, fantastic. Get a full tutorial for that. So if you've never made a bag at all, ne or never used in our form at all, mm -hmm. and you want a little toe in the water, grab the pattern there, have, watch the video. Easy Brilliant. Easy. Um, I, I'm just going to have a quick look. So uh, this is um, a, a really beautiful range. I'm not sure whether there's more fabrics to it, but this is all that we have available. Uh, that mega bundle is brilliant, but everything is available individually as well on the website. £58.99. This would be really lovely. I'm thinking even for the quilts, if you did get the quilt book in the first hour, um, well, this I was would be really, really lovely for the to make a quilt using the fabrics, but I thought, let's do a bag. Yeah. Let's do a bag. Mix yeah. it up a bit. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. This is what's so great about quilting weight cottons is they are very versatile, aren't they? Mm, 58 99 There's so many of the bags in the book that you're going to be able to pick out and use these fabrics for, and this will go a very long way. Um, they are available individually by the half metre. They're on pre-order at the moment. Obviously, we've got Stuart here, so we want to learn some sewing let's tips learn some and sewing tricks. Tips. Let's do a bit of sewing. Let's learn some of the skills that we need to make the multi-use bag. <coughs> now, obviously, I don't need to show you everything. The pattern's in the book. Absolutely. And, you know, straight line sewing, you know how to do. Yeah. But what I'll show you is an extra little project that isn't the book in the book. Now, I was wearing this earlier on. This is my little belt pouch. So it's got a couple of little swivel clips on it. This one's got an extra pocket on the front. So I could use that for my keys, something mm -hmm. like that, okay. And then it's got another zip along the top. And I've made this so a phone will fit into it. I've got things like lip salve and mm -hmm. packet of tissues and stuff. But I'm gonna show you a simplified version, which is kind of just plain fronted with a little zip at the top and these little lobster clasps on the side. And then this literally just clips onto the belt yeah. loops on your belt of a pair Perfect. of trousers or something like that. Yeah. Super really, useful. Yeah, really useful. Um, but what I thought I'd do would be to use one of the elements from the panel, okay? Because once you've made your multi-use bag you'll have lots of those panels spare so I've cut one of them out and um, let me just give you some dimensions here I've actually cut this eight inches in length and I've cut it six inches in depth that just provides me with a little border that's all part of the panel and then I've cut one and a half inch strip of a coordinate and I'm going to sew that along the top mm -hmm. all right so this isn't in the book 
But it's, it's a similar extra, skill. Yeah. yeah, nice. A little extra pattern <coughs> for you, a little bonus. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop a quarter of an inch foot on my machine and then I'm going to sew those two fabrics together. Have you worked with Holly Taylor designs before from Moda? Mm, I don't think. Holly Taylor's done a few other I think I might well. have done. I think we had a range earlier on in the year that I again did a bag with and some other things. I'm going to have a look when I get home yeah. because it was similar tones. There was one called Country Road, which I think that we did here. You, you wouldn't think it was the same designer, actually. Um, similar, it's a similar sort of illustrations, but different colour palette completely. This is a much cooler colour palette, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I've just added that strip along the top. Now, just a thought here. If you were going to do patchwork using these, I mean, wouldn't it look lovely? You know, I'm just thinking if you had, you know, obviously same width strips, but these around different ones like that and mm -hmm. then piece them back together again to make another quilt. So much you can do with a panel plus <laughs> coordinates, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I've made the front part of my bag there. What I'm going to do now, I've got this lovely coordinate that I'm going to use for the back of my pouch. All right, so what I need to do now is cut the same size piece out to use of that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that top part as a template. I'm going to lay it on top of the fabric. I have got a straight edge at the top. Hurrah! Mm -hmm. Today's a good day, Vix. <laughs> Today's a very good day. All right, and then I'll just trim down the sides as well. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of shape into the bottom of the bag. And for that, I've gone to my kitchen cupboard and I've used one of my very favourite tools, or I'm going to use one of my very favourite tools to round off the bottom. And that is, I mention them ever such a lot, my little Chinese dishes. Oh, what size is that then? Is that like a perfect three inch circle or something? No, it's not even oh. that. Gosh, what is it about? two and a half inches okay. diameter but if it hasn't got soy sauce or wasabi in it I'm using it for bag making Brilliant. basically I always look in my kitchen for something to use so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use something round from the kitchen yeah <laughs> yeah I love and these then, little dishes they're so cute aren't they cute aren't they cute and then I'm just going to mark I've just lined it up with the edges of my fabric and I've got this layered up um, and I'm just going to mark that curve. I'll do exactly the same on the other lower edge. And that'll just add a little bit of shape to my bag. All right. So that's that. And then I'll use a pair of scissors just to trim that curve back. Okay. So that's the front and the back of my bag already done. Now, if you wanted to save even more time, you're also going to want lining pieces and you're going to want some medium weight fusible interfacing. But um, I'm making this look difficult enough. It's not difficult. I'm we have got medium weight there interfacing we on the website. So I've just got that curve now on the bottom and that's going to look really nice. All right, so next up, I'm going to grab some medium weight interfacing and I'm going to cut out my pieces. Now, of course, you could, oh, excuse me. You, could um, you know, pre-cut these, but I think just using what you've already made as a sort of template mm -hmm. is, is quite an easy way. And it's a great way of making sure that everything sort of fits together as well. So you want to interface the outside fabrics, but you really only need to use interfacing for that. You don't want to use something like, you don't need to use H640 or in our form or anything like that. It'd be much, much too stiff. So I'm just going to again cut around those curves. I, I remember when I first started doing some dressmaking and I'd never really used interfacing before and I did what the pattern suggested, you know, which was to use the pattern pieces mm -hmm. to cut out interfacing and the pattern pieces to cut out fabric and then start trying to get this flimsy interface oh, into no. fit and I just thought gosh why don't you put like a bigger piece onto the fabric and yeah. then cut everything yeah. out at the that same time. Yeah, that makes more sense, yeah. Wow, sometimes you just have to go your own way. And this right is why then. then you end up writing your own books because you find your own ways are a lot better than patterns that you've worked with. I mean, 
I don't necessarily say there are better ways, but it's just the way that works, works for, for me. You. And I always encourage you at home, if there's a method of mine that you don't get the results you want, use a different method. Go your own way. Go your own way. You can go your own way. Here it goes. Here we goes again. <laughs> Here it goes again. So that's He's the off. outer. And then I've got the back of my pouch as well. I like your little multi mat. That's better than getting the big ironing board out, You're not Stuart. I've I was thinking got it all. you haven't. I was thinking, oh no, he's ironing on the cutting mat, but it didn't see no. behind you, Stuart. You've got your little multi mat. Yeah, That's absolutely brilliant. Love it. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could put what's called a slip pocket over the top of this mm -hmm. you know prop, perhaps on the front so literally all you need to do then is fold a piece of fabric another piece of coordinating fabric in half wrong sides together press it top stitch near the fold and then layer that over the top and then just trim round the bottom and maybe just baste it in place so you've got a little slip pocket I if you fab. wanted yeah. maybe for like a bus pass yeah. or you know id for work or yeah. something like that whatever you need but make this your own so i've got my outer the, the front and the back of my bag mm -hmm. next up i'm going to cut my lining now i was in two minds and i'm more than prepared to take a vote on this on. whether i'm going to use this for the lining yeah okay, or i'm going to use silver mink um go indulgent and go moda let's, let's go moda let's go moda when you've got moda there why not use it why silver mink yeah. does work really well really with nicely. this collection and actually if i was at home i'd probably be saying i'm going to use the silver mink and then i've got more moda for another project yes but yes. because we're on the telly let's go indulgent yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, and also, there is something very lovely about opening a bag and looking inside, because let's face it, you are going to go inside your bag lots and, and seeing something lining. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Make it yours, make it special. Bruce is asking about the mini iron. It's not in stock, Bruce. Bruce oh, sorry, Bruce. Bruce, what do you want this mini iron for? He realised he spent a lot of time ironing his clothes with a mini iron. Oh, goodness me. No. They are fantastic. In, uh, they're great for tr if you're going on holiday as well. Really good. I like ironing clothes, though. Do you? Quite... Oh, you sound like Wendy Orlando. Well, I mean, I find it quite zen. I find it quite zen. It's quite relaxing. You know, a bit of music on or the radio, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that. Or an audio book. And it just... I'm not still very often. No, so to I just can tell stand. you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. Uh, do you iron? Are you one of these people that irons everything? No, goodness me. Do you no iron way. your bedding? No, I don't. Because as soon as I've had a roll around in it, it's creased up anyway. But also, there'll be a big patchwork quilt over the top. Right. So why would I iron it? No, no, I, I agree. You know. I tend to line dry if I can, though, and then it's all lovely and billowy. Oh, I got a, a line for Mother's Day. My first Mother's Day present was a washing line. I was thrilled. It was it's a fancy rotary one. It's lovely. Oh, bless you. I know. That's I know, adorable. So exciting. Okay, so now <laughs> I'm going to make some little tabs to attach my lobster claws or my... Um, little swivel clips okay okay so the ones that I'm using are half an inch and you're going to need two of those now I know we did have some crafters companion threaders yesterday I don't know if we've still got them anyway I'm just going to fold these in half now there's various different methods on my original one I actually sewed you know folded it in half and sewed and then turned it through um, but this time I'm just going to turn like a little narrow hem in both sides and then I'm going to top stitch it just to ring the changes but whatever works for you this is an inch and a half wide piece of fabric and I've just can you see there I've just turned in a little narrow hem down each end and folded in the middle and now I'm just going to top stitch that whole thing and that should be enough for both of them that's probably about six inches long all right so keep your fingers crossed stay close to the edge no pins uh no I'm sewing without pins <laughs> <laughs> how'd you like that I did like that I'm a big Westlife fan you there see there you go 
Wait till I do the key change. Oh gosh, she's gonna no, you already stood up. You can't stand up off the chair. I could. Do you know I love the fact that those boys had such a sense of humour about that that they yeah. kept on doing it. <laughs> it really is fab. Now that's gonna fit through that little lobster claw lovely yeah oh nice obviously yeah. you can do a little bit of tweaking and adjustment but that's going to mm -hmm. fit through just right and i should have enough there for two so let's fold it in half cut it in half see if you can get a two for one why not you kind of saved yourself work by just doing that all in one piece mm -hmm. A lot of traditional paper patterns, of course, you'd have a pattern piece for that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Not you'd necessary. Start, it really isn't. So what I'm going to do now is, um, uh, actually, I'm going to leave those to one side and I'm going to do the zip next. Okay. Do you remember to check out on the book. If you haven't got it, why not? If you haven't got it, why not? If you have got it, why not buy another one for a friend? Because you know how brilliant it is. Um, it's £15.99. Hundreds, again, have gone today. It's got over 20 projects, 21 projects, but I don't even see it as 21 projects because they're all so versatile. And then when you start mixing and matching, then when you start using different fabrics or then when you start, you know, uh, uh, doing patchwork That's instead right. of using panels, it goes a lot further than 21 bags, Stuart. Much further. Right, so just a quick top tip, thread your tabs through your lobster claws and then just baste across the ends okay. just to hold them in place so they're not pinging open it'll be so much easier to put the bag together if you do that right now then i've got a zip all right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do some very very quick zip ends all right mm -hmm. for my zip i don't need all of this zip but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sew across the end of the zip to hold it together All right, and then I'm going to make some zip ends. Now, I always sew across the end of my zip um, to hold it together because if I'm going to sew a zip end on, I've got to open the zip, pull the zip back. And as soon as you pull that zip back, the ends will splay open. Ah. Not a good look. So I've just stitched over the end just to hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good look. <laughs> All right, to make my zip end, I'm going to fold. Again, this is just a, it could be an inch, inch and a half wide piece of fabric in half. I'm going to fold in a couple of little generous seam allowances. There we go, like that. All right, there's my little zip end. What I'm going to do now is pop that over the end of my zip, okay, just like that, mm -hmm. okay, and then I'm going to stitch across there to create my zip end. Now I need for this project about five inches of zip and um, about an inch at either end of zip end. Right, and you're okay to sew over a zip, aren't you? So long as it's made of nylon. Not metal. Don't do that with metal. If you're using a metal zip, you'd need to hand crank to make sure that the, it wasn't going through teeth. Mm -hmm. So you can still use a metal zip if you want to, but you just have to be a little bit more careful. So I'm going to make another zip end for the other end. And again, these are all skill builders. You're going to use this for your multi-wear work bag. You're going to insert a zip in exactly the same way. All right, so zips are nothing to be scared of. Right, so I want about, well, let's see, across the top of my bag. All right, so we want about that much. <laughs> this is how Technical. I design. About that much. Well, this is why yeah. we love that you've done all the hard work. For it. You've done all the maths for us, so all the measuring is there. Yeah. So we don't have to eyeball it and wing it like, you know, you design. <laughs> exactly. Well, because, but for me, you see, uh, designing is an organic process so often I've never been any different I'm much more interested in getting on with the sewing than sitting down drawing things out I'll make mm -hmm. it and then I'll reverse engineer what did I do what do I need to you know mm -hmm. um, what I'm going to do now is just trim the sides down level with the zip okay so that everything's the same width get rid of any extra okay so my little zip end doesn't that look neat and tidy it looks lovely it's ever such a smart addition to a zip you don't have to do this stage but i personally think it's really worth it mm -hmm. okay so now what i'm going to do is center that zip on top of my little bag there's still a tiny little bit of overhang but that's cool all right then i've got my lining piece of fabric 
Stuart, are you at Festival of Quilts this year? I am. I'm there every day. Oh, brilliant. I'm there every day. I've got my own stand, so I'm just oh. going to undo that zip a little bit. Okay, line up the top tape, pop my lining on top, okay, mm -hmm. again right sides together and now I'm going to use a zipper foot on my machine and I'm going to machine that zip in place, okay. You've got um, the zipper foot on there, haven't you? <coughs> Excuse me, I certainly have. Yeah. I certainly have. Don't be afraid of it. Use it. When you get to the zip pull, just stop and pull that zip along. Ooh, get it out of the way. There it is. We want to spend as much time with Stuart as possible. Um, so just so you know, uh, Hannah's going to play the half metre fabrics through the graphics just because we're coming very limited now on the mega bundle. Uh, there's more people who have got it in baskets. In fact, I'm just going to tell you there's four left to be checked out. That's it. So if you do want all these fabrics, they're gorgeous. 58.99 for four metres. Um, remember, your panel is separate. If you want to get the panel, it's only £8.99. It's definitely worth adding that in. Um, I'm not going to go through them all now because I want to, uh, to see the rest of the bag with Stuart. But they'll all be ran through so they're all underneath us on the web. And if we get chance before one o'clock, we will show as many as we can. Okay, I'm just going to have another go at that because my fabric shifted over as I was sewing it. That's fine. This is what yeah. we uh, this is what we do, isn't These it? These things happen. These things happen. It's I good can... to see they happen to the pros. Oh yeah, yeah, they really do. They happen to everybody. And the thing is, you know, you can often feel like you're the only person that's ever sewn something inside out or the wrong way round. And trust me, you really are not. So you just move the the, um, move the zipper, zipper out, the way. out the way. That's it. <laughs> Okay, <coughs> it's a Excuse slightly me. better job, <laughs> not massively, but it's no. I said so it on the wrong way round. Oh, no, I said it around the wrong way round this time. It's because I'm rushing. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not rushing you. I'm conscious of the time. Oh, he's it. going just, for it. I'm just ripping it off. There we go. All right, let's have another. Third time go. lucky. I know. I know. Right, but will you do it the right way? I just need to take a deep take breath. Take a deep breath. There we go. Is that in the right That's place? Better. I think so this time. <laughs> Who knows? It's only a bit of sewing. Of course it is. This is you're absolutely right, you know. This is the thing. It's only a bit of fabric, you know, it's not anything to get sort of stressed about. It's so or... easy when you're in the moment though, isn't it, to get stressed about it. I was watching um have you watched that programme about when they're making the little dolls houses? The little oh yeah 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 the little they they've got a doll's house and they've got Hannah you would love it they've got all of the little rooms they have to build the furniture they give them a, a theme and they have to do like for it's amazing anyway I found it because I watched it on Gogglebox and uh, there was this girl who was yeah. having a full meltdown about these tiny little doll's house table legs and anyway I. I was double together and I thought, I know that girl and I know her. And no. I text one, yeah, I text one of my friends saying, is this your friend Bexy? Because I've just watched her on Gogglebox having a full meltdown. She says, oh yeah, she had a meltdown about these um, little dolls house table legs. Oh. And I thought, when you're in that moment, I yeah. can see why she got so stressed. But you do just have to give yourself a bit of a moment where you say, do you know what? It's only a bit of sewing. Yeah. Doesn't well, the matter. other thing is, I can tell you from personal experience on the sewing bee, you get so little sleep. Yeah, you do. And you're also <laughs> exhausted. Yeah. So. Um, and they love it. They key in on you having the emotional oh, gosh, <laughs> absolutely, meltdown. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I've got the zip on one side. So now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So the right side of the back, yeah, yeah lay that down on top of the zip. Okay. okay, I like to actually baste that in place um, when I'm doing this, just to stop the fabrics moving, hold everything together. So you don't have to sew both fabrics at the same time. Okay. All right, let's get that sewn on. There we go. No, it is. I bet you watch the sewing be very differently now. Oh, you're not kidding. I really, really do. I really do. It's. Um, well, I say differently. You were on the first series season. Yeah, yeah. But I still absolutely love it. You know, I really do absolutely love watching the sewing bee. <laughs> I do feel for them. I know what they're going through. And of course, it's much harder and more complicated now than it was. 
you know, much harder. Well, they're, so, they're reality shows as well, aren't they? They're telly entertainment and they... They are. You have to, yeah, remember that. But it's, it's good fun. It's good. I, yeah. I do love it. I've just done a little thing for, for social, for, for Sewing Street, actually, um, about... Um, sort of the best thing about doing sewing bee and also any advice that I would give ooh, let's take the zip with me uh, I'm just top stitching now any advice I would give to people who are doing the sewing bee now or thinking of applying mm -hmm. and um, what I would say is that surviving on the sewing bee like getting on in the sewing bee is about um, saving something back yeah. You don't have to be the best mm -hmm. to get through to the next week. You need to not be the worst. Yeah, that's so true. That's how you survive. It's like escaping from a hungry lion. So don't you peak. You haven't got to be the fastest runner. You just haven't got to be the slowest. Yeah, don't right? peak too don't soon. Don't peak too soon. And also what a lot of people, and I understand why it's tempting to do, um, want to show you know all their good stuff straight away week so two, all my week tricks. three look at what yeah. i can do the problem is if that goes wrong you go home yeah if you've got something really wonderful to show wait till the final and then be that racehorse that's kind of holding back holding back and then in the final furlong they just let themselves go and, and that's it that is a good tip now let me just show you what I've done. So I've put my <coughs> zip in and I've got my <coughs> lining fabrics as well. Yeah. All right. They're, they're attached as well on the back. Mm -hmm. I've also top stitched along both sides. Now I've just basted those lobster clips in, in place and they're just kind of either side, just very slightly over that strip that I joined facing inwards. So now I'm going to open my zip and I'm gonna put my bag together. Now this is super quick and easy to do. You're just gonna bring right side to right side yeah. and lining to lining. And then we're gonna sew all the way around. We're just gonna leave a bit of a gap in, in the, the bottom lining. of the bag. That's okay. right, that's right. So I've got my trusty wonder clips to just sew around and that shouldn't take me more than a couple of minutes. Do you know, I was, I was just thinking about the talent show. Um, it, well, they're all quite similar now, aren't they, really? If you watch them, you almost can see like the, the, the similarities. But I remember I did one of the talent shows, I'm not gonna name which one, but they were awful to me. And they said, I remember when I, we got voted out and they said, oh, how are you gonna tell your family? They're gonna be really disappointed in you. And they were doing everything to make me cry. And I just oh, thought, gosh, this really? is so cool. And I was like, do you know what? I'm really proud of myself. And they're like, no, we don't want you to say that. We want you to say, I can't go back to my parents and tell them how disappointed I am. Oh, do you feel no. like you've really let everybody down? It was awful. Really? Is yeah. that what they were saying? God. How about that? You see, when I took part in the sewing bee, you know, duty of care, yeah. you see a psychiatrist yeah. before your pick, just to make sure that you can kind of handle it. And the psychiatrist said to me, you know, is there anything you're worried about mm -hmm. about taking part? And I said, the only thing I'm concerned about is, you know, whether the show is sort of designed to make me look a bit foolish oh yeah because there's a cookery show i like watching yeah but the contestants you know are kind of made to look a bit foolish right. by a little kind of narky voice in the background and they said look this is all about celebrating sewers this is about you know how wonderful the process is this isn't about making anybody look foolish and indeed that's exactly what happened that's they so didn't good. it's a celebration of sewing yeah, isn't it, it and is. the people that do it yeah um so what i've done i've sewn all the way around i've left a little gap and now i'm just turning the whole thing through you'll need to close up that gap in the lining you can do that by machine and then just give the whole thing a press yeah turn the lining down into the bag there we go pull those out lining down into the bag i haven't closed that gap yet but it's okay i think we've done pretty well oh my gosh you've done it just in the <laughs> nick of time <laughs> i'm just going to push that out you could use a little chopstick just to push that corner out oh yeah well you've got them all from the kitchen you were wasabi know, dish and I chopstick know. ready to but go look there we go there's my little zip pouch oh yeah 
That will go nicely on my denim jacket. Really nice. Well, then you shall have it. It's got your little <laughs> lobster clips, and that's just going to clip onto your belt, so give you easy access for your phone. Brilliant. Super easy. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Pleasure. It's been amazing today. And to have the book back has been a joy. Stuart signed them all for us, £15.99, and that's a little bit of an added extra um, uh, uh, the, that you've seen today. But there are lots of great tips and techniques from Stuart, talking through step by step how to create 21 different bags for all occasions okay tomorrow's show we haven't got many so i'm just going to talk through what's coming up rebecca reed on tomorrow um rebecca has got an atn lewis and irene top picks not to be mixed extra wide backing as well have a say nine o'clock Log Cabin Quilt. oh we've got amanda little on tomorrow oh, brilliant with Log Cabin Quilt. 10 o'clock quilting tools um we've got jason yenton fabric coming up at 11 o'clock and a lovely quilt um that's again with amanda little and at uh, 12 o'clock we've got a lovely selection of fabulous fabrics in the 12 o'clock show Stuart, when are you back on I'm not sure actually. We'll see you next I week. I think I've got morning. about 10 days. Oh, enjoy um, yourself. At harm, yeah, at harm, at, f at the farm, oh. I think. Oh. Yeah, but doing lots of fencing and things like that. Oh, lovely. Clipping, Thank you very clipping much. hooves. Right, sorry. <laughs> Bruce has left us. Bruce is gone. So I'm going to say take care. Thank you for your company today. Thank you for Stuart for helping me out with my voice. And I will see you again on next week, one day next week. Lots of love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>